Skywalker. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everyone. Oh, my goodness. Welcome along. Fuck, I should have done a nocturnal <laughs> chinois background. That would have been nice. Oh, um, a nice hello. little night at the theater. That would have been nice, yeah. Yeah. Mm. I suck. Welcome in. <laughs> oh. Key is great. Stop. Everybody agrees. Yeah. Key is great. I'm, thank you, guys. I'm kidding. Hi. I at least you're not suck. me. I Just out of context, I looked up at my character stream. My, my eyes just immediately went to, you are medium. <laughs> <laughs> Spiritual? <laughs> I'm three times today. <laughs> I love you guys. Thank you so much. I I I need to put that in the uh, discussion for Tales of the Torn Veil. Is be like, how many eyes does my name canonically have? For key. Ooh, I think we're in disagreement. Even I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> um, but welcome in, you guys. I love the um welcome in to tales of the torn veil uh if you haven't been here before uh we are a little group of um of ragmuffins that play uh some D, D, and it is a home there's a lot of homebrew there's a lot of homebrew um and it is a story of our own creation and by our it is as in there is a concept there is things and what the players will do will shape the story, and I don't necessarily know what I'll be, so hell yeah. Um, and speaking of who we're playing with, um, let's introduce our wonderful players. Uh, is there gonna be an order? I don't think, I don't think there is gonna be an order. We'll go reverse to usual though, and start with Camellia, played by the wonderful Woobs. <laughs> Hello! <laughs> I'm Rubes. I am a multimedia artist who makes stuff. Uh, like Ow! Amelia, my sun satyr ranger, who is a deer satyr, and has a big old frog named Winnie. Well, and I always think is a druid for some reason. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, next up, we have the incredible Before the Stars, played by Dime Package. <laughs> Hello, Dime. Hi, I'm Dime Package. I am a yeah. Renaissance man, yeah. artist of all types, uh, and I am melting. I am actually currently dead, <laughs> and I'm streaming from the void. I've been brought back to life by the devil himself, because only he could deal with this heat. <laughs> How you all doing? Fun times! Uh, <laughs> wow! <laughs> Next up, we have Tarquin. I believe the name is Tarquin. Um, JC might have to correct me. Uh, <coughs> played <Shit>. by. <laughs> oh no! Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> nothing, nothing unusual nothing. is happening. Your name's Tarquin. Um, Everybody knows it. <laughs> played by the wonderful Darian Audio. Well, well. Hello. Well, you said my name correctly, so I'm gonna be a good guy. Yes. Um, it's not. It's not gonna be the the evil twin version. So yeah, hello everyone. I'm Darian. I'm happy to be here with all of you. I cannot say my words. You've been hanging out with us too long. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll be playing the part of Tarquin if my brain helps me. And, yeah. Happy to be here with all of you. I already said that. So let's have fun and watch my boy kick some ass and hopefully he doesn't get too many nightmares today. We'll find out. And that's been a oh my god! Such a fucked up way to say that. I'm so sorry. Um, <laughs> uh, it's just too much power to the M. And last but by no means least, we have Pluto Bayani, who's doing super well mentally. Great, I'm who's great. Played by. Who's he played by? And I, I never found out. It's played by me, probably, right? Is it somebody else today? No, it's played, played by you. 
Okay, did I not? Am I the only one who didn't hear it? I just heard played by and then... Okay. I, I'm sorry. Uh, hi, I'm JC. I'm here to do the thing. I, I want to... I'm sorry. I need to just uh, quickly just to... I just need to tell everybody a very important uh, thing that's going on. Um, I... Uh, one, of, one of my favorite things in life is to go through a drive through car wash. And this morning, I decided to give mm. myself... To treat myself, if you will, to an unlimited car wash. Uh, club membership at the local car wash and I drove to the car wash and I was so excited and it, I was so yay and then I'm going through and then I, you know I'm, I look up at the thing and then the little spinny things spinning at my car and it's scrubbing it and then I'm, I'm suddenly soaked on my left side and I look over <laughs> the lining on the car door had come away from the car door oh. and there is just dripping yeah. and it's it doesn't smell good Car, you know, despite the fact that they're using it to clean your car, it doesn't smell nice. It smells like car. Car it smells like engine parts. And it's just dripping. It's drenching my left side. I'm like, oh no. And I was so happy. And I went from so happy to so, oh no, so fast. And then it came, you know, finally I'm out. And then I could, I saw that what happened was the lining come unstuck. I had to like push it back in, which is fine. And, you know, I, I came home a little soggy, but I still got to go through the car wash. And now I smell a little bit like car fluids. Hello, I'm JC. Oh my God. Damn, that was oh, intense. Man. Yeah. Exciting morning out here. Well, it's about to get more exciting. I can't promise it'll smell like car parts, but... Damn, and your girl's cheating on you? Oh! <laughs> oh my God, no. <laughs> <laughs> what a segue! <laughs> We're no, come here, give me a hug. Give me a hug. Give me a hug. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> So yes, in case you missed it, uh, we'll do a, a little recap uh, in a sec. You know, maybe we'll let JC do the recap. Um, ah. But, <laughs> but uh, there were, we last streamed two weeks ago. Um, so and for, we unle we left on an uh, an accidental uh, mm -hmm. cliffhanger last time. We totally played. accidental. It was. It genuinely was. Um, <laughs> And so we will um, potentially, hopefully, for JC's fucking sake, find out the resolution to that before long. But I think for right now, should we say hi to everybody? And a big thank you, you to V. Thank you, Ooh, v. v. Thank you, V. Also, Key, you didn't introduce yourself. <gasps> oh! <gasps> So it's really crazy because I also went through a car wash today. Um, what? <laughs> <laughs> no. Hello, my name is Kimerki. Uh, you can call me Ki. I am the DM. That means uh, that apart from my lovely heroes, I play everybody else. If there is a rock that does the talks, I play the rock. Uh, Dwayne, uh, if, if, <laughs> if there is a guy who I did not prepare for, that the group is like, I want to know his every movement in life. I want to know his every emotion and feelings toward the political climate of Xinhua. Uh, I will be having to play them also. Um, and if chat accidentally, you know, support the stream so much, thank you, by the way, uh, that uh, they are allowed to summon a monster and the monster they accidentally roll is a goddamn mind flayer uh, then I will also play the goddamn mind flayer. Sorry children. Oh yeah. Yes. That's great. <laughs> Thank you for almost killing me. <laughs> You're <Love> welcome. You. <laughs> Lay it too. <laughs> you have a kid now. I forgot yeah, all about that. There's just the whole ass kid. Whole ass oh, three. Yes. Named after uh, the fact that they were the third child in the <laughs> um, <laughs> I'll let you decide if that's canon or not. Uh, <laughs> yes, I am also here. I am everywhere. I can see everything. I am omnipotent. All powerful. But very Yay! silly. <laughs> but also very silly. <laughs> um, let's say hi to everybody. Hello, Roobs. Hi. Hi, JC. Hello. Hello, Kimiraki. Hi. Uh, Roxori. Hello to Roxori. Just, I uh, just, let's, let's have everyone say hi after I say name, and then we just get incre increasingly more unhinged the further we get. <laughs> Does that sound good? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so we got, got Roxori. Hi. Hi. Uh, we have Zombie V. Hi. Hi. Hello. 
of Jude Hughes. Hello. Hey, Katie. Hi. Hi. Hello. Marco. Hello, Marco. Hi, <laughs> Hello, Marco. <laughs> um, <laughs> We got Sammy's Crafty. Hello, Sammy's Crafty. Hi, Sam. Hello, Sammy. Sam. <laughs> this was the best idea I've ever had. Um, we got Vividly Ish. Vividly Ish. Vividly We. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> We've got. Ooh, new dragons. name. We've got a new name. No pressure. Sorry to call you out like this. We've got Crash the Raccoon. <gasps> Crash the Raccoon. Crash. Crash the Raccoon. Hello. <laughs> uh, and we've got a classic. Always fun to say. Happy Gaming Jams. Hello. Epic. Epic. Gaming Jams. Yes. Epic Gaming Jams. <laughs> yes. <laughs> epic gaming jams. <laughs> <laughs> Office array. Um. <laughs> yeah, <die. laughs> right. Crash is already getting into it. Love to see it. Uh, yeah, there it. <laughs> uh, have I missed anyone? I'm gonna feel real bad if I have. Mod love and hello to Scorpio. Thank you for the shout out. Oh, wow. Hello, everybody. Hello. <laughs> Hi. Uh, hey, that's my voice. <laughs> Give it back. Uh, I'm Jing Jong, you're back. <laughs> <laughs> nah, you thought that could keep me down. <laughs> I returned from grave. Uh, Alright, oh, I no. think that's everybody. No. Hello. No. Who did I miss? Ah. Uh, Who did I miss? The, the, the coolest what? rhyming scheme in the chat. It's right there. Subdued Hughes. Subdued Hughes. <laughs> Hi, Katie again. Subdued Hughes. Subdued Hughes. No goodbye. Subdued Hughes. Subdued Hughes. And hi, YouTube. Oh yeah. Leave a comment. <laughs> Fucking YouTube. <laughs> Fucking see you. Got a switchblade. <laughs> right. So, um, with all of that business done, um, I guess, uh, should we play some D and D? Whatever. Take your time. It's cool. <laughs> no rush, right? No oh rush. my goodness! One hundred, two hundred, three hundred, four hundred, five hundred. Vividly, thank you so much for the zigs on the videos. Very much uh, appreciate uh, uh, it. Thank you, Vivi. Uh, thank you. <laughs> thank you also to V who gave like a whole mess a bunch already. Yes, thank you. All of the bit of time. I'm before. taking a little drink. Yes, yeah, keep my drink. drink. <laughs> Good idea. Good idea. Uh, I did forget to warm up today, so that's whoopsie. Hmm. Stream not sponsored by singing straws. Actually, very good, weirdly. What are um, singing straws? <laughs> it's like a metal straw you get, and and you and you and you and you blow you blow into it. You blow. You blow into <laughs> it, and you can extend it, or you can shorten it, and then you can use it either end. And it it helps warm your muscles up and Dude, your diaphragm and stuff. How, how is this not just a straw? I'm googling it. It looks because just because it's metal. I have metal like straws. It. Is it the does same it, thing? Does it does it have does it have a does it a what? Shut up. Does it have a what? <laughs> it doesn't. It doesn't <laughs> does have it that. Have does it have a shut up? <laughs> does, does it? <laughs> That's, I'm not sponsored. I don't have to say nothing. Uh, don't um, buy singing straws. <laughs> um, just watch Cheryl Porter on YouTube. It's free and also not sponsored, but her warm-ups are great and you will die afterwards. Um, in a good way. You too should sip some t um, tetanus. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's what the little cleaner's for. It's tetanus preventative. <laughs> <laughs> Why is that really fun? Okay. You know what else is really fucking fun? D&D. D&D. Hey! 
specifically Nisifre. <laughs> hey, look, I learned a very tragic thing yesterday, and I can never look at D&D &D the same again. <laughs> No, we we homebrew so in because sad. because you know sometimes D and D just ain't enough, and also sometimes because D and D has a lot in it, and there's a lot to memorize, and I have not got the brain capacity nor the time for that, so I just do stuff, uh, and hope mm -hmm. it works. And so far, honestly, <clears throat> it's been going alright. I think. Mm -hmm. So most of us. I think I think we uh, need some of this going on. Is it this one? Have I got this twice on the playlist? But your ass, it's because it's a banger. It's pretty good. It is a. This is the brothel song. This is the sexy brothel song. This is. There's no other. <clears throat> That's a lie. There is one other. <laughs> so, last we played, <laughs> that was pretty uneventful. Yeah. Uh, the group went. <laughs> The group made their way to go shopping for the operatic event of the evening that they were looking forward to. Getting themselves some nice, fine clothes from a little shop in Genoa, from a little Robin Lady. Uh, speaking of Robin Lady, uh, while this was occurring, Danny the Dapper Dwarf, who had been here the whole time, uh, was doing some deals and managed to sell all of the cupcakes. Hey. Um, that were last left to sell and also sold the last couple of spare tickets for the opera so wealth is had um oh we never got the money for that money. we never like split it oops uh he'll be back <laughs> maybe uh <laughs> oh no it's almost like that went perfectly according to plan potentially uh no um, <laughs> just here to plant suspicions. Oops, don't mind me. Um, and while that was happening, the gang uh, went and got their beautiful, fairly budget clothes for the opera that evening uh, before making their way slowly to the event meet and greet. Now, unfortunately, there were some issues as as soon as they got their newfound wealth, from said um, dealings with the fancy man on the streets, did some little orphans, some little orphan children, uh, begin to pick some pockets and lead the group towards a rather empty, suspicious, dark alleyway. It was down this rather dark, suspicious alleyway uh, that the two children that hadn't been punched by uh, Danny the Dapper Dwarf <laughs> made their way and lured the group into a Mind Flayer trap. Um, the group did a phenomenal job, honestly, at, uh, at incapacitating and killing the Mind Flayer. I believe most of which is organs and body parts are in Tarquin's possession, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> um... <laughs> this is the brain. Yep. <laughs> Sweet. It's a trophy. Um, unfortunately, two out of the three children did not survive. Um, and ironically, the one that was punched by uh, Danny the Dapper Dwarf did, uh, which the group then adopted and took to Captain Barbanus to go and learn to be a little Sky Pirate assistant. Um, three is the one we punched? Yeah. Oh, boy. <laughs> now think about That's this. Great. That's the only one that survived, so... It actually saved his life. Oh, he's stronger because of it. Yes. Punching I, children I, helps them. It, 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 sure, it surely stopped him getting uh, completely dissolved by a mind flayer. Yeah, one could argue. Um, it was the... Mm -hmm. it was the and he was the hero all along. Fate. True. <laughs> he's the best of us. Um, he's not dead. <laughs> um... <laughs> <laughs> uh, he is, he's still very slow, but uh, not dead. Not quite. Um, so with that, the group made their way to the uh, opera, the theatre, for their early VIP meet and greet tickets, where they met the man, the myth, the legendary maestro, that is Kenta Ganaste Abelard, um, musician extraordinaire, uh, very 
very floaty, kind of ethereal, um, artistic, you know, just Artist. just artistic and distant enough to allure and create curiosity with the audience, but personable enough to, you know, make make one feel appreciated and seen by his um, particularly tasteful eye. And yeah, I'm selfish, uh, that too. Um, <laughs> very cool dude. Very, very cool guy. <laughs> very cool guy that seemingly uh, had some past interactions mm. with Mm. You okay, you're doing, all right. you're doing all right, JC. We'll make it. We'll make it. We'll make it. <laughs> uh, had some past interactions with dear Umberlai, one Luto uh, Bayani girlfriend, mm. of a couple of weeks. Um, the two were cordial with each other um, before uh, Kenta Ganaste requested some catch up time with Umberlai. Um I believe one or two among the amongst the group saw a little flicker of charm magic in Umberlai's eyes as she followed suit. Naturally, this left uh Ludo feeling a little bit uh lethargic and uh made the group as a whole generally made their way to the uh, bar of the opera kind of waiting to spend some time there before the actual show begins in a couple of hours so there is time indeed to explore the city a little more should they wish but dear Bifon with a couple of his um, uh, acquaintances from the sanctuary the brothel at which the group is staying decided to go and have a little sneaky peek and see what was going on over with Umberlai and Kentaganaste. Now, Bifon heard little rumblings or another of some romantic conversation. Mm. I'm, I'm giving you the biggest pats mm. right now, buddy. Uh, <laughs> mm. um, and just after Kentaganaste's uh, temporarily leaving, Umberlai turned round to see Bifon and said to him that she could explain, which she did. In the meanwhile, we pan back to the bar to see a slightly inebriated Luca, um, a definitely having, uh, still probably drinking a lot, Ludo Bayani, and we resume our tale. Of the torn veil. Hooray! Okay. So, everyone except uh, Bifon and his his company uh, is um, elsewhere currently, uh, but everyone else is at the bar of the theater now. Luto. Mm -hmm. how, how are you hanging in there? It's fine. Like... Everything is fine. Okay. Thank you for being so patient. Uh, <laughs> we got you to roll a cheeky little constitution saving throw. Indeed. During the week in our new public Discord server. Um, post link in chat. Post link in chat. I will post link in chat. Do not worry. Okay. Um, you rolled a 19. Which means that despite the probably slothens of alcohol uh, that you partook in, um, you indeed did not succumb to the alcohol and its stupors. Which is probably what you wanted to happen, is to succumb to the sleepiness of alcohol. However, you managed to not fall asleep. However, as you are um, looking at your um, glass, the foam bubbles kind of sitting in the glass. You see, you see the bubbles start to kind of form a, form a figure. Um, roll a perception check for me, please. Huh? 
the at bubbles point, in my glass are forming a, a picture? Yes. Oh. At this point, it is worth noting that whenever the dear Danny the Dapper Dwarf is not with us, he has been um, yoinked back, which is the opposite of yote, uh, yoinked back to the Feywild for office business. So this happened potentially 10 or so minutes prior to um, the current moment we are doing. Everyone saw Danny disappear. He had given them thorough warning. Still was a bit weird. Um, and celebrations or commiserations continue at the bar. We are starting this week off with a dirty twenty. Dirty twenty. Starting it. Bubbly dirty twenty. Um. Yeah, you see the kind of bubbles of ale form and move shape. And you do kind of see like a, a miniature little Danny the Dapper Dwarf made out of beer foam. <laughs> what? In, in the bottom of your glass. Um. He then you see in in his little bubble form, um. Big begins to hold up a sign, <laughs> uh, which with your dirty twenty perception can easily read um <laughs> it's a fairly large goblet for a fairly large bro uh -huh. um so there is room for font and text <laughs> it would seem um you see the first sign it says it's danny back at the office sadly um you then see his form kind of move over the sign we're about the words hi danny write new words Danny and my drink. Danny I just left. need to tell you something. Oh, okay. <laughs> Stands back in front of the sign. <laughs> Moves his hand over it. Stands back to the side. This music fella has a magic artifact I could use. Hmm? Steal from the man? Stands back over the sign. It would appear this is a pre-recorded message of some sorts that he is transmitting via beer phone. <laughs> Delightful. Suddenly, so, Ludo, you're my only hope. <laughs> <laughs> I am stuck in a beer phone factory. <laughs> um, and the last message you see appear. Don't know where. Get it for me, though, yeah? Cheers! And then you see the little foam Danny do a wave before the bubbles pop. And disperse. Where's my Where's money, you? Danny? Ludo yells into his cup. <laughs> there is no response. Everybody lies to me today. <laughs> Dean drinks some more of his drink. Fred just doesn't lie. Friends, Friend, you drink. Friends is him. Emotional pet <laughs> vibes just tingled, so he flew over and he's just sitting on the window. Friends, when I drink, you drink. Together, we will feel our emotions together. I give, I, just... I offer him some foamy beer. <laughs> he just kind of fl flies down. And uh, you see the bartender who's <laughs> just kind of this deep blue tiefling uh, with loads of rings around their horns. Just is just like, uh, no, shoo, 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 no, not in here, not in here. We can't, we can't have birds in here. We can't be, we can't be having birds in here. Sorry. Everybody leaves me. Um, you do realize next to you, Luca is very happily just napping with a half full <laughs> tankard in her hand. What is everyone else doing? Minus Bifon, who is currently having secretive conversations downstairs. That we have I want to go to the bar. Okay. You head to the bar, you see Luca out of it. <laughs> Ludo yelling at his beer bubbles. Um, and... <laughs> I just could pretend to be one of those like drinking birds. Yeah, just, just... 
Yeah. <laughs> um, and you okay, see yeah. friends at the window, kind of the tiefling bartender, just keeping a close eye on them. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go uh, towards the bartender because I have something to ask. Okay. Hello, sir. Yes, what can I get for you? I would like a very large uh, ornate glass jar, please. Uh, would you like a drink in that? Um, I would like it to have uh, something strong in alcohol, like a dwarven whiskey or maybe, I don't know, elven herbal liquor. We can do. And oh, and please, uh, if you have some herbs and oils also to keep, uh, uh, you know, the brain intact. And I pull out the, the brain of the... <laughs> 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 oh, the you're from the props department, yes? Uh, uh, I guess, uh, yes. Uh, we need to keep this as uh, healthy as possible, if you will. So I, I cannot have this deteriorating. Oh, well, um, I think the, uh, the costume and props department are uh, eating downstairs in the, in the costume rooms. Uh, so you can probably go and talk to them. I don't have oils, but I... I can get you some alcohol. Well, that would be enough for now. Yes, please. Okay. And big enough for this brain because you can see it's, it's quite big. Uh, sure thing. Um, he kind of gets out like a Goliath-sized <laughs> fancy glass and just fills it to the brim with uh, a very strong, like, elven absinthe. Um, all right, that'll be uh, four gold, please. Or gold, but uh, I mean, come on. You should oh. be. I don't know, a little helpful with a fellow. I don't know, worker here. Oh, have you have you got your staff card discount? Uh, I guess. I, I think I lost it in my suit because it's so beautiful that I cannot stop looking at it. Do you like my suit? I do. I do. I mean, it is a lovely suit. <laughs> Ah, yes. Let's see. You get to yeah, wear that you. while you're working here. What? You get to wear that while you're working here. Of course. What do you want me to wear? Look around. Everyone is rich here. Gotta look the part. Are you a, Are you one of the seat fillers? What? Uh, I, mean, I mean, look at me. I have a seat. I have everything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I heard you guys are paid really well. Okay, fine. You know what? It's I'll on the house. You... I know. You're the best. Thank I'll give you, you so much. I'll give... <laughs> Listen, I'll give you this for free if you put a good word in with with Strella. The best I word, will. of course. Okay. Roll a persuasion check for me, please. <laughs> At advantage. They, they seem to waste. They're pretty chill. That is a 16. That'll do it! Yes, okay. Best word with Strella. Okay. Wonderful, you are the best. That, that would be, enjoy the show. It gives you a big wink. <laughs> I give him a thumbs up, and then I'm, go, I'm going next to Luca and Ludo, and I'm mm. going to show them the brain. Sarquin, what is that? Oh. This is our ticket to fortune. Look at this. What's that? What's it do? Oh, it's not from the guy we killed? It's yes. a brain. I mean, when do you see these things? Ever. We're gonna be rich with this. Yeah. Well, so you, are you gonna sell it to someone who doesn't have a brain? Uh, probably, yes. Because I don't think you have to be very smart to wonder by this. But I don't know, maybe some of those mages or weird people that, you know, do incantations, they, they love to see this kind of stuff. Oh. Just kind of reach, and I'm gonna have a castle. <gasps> a castle? Yes, Where? it's gonna be made of silver, real silver. <gasps> that sounds really cool. Can I live there? Yes, but you are a little drunk. Dark will be king in the what? castle. Luca will be the queen. Everyone. I will be the lonely prince. Ludo! 
Oh, no, 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 only my friend. What's up with everyone? Everyone's mood is so bad. I'm not drunk. I'm very excited for the theater. <laughs> I'm a respectable sure clerk. I'm, I'm a resp respectable cleric. Yes, but, but you drank a little too much, Luca. No, I didn't. Why are you judging me? I'm not judging you. I'm just taking care of you. Please stop drinking and you, oh, you won't are? even remember the play. Okay, I'll just sleep here then. <laughs> just kind of puts her head back down on the floor. Okay, well, I guess apart from being a detective, a, a pirate ship captain and all of that, I'm going to be a babysitter. <sighs> you guys, mm. please. This king babysitter. Yes, I'm going to take care of both of you. Tell because it us seems a like you're affected. story. <gasps> Tell us a story. Ludo, have you heard his stories? He's a legend. I, all of his stories are amazing. This is your favorite story. Tell, okay, tell, um... tell, 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 <laughs> tell him, <laughs> tell him. 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 Tell Tell him. Tell 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 him. Tell him. Yeah, that one. Yeah, well, the one Ludo said. Tell us that one. Um, well, I can give you a little story if you want. Have you heard about the Leviathan Slayer? No. You slayed it. Oh, you knew about it. Nice. Everybody knows it. Yes, I killed it with only one hand because I had to scratch my... Well, I'm sorry. Um... Yes, yes, he killed it with one hand because he had... That's Tarquin. He'll never let you he... down. What was he doing? Was he killing someone else that was evil with the other hand? No, oh, I just had an itch and I had to scratch it. Oh my god. That's really cool though because some people would be like, Oh, Tarquin. Darko is a hero, and he's not, which, like, you are, but, like, the fact that you had an itch in that really important moment says to me that you're a human, just, just like us, just like Ludo and I, deep, 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 deep down, you're just like us. Yes, Maybe and I care about you both, so please. You stop drinking, and you, I don't know what is going on, but cheer up, dude. You're not alone. Yeah, I got all my friends, like everybody I need. I don't even need anybody else. All I need is you, Tarquin. You're, oh, you're okay, my friend. fuck me, I guess. You, Tarquin, and Luca, and, uh, and Bifon, and, and friends, and Winnie. That's it. <laughs> wow. Okay. Sure. <laughs> and the deer. No, no, no. You hey, gotta have the deer. Hey. Hey. Come on. Danny's pretty cool. Danny. He's he's really slow, but he's I like pretty Danny. cool. You got cool hat. He he owes us money. You guys know that. He owes all of what? us money. He left, and he says we have to steal the musical instrument of the man who is <laughs> danny said we have to steal the musical instrument of the man did he say where it was or even what it are you was? all right luto what is wrong luto i don't understand why why are you so sad i saw danny in my drink you he said danny we have to drink. steal the He's musical instrument of small. the man Ludo, he's not that small. Come we, on. We have to get it or else Danny will never give us our money. I mean, he is small, but... Uh... And if we don't have money, then how is Tarkin going to get his silver castle? <gasps> we need to do something. We should, we should steal the instrument for, for Danny. I can do that uh, if you want. How? Would that make you feel happy? 
Yes. You 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 did it everything. Wow. I'm good at stealing. It's not really the most heroic thing, but uh, I can do that for a friend. We can we can do we can do it. I'll, I'll help. It. I'll help. <laughs> yeah, okay. Can we give it like uh, an hour or so? Because um, I'm like weirdly not feeling great. I have no idea why. Emilia, are you here, please? Can you help me? Because this is too much for one single bar, draw, or whatever you want to call me. Uh, this is too much. I don't know, it sounds like Ludo doesn't appreciate me, so I'll be over here. What? No, Camellia. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> is that... why, is, why is that legitimately oh the most desperate Torquid has ever fucking sounded? <laughs> <laughs> oh I am now the father of this family, what is going on? Mom and dad are having a divorce, it falls to the oldest son, and the other son is not here right now. <laughs> yeah, I'll help out. Camellia's here! Hi, Camellia. Camellia's my favorite, well. she's the best of us. Oh my god, Camellia's like the prettiest fucking person I've ever seen. Mm -hmm. I like I when Camellia turns into a cat. That's not... Huh? <laughs> what? I don't turn into a cat. I, I was fucking drinking. Jason. You, you, <laughs> you, you've got the fur though. Oh, she's no, no, Ludo, Ludo. Cats have paws. Ah. He has hooves. 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 Food. Anyway, Tarquin, should we go find this thing? And we're gonna leave these two alone? Hooves. And why is this such a good word? Did you see where Beefon went? Because no. I feel like... <sighs> I guess we need him as well, because this is quite a situation. Mm-hmm. Paws and hooves. Okay. Which would uh, you have if you could have paws? Tarquin, you close. should try to find Bifon. I'll watch over these two. Close. <laughs> Santa no, Claus. No, no, no. Hooves or paws? Close wasn't an option. I like close. You can scratch. You can. Oh, claws? You can. Leave your boyfriend! I don't have a boyfriend. <laughs> they never get one because they're just gonna break your arm. Oh, Did your well. boyfriend leave you? He downs his drink. <laughs> um, and on that note, we went <laughs> Incredible. Uh, incredible footage. Uh, scene. Um, I think we can end it there. Um, as uh, I think we've peaked. Um, no, we will uh, pan the camera downstairs uh, through the echoey reverberations of drunken banter and um, Tarquin and Camellia trying to figure out parenting. Uh, <laughs> the drunk duo of Ludo and Luca. And we will go to Bifon. Um, now, we obviously had a small discussion off stream. For <gasps> narrative reasons. <gasps> so we will cut to the end of that conversation. Does that all make sense? You know I'm that just... cat you like, JC? I have just been that cat for the past <laughs> 10 minutes with no sound. <laughs> <laughs> just head up in the air, mouth open. <laughs> With no <laughs> ah. Ah. Yes. Speaking um. of crowbars, <laughs> we got to be fun. Hey, crowbar! And hello, Scrapers Lair. Thank you for the, thank you for the raids. But yes. We want in. Okay. Um. So, I haven't got a 
plan. Good. As... Uh, oh. Well, I have a slight plan. Um... Let's just say that the uh, prima donna required for the second act has mysteriously taken ill <laughs> and will be unable to perform uh, during the second half. So I'll be on stage. So whatever opportunity arises, whatever that may be, I shall take. Um, in terms of what ideas you have, and how, and if you get everyone else involved, um, sh should I leave that to you, or? Yeah, if you don't have anything specific, I'll figure it out. Yes, my, my only concern. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> He's obviously incredibly powerful, and so we all need to ideally try and t do whatever before the last act of the second half of the show. Okay. Okay. Um, great! Wonderful! Mm -hmm. Uh, you'll know mm -hmm. it because there'll be, like, a big gap. Um, because it'll be my line, but if I say my line, then things might get worse. So, uh, unless I just do something that will immediately get us all arrested, which would not be ideal, uh, but if we have to resort to something that gets, uh, us arrested, then maybe... Maybe... Huh. Ideally, if we could not get arrested, that would be superior. And, again, <sighs> please don't tell Luto. I'll explain everything to him after. You better. Ah! I will. <laughs> Does that, was that a bird? <laughs> 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 Brian's yes. his friends getting drunk. Oh! That sounds like a horrific idea. Um, have fun with that. I'll go and, uh... get... prepared in whatever way I can. And I'll As will we! In a couple of hours when the show is due to start. Hours? Oh. Sounds awful. Sure. Thank you for being so understanding. And so sneaky. You really are. I forget I forget how sneaky you are. It's good. It's weird. It's like when you're big, people are not they don't believe that they can't see you, so it's actually like really yeah. easy to slip through stuff. It's like where'd the big guy go? It's, it's, yeah. Just hid, hidden in plain sight. Yeah. Pretty Incredible. much. Um so I will go and uh, accompany him, make sure he doesn't, uh, you know, prepare anything that could be a murder plot. Trip Not over that his I think big he fucking head, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, go and uh, indulge his his uh, ego in his dressing room, and uh, I'll be out before the beginning of the show. Thank you again. I don't think me. You just do what you need to do. I'm hoping I figure something out. <laughs> um, <laughs> Not what I meant, but... Oh, okay. All right, I'll... let's go, ladies. Let's Thank think of some should. shenanigans. Hmm. There's a lot of possibilities. The not getting arrested thing could be an issue... What are those? And you start to hear the echoes of um, drunk Ludo and Luca and Tarquin and Camellia despairing over um, their new children. 
Well, they sound like they're having fun. Shall we? I'm gonna pull the girls back into the shadows. Ooh. I need to make a stealth check to hide from my party. Ah, uh, no. They're, they're, <laughs> they're engaged. They are fully engaged. They're on a different floor. Um, you're kind of tucked away in a corridor. Yeah, there's, there's okay. no reason they'd, uh, see you at this point. <laughs> So that's what we'll do. Okay. Uh, what's up? Hmm? Oh, we have some business to take care of. I'd rather them go and enjoy the show. Oh, so we're not gonna go back and join them? Oh, we're gonna have the best seats in the house. Oh. I like a fun time. Oh, it will be. I would like to. Hmm. Can we get to the catwalks? Um. Yeah, you would have to make an investigation check to find your way to them. Uh, they're not like clearly signposted backstage stuff. Okay. Um, but you can like easily find some doors to sneak through. Um, yeah, your only issue would be any any staff, potentially. Um, oh, sure, we could take care of that. Such, but yeah. May I investigate, DM? You certainly may. Well, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> I have investigated the most average of tens. I mean, you don't not find it. Um... <laughs> I think I think anyone b would be able to find like a corridor with a ladder up it. Um, mm. You do, however, as you kind of open uh, a door into what definitely feels more like the back corridors of the theater uh, working system. Taking, are you taking your accomplices with you? <laughs> mm -hmm. Sweet. Of course. Um, you do come across a couple of people kind of in uh, dungarees and work outfits and kind of like a newsies cap, almost. Uh, just a couple of humans. And one of them looks to you. Uh, can we help you? I think you've gone down the wrong corridor. What? Oh, I was bringing the dancers with me. Um... Where are we supposed to go? Where's the backstage and everything? Uh, roll a... Come on! Roll a persuasion check at advantage because they will start dancing behind you. <laughs> one of them one of them deadass just doing the Karlak dance from Baldur's Gate. <laughs> just dead, 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 dead. <laughs> That's a 14. Sweet. Um, they go... Oh, uh... I didn't know he was bringing on dancers. God, that guy just never tells us what he's doing. It makes staging a nightmare. Oh, uh, yes. Uh, uh, I, I, I think we're talking about the same person, aren't we? <laughs> um, yeah. it's just, come on, hurry up. Just let us know where we need to be. Go. Uh, Tap the nose. Um, well, there's like the, the like, uh -huh. set design backstage. Yes. Set design, go... yes. Uh-huh. Where? <laughs> the corridor between the two wings and then corridor two tell wings you yes to... come on it'll man hurry up it'll have a circle that says we... dances in it if it if he's got an so so dance. dance okay yeah no square <laughs> dancing here get you get you yes uh-huh yes 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 um... please sir pick up the pace you know how he is sorry sorry um move carl and carl who's just there like with the clipboard and just shrugs and is like I'm sorry. It just it moves back against the wall, and they. I I, I, I think I have enough. I think I have enough factors, and then look for the dance circle thing. To, I'm sure we can find our way. With the, thank you very much, young man. I, I, we'll just go just, now. Yes, go make um make sh sure you know where you are, because I'm clueless on this occasion. Oh, I will ask for directions if I get lost. Sure. Okay. Bye -bye. Um, 
<laughs> as you kind of head round a corner uh, to go further into the depths of backstage, you do see like a couple of corridors uh, going inwards, some that go towards the wings, some that go towards uh, like technical platforms around the wings. Uh, you see like a grand piano down one of the aisles. Um, you see an organ down one of the aisles, a harpsichord, all kinds of musical instruments. Um, and then you do see uh, one opening uh, that has a ladder and a hatch that goes upwards. <laughs> God forbid. It does appear that if there was a catwalk, this would be the way to it. All right. Mm. So are we mm. actually dancing for him then? Hmm? No. All their voices. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, um, I think there was a southern one, kind may... of a sultry one. Uh, she was a little bubbly. I don't remember she had an accent. Northern, yeah. Yeah, I, I think so, remember. yes. Sure, she's fucking northern now. Um, <laughs> yeah, I wrote their names and not their accents. Dang it! Yeah. All right. Um, I do like dancing. You know, my mum always said I was pretty good at dancing. My dad said Ooh. I was shite, but, you know. You have to show us later. Maybe I will. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, so head go. your way up through the hatch. <laughs> uh, first, I want to do an investigation check because I'm not sure if I have everything I need in my bag. Just to see if what? there is anything around that I could use. Um, you see, uh, kind of around the um ladder area because it's like the end of a dingy corridor basically and then it's like the ladder that goes up a couple floors to the hatch um you see there's like bits of rope some stray bits of wire some kind of half built uh crate wooden crates um if there's anything specifically you're looking for you can definitely have a look round because you are backstage now so you do have access to Various bits and boobs. Is there anything liquidy? Uh, you would see uh, if you kind of carried on backwards a little bit as you kind of approach where the guy was directing the stage direction setup, which does not have any dancers on it. Um, mm -hmm. You would see there is uh, like a little props table and there are mm -hmm. some uh, kind of head-sized that's a really lovely um imagery uh kind of head-sized uh paint pots um Ooh. that are open and uh, in various colors for touching up different props hmm. and glitter okay uh, and glitter so <laughs> 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 Well, it's uh, Kentucky Abelard. Anything that's being a prop is being painted and then glittered um, for daylight. Everything well, I'm going to search packing. through. Hopefully, I can find some empty or half em half empty containers. Do oh, yeah. I? Easily. Can yeah. I? Easily? Cool. Thank you. Uh, I'm going to fill one with various colors. I don't know. Chat, pick a color. Uh, and I'm gonna fill a. I'm gonna fill another one with the glitter. Hell yeah! I'm going to take one Purple. of the slats with me, and some of the rope. Okay, so you take some purple paint, uh, a paint can of purple paint, paint can mm -hmm. of glitter, uh, mm -hmm. some wooden slats, and some rope. Is that everything? Yes. Yes. Okay. All right, okay. we're gonna make our way up the ladder to the catwalks. Are you do we... gonna do a yeah. grave project? Maybe it's not gonna be that complicated. I have idea. Hmm. Uh -huh. uh, what I need to know is, do I have any idea of where everybody's placement is gonna be, or am I gonna have to maybe insight or investigate and maybe try to guess? Like, he is a musician as well, so I can assume that he'll probably be by the piano. So, funnily enough, on that back wall, which the guy was referencing to, um, <laughs> there is a play-by-play -play, um, by Ooh. each song 
oh. layout of exactly where everyone will be during every musical number. Uh, so you see the first act is pretty much just celebrating him, piano, him, organ, him, music, we. Um, the second act does have what seems to be a, a soprano alongside uh, his playing. And okay. it, uh, it appears like uh, you see as the papers kind of fan out. Um, act two is more of a yeah, showcase. I'm at it right now. Yeah, exactly. Like Act two is a showcase, an operette, if you will, a miniature opera. Um, mm. And uh, it is indeed, as he said yesterday, called The Proposal. Uh, which red flags, red flags, red flags, red flags. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. And uh, <laughs> what for, it's a series of unfortunate events where he does that. Um, it's like, yeah, it's a play called The Proposal. Don't take it seriously, though, bro. It's just a prank. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you see that the first act, um, it is kind of both of them on either side of the stage towards the front. Uh, the second act, he is towards the back on a on a piano, um, a choir behind them, and then uh, the soprano at the front. And then as that song ends, they are both center stage at, in the direct middle. Um, him on the, uh, oh, I forget if stage left is facing the stage or facing out to the audience. Um, from where I you'd be, to. from where you'd be in the audience, um, he would be on the left and she would be on the right. Yes, I'm looking at this beautifully rendered yeah, uh, um, diagram. <laughs> Ludo, um, uh, JC, I don't know. I don't know if you're able to share the beautiful art uh, <laughs> from the Ticketmaster. Um, oh, yeah. Let's see if we Genoa can get that on the screen. Playhouse, but feel free to share it. Um, and fun fact, the uh, actual like seating plan one is uh, an early... I forget if it's like an early 1900s uh, illustration of the Drury Lane Theatre in London. I just Do you want the? Because uh, it looks kind of familiar. Yeah. yeah. Which one of these two beautiful drawings would you like I on mean, the screen? One of one of them is the one that I I drew. So. Oh, let's we'll do that one. one. That I drew. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that specifically has. Uh, that is specifically potentially one of the drawings that uh, you would see <laughs> in the <laughs> um, The other one is just like the seating plan, just to give you an idea. Um, so, so uh, uh, I don't know how big this is going to be. Yep. That's totally fine. Just <laughs> do your thing. <laughs> also, chat, thank you to JC for the wonderful layout and everything. Yeah, it's beautiful. Look at that! What about that layout? Art. Fucking the magic! Beautiful art. <laughs> Look at that beautiful layout. So the <laughs> for for everyone's reference, uh, the theater consists of like the ground floor seating area, uh, the first balcony, and then there is a higher balcony at the back, and then there are three columns of um, boxes to the side, the third of which kind of levels. <laughs> equally with the balcony that uh, the team will be sitting on, which is the front row of the front balcony. Basically the best seats in the house. Um, I would say some people prefer being on the ground level, but I, I like some nah. good balcony action. Need them wee um, yes, uh, you can also see uh, the very beautifully rendered orchestra, orchestra pit. Um, and so where the where the lady is, they'll both kind of be there. Um, Kentaganaster is uh, drawn in on the left, <laughs> and the soprano uh, would be drawn in just on the right of that. So they're both quite close towards that point in the show, but they would both be kind of center stage, front of stage, by the time that uh, time has run out for any heist potential there are no like rats that we have to get into uh a turn-based battle with up here are there not as of right now cool you can do uh an investigation check to see if there are any security things currently in place or yeah actually if it appears I that there will that. be <laughs> I shall do it's that. literally just investigation. Rats and you say, rifles. right? 
I don't know. Somebody might be here to assassinate Ethan Hunt. <laughs> <laughs> Nineteen. Ooh. Nineteen. Um, you can see. Uh, the uh, have you entered the hatch onto the catwalk? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're up there now. Yeah. So you see that there are two catwalks. There's the catwalk you're on that kind of um, is kind of mid-stage um, mm. levels. And then there is one behind the one that you're on and slightly higher up kind of where the backdrop is um, mm. that would be accessible kind of from the back um, in between wings area. Uh, you do see in the dark uh, what appear to be a couple of kind of um, dark robes, as if for covering anyone who would be up there, um, <laughs> as well as some uh, gloves and kind of... It, it appears that there is a setup there for someone to be up there the whole time. Um, gotcha. Yeah. How, so by how can, many? Uh... You can see at least one on either end of the catwalk behind you guys. Um, mm. You don't see any on the catwalk you're currently on. Um, although that's where like there are some lights and stuff connected. Um, so this is probably the one that's most actively used. Can I take one of the uh, sets of robes and gloves? Yeah, you'll have to climb back down and then climb back up again. But you be you would be able to. I'll get them on the way out. <laughs> <It's> okay. <fine. laughs> I thought they were up there with us, so we're gonna move over I mean, to. <laughs> you can ask. Um. Oh, Jesus! I'm so bad at my own fucking names. Um. It's the T names I'm struggling on this time. Uh. You can ask Terilia. I mean, she's a tabaxi and is capable of cat meow jump to. Yeah, we'll meet Bra. her back down there. Yeah, she'll meow. Boing. Thank you, Terilia. <laughs> All right. Do you, want, so, do you want do you want both sets of clothes? No, leave one for the workers. Don't want to be too suspicious. Okay. And she'll take take one set and just <laughs> head down the ladder. <laughs> All right. So, uh, Letta, kind of a big gal. Yes. Thought so. Yeah. Okay. The letters are fairly tall. Uh, so what yeah. we're going to do, and you're probably going to have me make an athletic check or something for this one, uh -huh. is you know how like you uh, you do like couples workouts and stuff? Yep. You put your legs together and you stretch and you do calisthenics yep. with each other and stuff like that. We're going <laughs> to interlock our legs uh -huh. so that we can hang over. Either We're on the uh the right side so that we're somewhere near the piano and stuff like that okay we are going to interlock our legs so that we can sort of come over the catwalk okay and then we're going to use the rope to attach um the the slats of wood underneath the catwalk okay. and we're gonna take the paint cans which are now closed and we're going to use the wiring to stitch them up there. And then okay. I am going to pull <laughs> off another swatch from my cloak. Oh my god. Yeah. That will turn into a one foot by one foot doggy door that can be magically placed <laughs> on these slats. Do I you need to roll for athletics to pull this off? You <laughs> don't need the inspiration point. Um... <laughs> So you're so just to clarify, because fucking amazing, uh, you're kind of wiring a makeshift trap shelf under mm -hmm. the catwalk. This way, the workers rigged, don't see it. Rigged with the and the paint cans are facing straight down, and they're closed yeah. right now. Yeah, and then and when the, you're ready, and you the, can just and the slat yeah. has the doggy door in the middle of the two paint cans. Oh my god. And then you just open the doggy door and set it going. It's a magical doggy door, right? Um I mean for this for the sake I feel By the like way, I have to ask you a question because you never you never <laughs> specified this. Yeah. 
what's on the other side of the doggy door? Mm. That's a good question. Is there a, a, another doggy door? Is there a dimensional portal? Is there a Mrs. Doggy door? Have, <laughs> have you opened the doggy door? I, I This is the first time I'm pulling the swatch off, but I forgot one thing. You don't, you don't know what's behind the doggy door without opening it. Is that I don't know if, I don't know what, where the other side of the doggy door is. Mm -hmm. I could always, I, I, I have a backup plan. Mm -hmm. If it's just the doggy <laughs> door and that's all it is, I have a backup plan. Yeah. It's, so I'm going to need a backup roll, plan. <laughs> okay. Roll for me an arcana check for the doggy door. Okay just to see if you can figure out where it goes. And roll for me also, I'd say a sleight of hand at advantage, just in terms of wiring it up. I think that would be my main, my main concern. Doity 20. The other one was Sweet. an eight, the arcana. The arcana was an eight. It's yeah. not clear. The, the yeah. robe only came with one doggy door, so okay. you would assume mm. it doesn't lead anywhere nefarious, um, but who knows? Um, Dory 20, that shit is rigged up perfect. No problem. You have set your trap. Your purple paint and glitter clap. This is going to be very entertaining. Oh, yes, it is. Um, one thing I got to do. So I'm going to take the doggy door and put it in my backpack. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to pull another patch off of the Ooh. cloak. A wickless candle. Oh, my God. I'm going to mold the candle in between the two um, paint cans. And I'm going to stick them up there and i'm gonna slightly pry them open a little bit askew so that the one that's slightly more open is the purple paint okay okay and then we're gonna go back down the ladder sounds good hell yeah all right the trap is set um, is there anything else you are doing in preparation for the mini heist? <laughs> that is, I think now we can officially call a mini heist. Oh, <laughs> uh, no, we're good. We're just going to head to our seats. Our okay. stolen robe. <laughs> are you going to head up to the bar to the others or are you just avoiding them for the time being? Oh, yeah, we run into them now. That's cool. Okay. Um... We'll cut back to the bar, assuming uh, chaos is still ensuing and that Bifon will be setting up the trap for a little while longer. But what are, what are the rest of the gang doing while this is all occurring? I think we're mounting for like... an assault. <laughs> I feel like I would want... I would want to be... I would want to be a dolphin. Because dolphins are like super sleek and pretty and and they can swim. Close. I want I still want close. Are we still talking about No we're not? We're saying what ammo we'd be. We have to steal the instrument. Did are we still doing that? What happened? Oh. Okay, so you saw Danny in your beer, right? Uh -huh. That sounds like a fae thing. What did he say specifically? Really does. He had a little <laughs> paper, and on the paper it said, Hello, Luto. <laughs> You're handsome. Uh -huh. Sounds like Danny. I love you. <laughs> Came to get nasty cable car has an instrument. I need it. Please get it. Or you'll never see your money again. Wait, he still have their money? Uh, yeah, he sold the tickets. He never gave us the money. 
Yeah, that also sounds like Danny. Okay, uh, he didn't specify an instrument, he just said something. Need a musical instrument? How many can he have, right? I mean, he's a <laughs> composer. He has access to a bunch of instruments, probably. No. Um, anyone who is currently not completely inebriated, uh, mm -hmm. you recall all of the posters and advertising outside. He's got a different instrument on pretty much every one mm. of them. <laughs> Even if that he's there's like a piano or an organ or a harpsichord in the background, uh, because that is what he's most known for, there's somewhere he's got a tin whistle, like a clarinet, something that looks like an upside down saxophone that he's playing with a, a bag, like just any instrument under the sun. Just him just jamming out on the marimba. <laughs> <laughs> Hmm. Should we try to sneak back to see? Well, I don't... Ludo and Luca, I love you both. <laughs> uh, I don't think right now you two are in the best position to sneak around and steal stuff. Why? How much did you drink? A lot. Mm hmm I, if you need me to be, you need me to be sober. I can do it like this. But if you need me to be sober, I'll be sober. I didn't drink anything. <laughs> this is what we're dealing with. <sighs> okay. You need. You need. Do, do you yes. need? Yes, please. Then I'll be here. Oh, okay. Okay. He uh. He like kind of like stares into the middle space for a second, and then he pats Luca on the head and says, I "I'm sorry, I only, only have one of this." And then he uh, rubs his belly and casts Lesser Restoration. Oh shit! Oh my god! Where's what? Wait, I'm a cleric. <laughs> <laughs> gives me grace and darkness and light. Uh, can you heal me, please? Oh, shoot! I do have it. Hell yeah. This is Desser Fest... Bless, bless her fester. Okay. Heal uh. me, please! And she casts lesser restoration on herself. Umberla is fine. I am fine. Let's go steal this instrument for Danny. Okay. Stealing an instrument for Danny? How did I get here? You, you know, had Luca? like half of one drink. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, I didn't. And if I did, I've been sober this whole time. So. Yes, and you were talking about being a dolphin, so it's not really good for your case. How did you know I wanted to be a dolphin? Maybe because you were drunk. <laughs> Me? Drunk? Yes. No, no. no. So, uh, crimes! Let's go and do crimes! <laughs> she looks at the bartender. It's the code word for, uh, celestial ramifications of introspective medial um esoteric mm -hmm. uh supplementaries mm -hmm. yeah you shouldn't question them they're very important i, I okay. would never let's uh let's go <laughs> Okay, where, where are y'all heading? <laughs> You're currently kind of in the bar area uh, that leads out to the um, the balcony level of seatings for the actual theatre itself. Um, if you were to look for <laughs> a uh, 
If you were to look for any backstage stuff, you will have to do an investigation to see if you can find your way in. Or just ask round to see where Kenta can ask is. Hmm. That is all up to you. I can't really see Kentigan Aster right now. It is important I give him space, but uh, also, if I'm being honest, I'm not very sneaky, but I'll support. Uh, if anything I can do, maybe make a distraction while the sneakier people go see what kind of instrument it is we need to take. Maybe the instrument will be in most likely either backstage or in the orchestra pit, right? Yeah, probably. That they, those are places where instruments go, I think. I imagine if it's uh, something that Danny needs, he probably keep it somewhere safe, <laughs> different from the rest of the normal instruments. So we are looking for an instrument that is uh, probably, I don't know, guarded or kept safe and in a vault or something. Yeah. All right. Lead the way. I'll, I'll see if I can get my hands on it. Hey, I think we should probably start backstage first. Okay. Let's roll an investigation. Let's have Camellia roll an investigation check. Woo. And if anyone would like to help, we can do so at advantage. Yes, 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 yes. Luca's just contemplating the last half hour of her life. I got I'll it. Help. Oh, nice. <laughs> oh, she. We ain't rolling high today, boys. Mm -hmm. Um. Good stuff. Okay. Um, you uh, <laughs> very easily stumble on a door that says backstage. Uh, <laughs> do not enter. Um, and it's kind of uh, down the stairs from where you are, so it's kind of on the ground floor level. Um, and there's no one around. There's kind of a couple of people in the ticket booths. Um, in that area kind of where you enter but it doesn't appear that they're particularly looking this way or paying much attention and we didn't run into them on the way out right roll and invest uh i don't know what roll that would be uh high or low hi hi <laughs> it is Hello. uh you see, as you're walking back, uh, kind of towards the bar area, just before you go up the stairs, you see um, Ludo, Luca, Tarquin, and Camellia standing outside uh, one of the doors to backstage. What are you doing? Oh, ah! We were Nothing! looking. We I were didn't looking do anything. I wasn't involved. <laughs> Luca, quiet, snitches but... get a stitches. Carry on, carry on. You guys having a good time? Uh, where have you been? We were looking for you. He was uh, doing a very of... important mission for me. Mm. Yeah. Sure. Um. <clears throat> you guys need anything? Oh, we're trying to steal an instrument. Ooh. What do mm -hmm. you think it is? I don't know. Danny showed up in my beer, said he has, uh, the music man has a very important instrument. We need to take it. Uh, not really sure where it might be or what it is, but Danny has our money, so. Uh, before you your, to, yeah? your accomplices just go, uh, we'll leave you to this and meet you at the bar. Oh, no, they're still here. Oh. Don't need to go anywhere. Unless we're le If they leave, I'm leaving. Oh, do, do you do you need us to come? We can oh, be dancers again. The whole thing. Oh. <laughs> if you guys, they okay. Everybody's We're itching to do something. So, if you guys need us, like a distraction or anything, just let us know. We'll do. To steal stuff. All right. You have fun then. Mm -hmm. I mean, we can 
go along if you need. Whatever. I'm gonna let I'm gonna let them work it out, and I'm just, I just want to know okay. if I was here to assist or whatever, or if yeah. we just missed each other on the way to the bar. You can you can keep your ears peeled uh, to see if you can hear any chaos that happens backstage and go and assist. If yeah. uh, if you if hear us see. yelling, uh, then that probably needs means we need a distraction. Sure thing. <laughs> okay, so Ludo talk with Camellia and Luca. Do you head backstage? Mm -hmm. uh, I think I'm on I'm on team distraction. Ludo has heavy armor. He's got a disadvantage on stealth. I think better if he's on team distraction. And he doesn't want to go backstage and see things he might not want to see. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so you, are you gonna what what's the distraction plan? Uh like Camelia said, if we hear yelling, make a distraction. Okay. <laughs> Sweet. Um, so, uh, L Luca will do the same. Um, I think she's not particularly willing to do this crimes. This is gonna be fun. I have a plan, so, but... Hey. Camellia and Tarquin, you are alone in the back, dingy backstage alleys of theatre. Um, they're not too bad. Um, and you see, this is kind of not a dissimilar looking area to the rest of the cushy nature of the theatre itself. Uh, for this is where you see the different uh, dressing rooms. You see there's a dressing room for the different orchestra members, violinists, soloists, blah, blah, blah. blah. Um, you do hear a bit of a kerfuffle in uh, the soloists room. Like a, like a strange gargling. Um, oh, God. And, the <laughs> and a doctor saying, Ugh. Oh. I don't, I don't think uh, Lady Crumple Wumple will be able to perform today. Uh, no, I, I think, uh, I think it is, I think she is too ill. No, 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 you, you, be, you be quiet. You need to save your voice. I think, I don't know, I don't know what this is. Honestly, it just, it just, it looks, it looks like some kind of fucked up magic stuff. Uh, you will probably not be able to perform today. I'm sorry. Um. And as you carry on going past uh, the different rooms, you come across a very lavishly decorated room uh, with the name Kentaganaste Abelard on it. The door is closed. What would you like to do? Uh, can I roll investigation to try to listen inside of the room? Certainly can. Roll an investigation check for me, please. Lady Crumple Wumple, the name contributed by Zombie Fee last time we played. I was wondering. <laughs> I was I was curious. It's a great name. This is it had to be. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Uh okay, what did what did the roll? Thirteen. Thirteen. Um you hear some gen gently muffled conversation, occasional piano notes playing. Um, the room is definitely inhabited. Okay. You can't quite hear a distinct conversation. It sounds like there's people in there, and if this instrument's important, it's probably in there too. So we need to get them out of the room first. Mm hmm All right, um... Roll a stealth check for me, please, you two. Okay. Everybody oh my god. <laughs> oh no. Oh boy. I swear to god. Okay. Here we go. I almost got a nat one. <laughs> I think it's a oh. <laughs> we, We've been rolling very well today. It's It's gotta go bad. It's. Oh. Okay. Um, let me roll a couple of dice really quickly. Um, what I do... JC, would you like to tell us the story of uh, Volantis real quick? Okay. <laughs> so... 
Oh my god. I, I do play up the fact that Ludo can't remember names. It's it's a bit of a meme. But also, I on occasion, JC the real person also has trouble with names. <laughs> so there was a time when I was streaming and I was trying to recall certain characters' names. And I was talking about, you know, the breakfast call. I was talking about Bifon and yeah. Camellia. Mm -hmm. Classic. Umberlai. Umberlai, Luca, yeah, Ludo. Luca. And, uh, you know, uh, 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 Dar Darian's character. What was his name? Like, Volantis? <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> it's close. Was... It's close. They no, both have like ends. Character from Krull. It's like you listed all the character names and then Darian, and then you took a second like, to go. I can't no remember. No hesitation. <laughs> no hesitation. Just yeah. And Darian's Volantis. I'm like. <laughs> wait, uh, wait! <laughs> and you were so defensive, and I was like, uh, "I got shit for Dario." It's fine. But you expect us to ignore Volantis? <laughs> I gotta find it a was... third personality now. <laughs> oh my god! So Should I never, I never forget it on nice game day. Part. It's right there on the screen. It's right on the overlay. <laughs> but uh. It was just such a brilliant moment. Just, it was just you going, yeah, and Valantis. Wait, no, I don't. Mm. <laughs> mm. It's my favorite RPG. <laughs> I, th oh, I thought it was. Val I genuinely thought I was like super confident <laughs> that were... it was Valantis. That's <laughs> incredible. I want to know where in your head that came from. I totally right. Know. We were talking about it earlier. Apparently, it's from Game of Thrones. It's like a city. Apparently it's a game, yeah, uh... a place in Game of Thrones. But that's just it's so funny. Do you know the legendary hero, Volantis? He slayed the frost giants and the <laughs> Leviathan. Um, so, okay, awesome. Um, you see the door open and Kentaganaste is standing there. Is there anywhere to hide? <laughs> no, it's it's a it's a corridor, unfortunately. Um, can I help you? Um, you do both, however, clearly see Umberlai behind oh. him, leaning against a piano, and oh. she she her eyes just widen. And she's just, she just like gestures like, no, <laughs> like just cutting her, like just wafting her hands across her neck. Just like, no, just, just, <laughs> just tries to gesture as much as she possibly can. What is her level of dress? Ah! She's fully dressed. You don't know that. <laughs> 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 you don't know that. You don't know <laughs> I don't know what I loved more, just the immediate way in which you said it, or the delay for <laughs> groups to go, What do you mean? <laughs> I think it's good that Ludo didn't come along. You don't know. Oh, man. Uh, oh, my God. Uh, but yes, you you do see him at the door. Doesn't look particularly shocked or anything. Just very neutral. Just ah, uh, how can I help you? Ah, uh... just Umbrella like, just panic gesturing in the background. <laughs> uh, just looking. Mm -hmm. This is uh, a very lovely place. Yeah. We got kind of bored outside, so we decided to kind of look around, and we ended up here. Oh. Oh, backstage is surely a strange place to be looking around, but... You'll spoil the show for yourselves if you're not careful. Oh no, we were just looking around. We don't expect to see any action around here, so... Mm -hmm. Everything is going to be very peaceful, right? 
Um, Umbrella just like face palms. <laughs> Her face just beat red at this point. Right. You. You're, um. I met you at the meet and greet earlier. Yeah, and I actually had a quick question now that you're here. Um, I got this instrument thing, or this. I won a thing against a guy I met, and I won what he thought was a horn, and I pull out uh, the thing I won from. Oh. Mm -hmm. oh. So what? Yeah, okay. he, this guy, uh, Wem Wemble something, I forgot his name. He says he claims this is a horn, but I know my my way around horns. I don't know what this is. Do you know what this is? Roll a persuasion check for me, please. Mm -hmm. This is some session zero stuff for me. Holy shit! Where I I forgot about that horn. I forgot about that <laughs> horn. The 13? 13? <laughs> <laughs> he, he... Is it 13? <laughs> he looks down at the horn. Looks back up at you. Looks back down at the horn. Oh, may I? Reaches out his hand for your horn. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> That's not canon. Uh... <laughs> Uh, sure, she'll hold it out, but not let go of it. Interesting. You'll have to bring this around sometime so I can have a closer look at it. Mm -hmm. It's definitely interesting, though. And you say you, um, won this? In an archery contest. Oh. Uh -huh. A keen mm -hmm. archer, then, are you? <laughs> yeah. Incredible. Well, you find yourselves in fine company with the rest of your team, it would seem. Mm -hmm. Oh, very talented. Especially one such as yourself, who looks to talk when. Oh, yes. I am oh, you just... are so modest considering your achievements. But if I go around uh, always standing out from the crowd, I think I won't be able to make two steps in a row without being interrupted. So sometimes you need to do that, yes. Ah, nonsense. Where talent is concerned, it should be shared with all. Don't limit yourself for fear of surpassing others' expectations. Be who you truly are. Do not fear it. Uh, was there anything else? Well, I just wanted to continue browsing. I, I mean, since we are, I wouldn't say friends, but we are in trust. Can we continue looking f together and seeing more stuff? I want to see more, you know, instruments <clears throat> and all, those, all of that wonderful things that you musicians do. Right. Play. Well, how about... Uh, I'm sure the uh, stage director Estrella would be would catch on fire if she saw uh, people just wandering around her stage minutes before a performance. Come and meet me after, and I will assure you that I will give you a small guided tour of the stage and the orchestra pit and all of the various instruments for you and your group. That is very oh. nice of you. Thank you. Thank you. Of course. Now, if there's nothing else, I will return back to my business and see you for the show in half an hour or so. Mm -hmm. Damn, this guy is good. And he closes the door. <laughs> and Umberlai just does like a really timid smile. Um, grimace more so as the door closes. And you hear a <laughs> as it locks. We shouldn't tell Ludo. Oh. But... <laughs> what the hell is going on here? I don't know. Uh... Uh, too bad. He was here just at the worst time. Mm -hmm. We can't go inside now.
But then this is strange because Amberlai seems like a very intelligent and centered person. She wouldn't do any strange things, so she must have a plan. I hope. Yes. Uh, we have to trust her, I guess. Mm -hmm. Should we go back or try to keep looking around? I don't know. Uh, if we peek and get caught, uh, it's going to ruin everything, so... <laughs> I don't know. Maybe we should go back. Well, at least he's letting us look around afterward. So we can try to find it then. Yes, yes. Maybe then we can... I don't know, take a, a moment of distraction and get whatever thing we need to steal. Mm -hmm. okay. I think Luta was very concerned, so maybe we should try to uh, just not get in any conclusions before time. Mm -hmm. All right, so you head back outside um, the backstage corridor and greet Ludo. <laughs> Who I'm petting. <laughs> it's fine. That's for Ludo. <laughs> um, Ludo, you see uh, Camellia and Tarquin return after a few minutes. Hey, any luck? Nope. Uh, we tried to go to his dressing room, but he was in there. So we couldn't really investigate. But he's letting us... Uh, look around after the show. Maybe we can have some people break off and look around then. Cool. He was alone, or...? Looks to Tarquin. Um, well... Uh, no, not really, but uh, I think he was... Uh, okay, okay, on... okay, 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 okay. Yeah, what's, really. uh, what's the, uh, what's the <laughs> next step? What's, what's our next plan in the step? What's our... <laughs> What are don't we doing worry. next? Uh... Don't worry, big guy. Nothing was going on. Don't of course, worry. of course. I think, yeah. it, I think it, it, the big problem in your head is not as big. It, it's not really happening right now. So no, 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 no. Of course, of course, of course. No, no, no. Of course, you're right. You're right. Are you gaslighting him right now? Eh? I'm helping him. No, Luca. Gaslighting oh. isn't real. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> okay. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we, yeah, we, you know, it's... <laughs> it works and it's mean. <laughs> We're on your team, Ludo. Don't worry. She's uh, visiting with an old friend, and that's perfectly fine. And nothing weird is going to come of that. So let's uh, steal this instrument. What's next? What do we do next? We've got about oh. half an hour until the show kind of starts and everyone will be taking their <laughs> seats. God so damn, this place is boring. <laughs> if y'all <laughs> really good of kind is. Uh if y'all would like to get into your theater specific attire, uh you may do so. And there is a little time before things will kick off. So if you'd like to do anything prior to the show starting, now is Me and the girls are gonna go get loaded. <laughs> okay. Lo loaded? With with money? Oh. You want a drink, Luca? Do you, um, How many spell no. slots you got left? <laughs> Thank you. I, I am. I will stick to water or raspberry juice if there is any. Thank you. I'll see if they have any raspberry juice. To be fair, uh, Luca did specifically ask for raspberry juice, so. I'm sorry, Wasbury <laughs> juice. I'll get it for you in a little cup. Yeah. Uh, you see the uh, the blue tiefling that was there has now been replaced by a frog folk person, uh, all suited up in the attire, and nice. uh, you see him just go, "I uh, I am very sorry. Uh, we have literally just run out of raspberry juice." <sighs> We do, however, have the far less superior, but still somewhat delicious, uh, raspberry juice. You have grenadine? Yes. Put it in the raspberry juice. 
That's just Come on, genius, hop so. to it. I've got. Hey, I've got, hop to it. So. I like your witticism. <laughs> and he, <laughs> he stirs in a little bit of grenadine into the fucking raspberry juice, <laughs> and uh, slides it over to Luca. Is this? So this isn't raspberry juice. It's great. It's grape. Great. Oh. Give it a uh, go. Thank you. Hmm. Now that's no raspberry juice, but it's not far <coughs> off. <laughs> they ran Thanks. out. I, Thanks, people. I know. It's I understandable, try. though. It's just so good. You can it, it is. Get I know. It anywhere. It's nowhere. <sighs> didn't even have it back home. Sucks. Um, <laughs> audience, you see the disappointed the lady. Audience, you see the camera pan over, and just behind the bar, like um, you see the bartender's personal drink, and he does have a raspberry juice with a straw in it <gasps> for keeping himself hydrated. Well, you know he's not paid enough to work here. <laughs> That's fair. Gotta pay yourself in raspberry juice. <laughs> so. We've got Bifon and Zabar with the rest of his party. What about everyone else? I'm getting dressed, getting all zhuzhed up. Would anyone like to do anything else before the evening? Uh, Ludo's going to get fully dressed. He's going to Aww. also dress up um, friends and <laughs> smuggle friends underneath his ponytail. Nice. Um... Friends will roll a stealth check specifically. <laughs> um, I would like to uh, assist by making my ponytail poofier than normal. Okay, that is good, because he did get a natural two. Um, <laughs> oh. That is a 12. That is an improvement. Um, All right. It now looks kind of like you've got uh, a ponytail that goes from your kind of natural dark brown hair to... A kind of silvery gray to white um <laughs> kind of feathers out at the end kind of feathered yeah it's a look <laughs> um <laughs> as he's adjusting uh friends his little then. bow tie ludo will say something along the lines you know it's important uh trust is important in all types of relationships i trust you you trust me we trust mom right we trust we trust mom and uh What's important is that uh, you you know that uh, when you're partners with somebody or your father and son or mother and son, you, you know, it's always important that you just, you know, you're not going to be let down, not going to be betrayed. Uh, yeah, it's everything's going to be okay. So, you know, it's important that you believe that. He kind of pats your neck with his wings. Um, yeah, 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 a, yeah, a, yeah. It yeah. sounds, it seems, it, it, is it intended as a kind gesture? It's more just kind of like... <laughs> um, <laughs> kind of at the back of your head. Um, yes, and as you um, kind of rejoin back into the fray, um, seeing that the place is starting to get a little busier now, um, you do indeed see um, Umbrelai uh, come up the stairs from out of the backstage door. Uh, now I'm gonna just go the deadass version. I think we're just gonna deadass do the deadass. Deadass. Um, you see uh, she comes out wearing the dress that she chose at the shop. Um, and kind of sees you. Looks away. Looks back up to you. Kind of <laughs> deep breath. <laughs> Makes Hello? way over. He uh, yeah. smiles and crooks his elbow towards her. She takes it. He leans in close, very close, to whisper something that only she can hear. Mm -hmm. Friends is under my ponytail. I mean, there is a ticket tree now that Danny has been taken back to the Feywild. It's it's not as fun if we don't uh, sneak. Oh, we can smuggle him in. 
then if they ask questions, we can show the ticket. Oh, very smart. That's why that's why I keep you around. You're very smart. <laughs> Likewise. He gives her a affectionate pat on the butt and then uh, finds their seat. Nothing changes. Wonderful. Right. Um have we got the rest of the uh, group here? Kind of does everyone get together before heading in? Is there any sort of like a fixture on the ceiling by any chance like a chandelier perhaps hmm, chandelier in the op in the kind of entrance and bar area hmm dm may i roll yes. a sneaky little acrobatics check oh dang what what dost thou intend to do <laughs> um if the need is there to roll. I am, I got my legs on it and I'm spinning around on it and I'm holding on to Nubi's hands. Oh She's just God. going around like, wee. <laughs> <laughs> um, how are you getting up? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, acro acrobatics check. Uh, yeah, definitely an acrobatics check. And Num Numi will Ooh, also 19. have to roll one. Holy shit. Um, Numi rolled a natural one on her acrobatics check. <laughs> um, so you jump up there, Hold kind of holding her hand. And as you jump up to the chandelier, uh, you realize she is still on the ground. Um, <laughs> and Aww. she's kind of clasping her hands together. I got scared, I'm sorry. I was hoping she would get flung. <laughs> 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 that, that, it's all that right. Could potentially be <laughs> deadly. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> <laughs> you see, you see uh, a crane folk person just kind of stand uh, underneath the chandelier. Sir, please could you come down? The chandelier celebratory party is not until later this evening once the show has commenced do a flip off that shit and land right in front of him. Wait, hold on a second. Um, give a chandelier swinging party? Oh, yes, sir, indubitably. We have uh, quite the esteemed guests that wish that they too could spin on chandeliers. Uh, it is an exclusive party. Um, mayhaps I should not have told you about it. <laughs> My good man, do you have an invitation? kind of corners of his beak just turned down. Well, I mean, I've told you it's happening after the show. So. Well, <laughs> you seem like I'm the partying, kind of so person hopefully, who will yes. make your way regardless, if, if you so wish. If I haven't been arrested yet, yes, yeah, sure. That is true, I could call the guard. Eh. Oh, I didn't mean about this. Oh. Well, I Did could like a drink? the guard. Oh, you know, I am parched. Have they got any raspberry juice here, lad? See that guy right there? Behind the bar? Yeah. He's got all of it. Don't don't let him gaslight you. That wanker. He, every time Joshua makes sure to get all the raspberry juice. I don't blame him. I was as fast as him. Well, ladies, apparently this place isn't as stiff as we thought it was. Shall we go and grab our seats? Let's! Thank you, Mr. Stork Man. This is quite, it's quite all right. It's quite, quite all right. <laughs> Joshua! Give me some of that raspberry juice. <laughs> <laughs> don't ask me the voice. I don't. I have no explanation. All right. Uh, <laughs> is anyone else doing anything before the team gangs up and gets seated? Speak now or forever. How old your pace? <sighs> no. Well, in that case. Oh. In that case, 
we ourselves shall take a brief intermission to go get our own raspberry juice. I'm gonna drink so much <laughs> raspberry juice. <laughs> <laughs> raspberry juice. Um, and then we will return and begin the operatic showcase experience Damn. of one Kentagonasty Abelard and the esteemed Genoa Playhouse Orchestra. Um, how's that for a mouthful? Uh, so please, do go and get your drinks, get your snacks, get seated, turn any mobile phones off, keep all arms, legs, and limbs in the vehicle at all times, and we shall see you in 10 to 15 minutes or so, yeah. Okay. Sounds good. Bye-bye. BRB. -bye.
I love doing. I love when people tell that joke and then you go, "That's not a funny joke." <laughs> <laughs> just, just it just keeps spiraling down into how gaslighty can you go? <laughs> mm-hmm. I drop my croissant. <laughs> <laughs> also, we're back. Also, we're per- back. Perfect timing. Welcome back, everyone. Um, have we got anyone else to say hello to? We got Roxory. I don't think Roxy was here before. We have volcanoes. Some doodles. Some doodles. Uh, some doodles. <laughs> Zombie V. I hope y'all are doing well. Hi, Mark. Mark is here. Uh, Mark is here. Arr. Mark. I miss, missed you guys, Tori. Missed you guys, Tori. Um. Yeah, let us know what snacks and stuff you got. I got nothing. Every, every. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> Taquito and some water. <gasps> Yo, that sounds good. Um, but if there is indeed no further ado to do's, uh, subdue to's to do's, <laughs> um, then we shall <laughs> we shall indubitably resume. Um. From where we left off. So, you all enter um, the seating areas, kind of making your way along uh, the balcony to your seats. Um, you've got uh, names in tow. <laughs> you've got Terilia, Teleta, and Numi in tow, um, with yourself, Bifon. Of course, there is also Camellia. There is also Luca. There is also Tarquin and Luto and Umberlai and friends. And a spare ticket, as unfortunately, um, both meta and in world, uh, poor Danny the Dapper Dwarf was summoned to fey capitalism. Um, but not before leaving that slightly ominous message to his friends. Uh, so you all sit amongst yourselves, um, kind of lay, letting. <laughs> do you try and pull the seat down for friends, um, or do you keep him in the ponytail for now? He gets the. He'll stay on the shoulder after a ponytail. That's, that's good. S- seats that's... for seats for coats and purses. Yeah, and, it, and it's because it is also like those elastic, like those spring seats. So if he did sit on the seat, it probably wouldn't be enough to stop the seat. Kind of... <laughs> Crushing him. <laughs> Crushing him, yeah, just um But you see as a uh, very, very well dressed, very excited uh hubbub emanates around the uh foyer of the theatre. Oh my goodness. Uh <laughs> as people who have been waiting for months and years finally get to attend one of these concerts. You guys having been waiting for approximately a day and a half at most uh, and are excited. I think tensions are still a little high, uh, however. But you see a whole variety of um, some of the higher class of Genois residents um, for any who were not quite as financially able to get tickets are possibly completely towards the back on the top circle, uh, unfortunately. Uh, you do hear as one little family just goes, oh, Are we sitting here? No, darling, we're not sitting here. Here? No, not here either. Are we sitting here? No. Oh, no. I keep going back. Oh. oh, Mommy, there's a pillar in the way. You just, um, look, look around it. <laughs> but that man's really tall. Um, just doesn't get further and further away. Oh, no. Uh, <laughs> I've been there. Um, oh, 30 quid seat for a theatre. Why is there a chair behind this pillar? Why? <laughs> Why is there a chair here? Why are you selling it? Fuck I've you. I've been there. Yeah, right? Ugh. It sucks. Uh, literally. Uh, there was only one show where I wish I had that seat. Um, <laughs> anyway. Uh, but you all get sat and you hear the orchestra kind of warming up 
Um, you hear some behind the scenes rumblings going on uh, behind the curtains on stage. These beautiful kind of um, midnight purplish blue hue curtains. Um, just a gorgeous velvet um, ombre down from light to dark. Um, and you all have a moment of conversation. Uh, you also see uh, a snack vendor at the side with a little uh, tray tray table of snacks that they're selling. Um, they're not particularly like actively selling them. They're just kind of standing there with the tray table hoping no one notices them and then they don't have to interact with anyone. Um, but you do see uh, a Goliath woman holding this tray table out with a variety of snacks and goodies on it should you want a snack for the show. Let me get some uh, peanuts for everyone. Ooh. Okay. Uh, you head kind of head along the balcony. Um, you can tell these are good seats because there is room to walk in front of the seats without <laughs> having to tread on legs and feet as you go. And uh, you head to this Goliath woman kind of looks down at you and looks back forward, really hoping you're not going to buy anything. <laughs> um, are you going to buy those? Yes. <sighs> There'll be two silver, please. Okay. For an extra silver, we can soundproof them to make sure they're not noisy for the rest of the audience. Oh. Is there a way we can make them louder? <laughs> Her eyes dart down towards you. Roll a persuasion check for me, please. <laughs> you sense the rebel in her. The chaos. Mm -hmm. Fourteen. Fourteen. That is a success. Oh. Who's asking? She kind of looks oh. down at you with a little smirk. Bifon stares and hold a hand out. Pleasure. And she'll um, kind of wave her hand over your bags of... She'll wave your he her hand over your sacks of nuts and... Um... <laughs> oh, that's Valentine's Day! I love Valentine's Day! Uh, and she will uh, hand them all to you. Mm. That'll be... Uh... Three silver, please. Here's a gold. Well, thank, thank you, you so much for your help. Thank you. Alright, does anyone else want any of these? Okay, I'm going. <laughs> she <laughs> kind of like <laughs> ducks down the stairs. Mm -hmm. Val! Where what? Val! He's sending more messages from the Feywild! <laughs> <laughs> Val! If if you are if you are home and done, there is t there is time. Your Join seat us. Is, is taken up by bags and and clothes, but you are welcome. There's no pressure, but you are welcome. Um, Better not and sit. um, so as uh, Bifon comes across the row, uh, he hands all of you um a bag of. Uh, magically enhanced noisy peanuts. <gasps> Thirty minutes. Okay, that's are we... a very interesting time to join potentially. <laughs> are are we see. settled in our seats? Yeah. Oh, in okay. Uh, a real, real uh, thing that uh, Ludo wanted to do as they were getting settled in the seats. Yeah. Ludo's uh, walking through yeah, the row, time. and he's like, "Oh, which uh, uh, let's see, which which chair here is for Umberlai? Uh, let's see, which which one of these is uh." Uh, uh, Umberlai, do you know which chair is yours? I would imagine one of these along the row. Yeah, but what about uh, this one? And he gestures to the one that says Umberlai on it, right? Is that it? Yeah, no, there is there is indeed one that says Umberlai Bayani. Um, forever loved. Um, oh forever missed. <laughs> <laughs> In honor, in her honor forever. So beautiful. 
She looks at the sign and looks up at you. Uh. Huh? Did I die? Or... No. Oh, I <laughs> they they saying they remember you and they miss you because obviously you... after tomorrow after tonight you're not gonna be here no more. Are you plotting my murder? <laughs> I don't think if anybody's plotting something around here. Is... Saying, I don't that... know if you want to be talking about people plotting things right now. It is lovely and inappropriate. Just the right no. max. We're not. Do you know? Do you know what my surname is? I know. Her, it, she's her, smiling. Her, she's like. She's not mad. She's just like dumbfounded. I know what it's gonna be. You play your cards right. Oh really? Is that uh -huh. a promise or a threat? It's both, huh? Look at that. You give, come here, honey. Gives her a kiss and <laughs> smiles and sits down. Well. What is what is your surname? For for former for nor farm. It's actually significantly closer than I thought you'd be. It's Farnsworth. Farnsworth. That's what I said. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly I know that. I know that. Mm, yeah. No. Do you do you know what my last name is? Oh, you know what? Let me have a think. And she looks at the sign that's on the seat. Mm. See, you had to cheat. See. Mm. Is it, um, is it, uh, makes a plaque that suggests I'm dead? Is that, is that the surname? Or cooks really good food? It says it right there. Luto Bayani. <laughs> Bayani? Be, be, Luto, uh, Amberlai, be, Bayani. Be, Bayan, Bayani? What is that? Uh, your surname? Yeah, it's pretty good. Is it Bayani? Have I been saying it wrong this whole time? Gaslighting doesn't exist, okay? And then he he's settles in. Stop, Shit, con her, stop confusing her, face, her son. And he her face the bird. immediately neutralizes and she's on to you just <laughs> instantaneously. <laughs> you hear someone in the row behind you. Is that a bird? Where? On your shoulder! Oh no, this is friends. <laughs> well, well, I... That's not friends, that's a bird. He's friends, are you friends? Wait... No! No, I'm talking to friends, not you. Oh, <laughs> oh see? Oh. Uh, he's stunned into silence. Um, <laughs> can't really argue with that. Um, <laughs> okay, is anyone doing anything else while uh, the show is warming up? Get ready. Or is everyone ready for the show? My body no, is ready. Looking beautiful in my uh, silver suit. <laughs> yeah, you are. Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah, Umber Umberlai will shoot a concerned look over to Beef on real quick and just kind of thumbs up, tilt head. <laughs> just snap into a big giant toothy grin. She looks slightly alarmed, but also very proud at the same time. And with that, the music begins to fade. Imagine it faded, because I don't have that power. <laughs> 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 I am but a woman. <clears throat> <clears throat> you hear over over the uh, the meta speakers, uh, you hear the voice of Rock, sorry, the theater <laughs> tannoy. <laughs> The use of scrying and or stones of sending are not permitted during tonight's performance. <laughs> if you are caught using these means for illegal transmission of tonight's performance, Grog will be by to remove you and your magical means from the face of this realm. Thank you, and enjoy the performance. 
or if it's more an a, a more accurate theatre. Do you have a scream in front of your fingers during the production point? Please break all concentration on any spells. Thank you, and enjoy tonight's performance. Any yeah. kids? Is everyone just tentative? Tentative noises of enjoyment and uh, <laughs> building up the tension. You see uh, Kentigan Astir come out onto the stage. It's raucous applause. Um, kind of introduces himself. Ladies, gentlemen, and all folk in between, it is my pleasure to have you here tonight. What you will witness with your senses combined will hopefully inspire and uplift and entertain you all thoroughly. For our first act this evening, which will be followed by a short interval, we will be proceeding with our most famous, always requested piano concerto. You just hear, like, again, rock as a plant, just, oh, yes, that's what most people have come here for. You hear one go, yes, I love the piano concerto. <laughs> um, th thank you, thank you. Um, and after we have done the piano concerto and the interval, we will be leading into our special performance of the night for tonight only, which is our operetta of the proposal. But we shall not get ahead of ourselves, as we shall begin with the enjoyment of the piano concerto. And there's polite applause once again. Polite applause. Play file. Polite applause. <laughs> And the concerto begins. So, the first act of the show begins. A stage flooded with but a single spotlight. And Kentigenaste playing beautifully on his <laughs> large piano. Happy Valentine's Day. Hey. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Right? And um, as he begins to play, you see tiny glowing lights flicker from where he touches the piano, like the magical, awesome 3D D and D version of um, those piano tutorials on YouTube where they have the LEDs under the keys. Uh, <laughs> and the lights begin to kind of swirl and encapsulate uh, the piano itself, the stage these little lights flickering out into the crowd um, kind of floating up to all of you close enough to touch and waft in the air like small little dandelion seeds um, this is just the first act um, beef on you know that uh, Umberlai lets you know the scheduling of the second act of the play but is there anything anyone would like to do while the concerto is happening, other than to sit, relax, and enjoy it? No is a valid option. <laughs> I've made uh, two constitution saves to stay awake, okay. and I think I made them both. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you did. Um, yeah, Ambulai is there to help with just little nudges. Um, for mm. all, for all his, um, uh, eclecticness, for all, all his, um, interesting ways of speaking and poetic and flourishy, flouncy language, his music is fairly good, one, one must say. Um, if there are any checks you would like to do about the music, any perception checks for the stage, for Kentigenaster himself, or arcana checks around any instruments, um, the orchestra pit is full. Uh, now is the time to do so. 
Can I Arcana check the piano? Yeah, of course. No, I said that just to reject you. Get fucking yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, of course. Ooh, dirty 20. Dirty 20. Y'all are rolling good today. That's a shame. Um, you can see that the piano is definitely enchanted. Enchanted. To let out these little lights and other such flickery bardic shit. Um, <laughs> but uh, there's nothing inherently about the piano that is kind of charming or um, doing a spell that should be of any concern or a significant magical instrument or artifact that potentially Danny would be looking for. Mm -hmm. May I roll for criticism? <laughs> you certainly may. I will fucking allow it. Uh, what shall I roll to, uh, what, insight maybe? Mm. Roll a performance check plus your, uh, plus your proficiency bonus, please. Proficiency bonus? Yes. So, your performance and then add three. Ah, gotcha. Uh, that would be 18. Um, it is... Oh, man, I have to actually criticize answers now. That's horrible. Um... Well, I'm also just <laughs> one. I, 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 I'm yeah. taking a bit of the knowledge that I have to for, so, to tell the gals what I know about what's being played and all that kind of stuff. Oh, it's a phenom It's a phenomenal story piece. Uh, the concer most concertos are kind of a show off of the of the musicians' abilities and whatnot. But this feels more very narrative focused and storytelling, which is pot potentially why it draws the audience it does as they can picture themselves in various situations and apply this song to their own life, feeling more connected to the piece of music and therefore more connected to the artist Kentagamaster himself. Did the girls like that? Yes. Or, or are they asleep? <laughs> Numi didn't understand it, but <laughs> she was like, oh, that's very astute. Yeah, I was... I was thinking I like the piano, but, um, yeah, um, yeah, that's good. Um, and the song ends, and there is, uh, more appl applause.mp4. Um, <laughs> this, the concerto goes on for, um, a good, uh, half an hour to 40 minutes. Um, at the end of which, it's like, right. He kind of dabs his head with a um, very fancy handkerchief. I will be going and resting for but a moment. Uh, so while the interval is on, please do either help yourself to more drinks from the bar and we will see you in 15 minutes for the second and final act of our performance. Thank you. And takes a bow and just everyone, Woo, so good! I love you, Kentucky Have my babies! Um, so on and so forth. <laughs> And with that, we reach the interval. Um, the snack tray lady comes around again. Um, have you all been uh, getting into your snack trays or, or peanuts the whole yeah, time? Yeah, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> crunch, 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 crunch. <laughs> Brilliant. Well, so, we've been waiting for the second act. Don't want your throat to get dry too early. That's fair. Um, so... People begin milling about, and uh, the guy behind you that was talking about the bird is like, I'm going to the bar, that was most excellent, but I feel like it would be better drunk. Um, <laughs> and a lot of other people go and have the same idea. While you are all sitting um, in your seats, you see uh, an attendant in the uniform uh, come up to you, kind of a, a tiefling man, um, you recognize uh, to be Cosmo. And uh, he comes up to you and is like, uh, hello, I have a... Oh my gosh. L Lut um, Luto, it's... Mm. It's you. Cosmo? Right. It's oh me, my God. Cosmo. Uh, I'm so glad. Oh my God, here, here. And he reaches into his pocket to bring out a satchel. Uh, I call these 
Cosmo Crisps. I named it after you. You are joking. I am not. I am not. Oh, well, this is fantastic. What are they made of? Puts one in his mouth. Jack Rabbit. <laughs> mm. you, can, you can taste you can it, taste, right? You can taste the rabbit. Mm. That's like the rabbitest, rabbitest thing I've ever, I've ever eaten. Um, it, it is a, it is a delicacy where I come from. I made it uh, in honor of you and how you helped yeah. me celebrate with my family tonight. Thank you. Thank you. Um. Uh, well, please uh, introduce me to your friends. I mean not to uh, to be so rude to the rest. Oh, of, of course, of course, everybody. This is Cosmo. Cosmo helped us uh, with these seats when he heard about my mother who had passed away. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, lovely. And uh, he was very nice to help me during my <sighs> difficult time. Uh, this is my uh, good friend, the legendary Tarquin, as you know. Hello, nice to meet you. <laughs> uh, I feel like I've seen you somewhere before. Um, yes, well, he hello. Um, pleasure. Uh, Next to him there, we have the uh, very handsome, very svelte-looking Bifon de Stairs, who is uh, escorted tonight by uh, Nomi and uh, Tush Tush. Terelia, and this is my friend Tereda. Tereda. That's what I said. Well, even you can't get my name right. It's not with the tongue. I've been eating those uh, loud peanuts. <laughs> Pleasure. Of course, and um... there we have the lovely and uh, very mystical, exotic Camellia. Oh, wonderful! Pleasure. Hello. Hope you had easy travels. If indeed mm. you did, I didn't. Sorry, I didn't mean to assume you had come here straight from the the Feywild. Um... They certainly were travels. <laughs> wonderful. And uh, who is this? Lovely late kind of notices her sitting on the plaque seat. Oh, this this is my uh my my beloved. Her name is Amber Light. <gasps> the same name as your Yes, that's name. why that's why my mother always liked her, really approved of her. You know, they say uh, when sorry. you're a Madmas boy, your your mother's name you're gonna look for your mother's name in your partner, right? <laughs> what uh. can I do? I love I've my mama, and that, I love this mama right here. I haven't ever heard that, but you do know better than I. Um, ah, well, it's wonderful to... Sorry, just... You have the same name as her, and I can't help but get emotional. Um, that's all... That's all right. Kind of looks... Side-eyes, Ludo. <laughs> Ludo just um... smiles. And and of course, the uh, the guest of honor... Very important VIP friend of mine. This is friends. <laughs> oh, uh, hello, sir. <laughs> uh, hop, 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 hop to you as well. Um, <laughs> uh, I have been asked to come and retrieve um, the lady Umberlai for, unfortunately, um, Lady Crumplewumple, who was due to be our. Uh, Luke, Luke is just <laughs> Luke is back at the snack. Oh, group. I did forget Luca. I'm sorry. Luca comes back over with more snacks. I got more peanuts. Oh, who's this? And this, of course, is Luca, my favorite oh! one, my favorite of all of them. Hi, I got pe I got peanuts. <laughs> Thank oh. you, Luca. You're you're welcome. <laughs> A pleasure. Um, of of course. Um. Uh, I've been asked to um, bring the Lady Umberlai uh, down to uh, the dressing rooms for the uh, soloist of the evening. Lady Crumplewumple has unfortunately taken ill. Oh, no! Are you she... saying Wumple has crumpled? Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, if one were to be very insensitive about the matter, I suppose so, but it's <laughs> also not inaccurate. Um, so, uh, yes. Oh, he knows Crumple... me. <laughs> Rumpel has indeed rumpled. Um, she has fallen sick with some mysterious ailment. Oh, oh my that god. Is, that is just such 
A shame, that poor dear. She Hasn't she travelled incredibly far for this specifically today? Uh, no, she actually just came from up the hill. Oh, so it's not to worry then. Um, okay, uh, let him know I will be down momentarily. Is, and... is everything okay? Are you in trouble? I, I, I don't no, understand no, no, what's no, no. happening. I'll tell you in a second. Just wait for him, wait for him to leave. Okay, thank you so much, Cosmo. Goodbye. Oh, uh, goodbye. Goodbye. He just kind of bows his head and leaves. Do you know Did we're trying to steal the thing? What? Nothing, huh? What are you do? What were you gonna say? Um, well, I was, um, well, Cantagnaste, uh, suggested to me that it was possible that Lady Crumple Wumple, rest her soul, um, she's not dead, but <laughs> could be, pardon me, um, she, uh, has taken ill, and they need a soloist for this evening. And, What's that? you know, uh, someone who sings a solo for the, the music. You sing. Do I? Don't you? Uh, I suppose I do, yes. In, yes, I do, Luto. Sing very nice. Thank you. Wait, what? are you going to sing? This is, my, uh, this is my opportunity. Yes. <gasps> oh, my God, Umberla, you're going to sing? Yes! Because, oh. you know, the tragedy that hit Lady Crumple Rumple out of absolutely nowhere. <laughs> oh, let me give that a little insight check. Let me do a little insight on that check there. I don't know why you would do that, but feel free to go. Oh, 24! Mm. Yandere! She's going to roll also. Oh, uh, natural too. Um, she, <laughs> I see I'm the one rolling badly today. Um, yeah, she, she, this is too good an opportunity to pass up. And, uh, she didn't let it pass up. She specifically made sure that she had that opportunity, uh, to, uh, take it. Oh, that's why you want, all of this is a, you have, that's very good, huh? Oh, I thought I was going to fall asleep. My God, now I'm so excited. Oh, thank you. <laughs> well, it, it um kind of looks over to be fun. It will be a show of some sorts, I'm You sure. might have killed a lady. <laughs> <laughs> no, what? No, no, no. I'm not going to say anything. No, it was a simple... Simple, uh, simple curse, you know, nothing that can't be fixed. <coughs> nothing that one can be allergic to, so it can't be allergic. Can you be allergic? I think there have been cases where people have been allergic to curses. Oh, well, now you fucking tell me. Okay, well, pretty It's fine, um, it's fine, who cares? No, uh, probably a lot of the people in here. Um, they probably are very excited about, uh, Lady Crumple Wumple. Um... Well, they're going to be more excited when they hear you, my god. <laughs> hey. You, takes her hand. <gasps> you are going to do amazing. And he casts Bless. Oh! Do you want to cast it on anyone else? Uh, sure. I can cast it on up to three people. So I'm okay. going to cast it on Luca, who's my favorite. Of course. <laughs> Amazing. And on Camellia, who I feel is now spearheading the steal the instrument. Uh, uh <gasps> Oh my goodness, I have to change the overlay. <laughs> <laughs> as oh as you God. are deciding who else to bless on the coat and on the coat and bag chair, you just hear a <laughs> <laughs> and out blessed. of nowhere Danny the Dapper Dwarf appears on his chair um hi Danny are you sure about that hello, hello Danny hi hey, hey! perfect book 
fucking timing. Perfect fucking so, timing. The plan was to wait until the intermission before I hopped in, but Key was just like, get in here. <laughs> no, this is the intermission. Yeah. Get the fuck in here right now. Uh, <laughs> This is the intermission for the play. We've already had the intermission for the session, so you're oh. get oh. in here. Get oh. in here. Get in here. Get in here. You know, get in here. Perfect Hello. timing. Hi, Daddy. I need I mean, to read. I mean, I how are they? How's it going? <laughs> I, have to, I have to find my voice. Yeah, you are. You literally just s s s spawn in on your assigned chair at the theater. Um, okay. Was there anything in my chair? Yeah, Coats. just some coats and bags and stuff. Oh, so I'm incredibly uncomfortable right now. <laughs> no, you're, you're comfortable and you can see better. <laughs> Are you calling me Perfect. short? <laughs> I, would ne I would never short you like that. Hey. Alright, guys, it's, it's been fun. I'm gonna leave. It's <laughs> <No>! <laughs> You've come at just the perfect time, Danny! You've come for the second half of the of the play. Um, Wait, hold on. Danny feels something hit his hat. Wasn't there... Sack of peanuts. Was, I, gotta, I gotta check my messages. <laughs> Wasn't there something I was supposed to... No, you're good. You're I can't, good. I, I can't there's remember. nothing in addition. You know that there's a magical artifact. Um, the heist was planned for this very moment, so the team will probably fill you in on that momentarily. Um, yeah, we're all seeing. Danny's here now. My Hi. bird. Yeah. It's Danny. Hi, Danny. Danny. Howdy. How is everybody? Welcome. Where is my money? <laughs> Wait, hold on. I thought I gave you that money. Did we do that last time? Out of, out of character. I thought I gave you the money. Oh, dang. Did we already do that? Oh, then yeah. in that case, I forgot to actually... Not the How much was it? Yikes. Gold. It's going to be like 700 gold or something. I think it was like 1,200 yeah, pretty, or something. I'm pretty sure I gave you like... Oh, God. Wasn't it like 900? <laughs> oh, boy. We'll check, we'll check the VOD later. We'll, ch we'll check the VOD later. It's all good. We'll, we'll assume all right. there is 1,000 gold somewhere. Um, I mean... Incredible. That's a lot of gold to go unaccounted for. Like, I'm, yeah, I'm, Ludo, a little bit. <laughs> Ludo accidentally forgetting where gold is is not completely out of uh, Very in logical character. canon. So, yeah. He, um, he learned it from his player. <laughs> <laughs> so, Umbrelai is gonna um, turn to Danny and the rest of the group and go, right, I'm gonna go and get to, uh, prepared. Uh, Danny, there's loud peanuts if you want any. Um might want to uh see what the rest of the gang has to say except Luto. Maybe oh no Luto might know. And uh I'll catch you later after a completely normal second half. Okay. Bye bye. And she runs <laughs> runs down the stairs. Good luck. Completely Thank you. Normal. <laughs> completely normal. Yeah. 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 Totally normal. Luto's watching her walk away. Anything to, to, to mess that up. <laughs> Ludo's walk, watching her walk away as Danny's right next to him and he just like leans in and says, <laughs> I thought she was cheating on me. I'm happy to hear she's not. Uh, you and me both. <laughs> and he, like, re he like reaches up and tries to pat him on the shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> He gives him, he like elbows his side, which is really maybe his head. head. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, watch it there, buddy. <laughs> All right. Anything else happening while we are in the intermission for the show? Hey, did, did y'all get my message? Yeah. You want us to steal an instrument or something? Uh, it's a very, very powerful artifact. I'm glad I'm here so I can help with your work and mine. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, Camellia and Tarquin kind of took over that one. We tried looking, but we couldn't find it in our initial run. Yeah, Sorry. Ludo and I were busy doing other very important work. Is that. Ludo not got drunk. The Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> It did. So did Ludo. Half a beer. 
<laughs> so what's so important about the subject? It's it's it's, it's important for my job. Uh, the 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 whole reason I come to this realm is to collect powerful and potentially dangerous artifacts and take them back to the Fae for self-keeping. For safekeeping. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Bit of both, yeah. <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful Freudian slip. <laughs> yeah. Can I roll inside on that? <laughs> <laughs> you certainly can, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, you know, you don't need to actually. You know what the Fragmentarium does. Um, oh, yeah. Both versions of that are correct in some way, <laughs> shape, or form, um, mm -hmm. depending on your perspective of the company. <laughs> okay. Well, based on that role, maybe she doesn't. <laughs> Just munching on peanuts over here. <gasps> they're very. Uh, Danny, you notice they're very loud peanuts. They are specifically very loud peanuts. Yeah, you want them? <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> I appreciate it. Oh, and with that, there is applause as the lights begin to dim, and the beginning of the show. The lights come down, and everything prepares to begin. Now, this is where things get a little interesting. And a little oh. experimental. If I can find my fucking phone. Where the fuck is it? Oh, well, maybe it doesn't. <laughs> we, we experimenting? Remember that time the DM just straight up sang a song? <laughs> I mean... Um, there will be... There will be a, fully, a full version. Just saying. But for the session, I was like, we'll keep it lower key because it might be chaos. So I'm going to put a timer on. Um, I believe to get from the beginning of the song to the point of the point of the show, the proposal, is approximately 15 minutes. Pentagonaste will be on stage as Beef One discovered, for the entirety of the performance. Umbrella will also be on the stage for the majority of the performance, but for like one or two bits you won't be. This is information I assume you share. <laughs> um, if not, that's up to you. Um, so we all we, we all keep secrets here. <laughs> so you have until that music hits the end of the second act to have heisted or to have done what is needed to be done else the proposal show part will occur and it could get awkward so we have like a real life timer in yep. oh well, move quickly, have fun. Hey so, guys, I am musicless. That's okay, there's currently no music playing. Okay. And if there is no music, I will also uh, have a timer on and give you updates. Yeah, so, I'll, if you if like, I can pull you into a private channel, I can just sing it to you if you like. <laughs> oh, oh, don't, don't, don't threaten me with a good time. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, are you all ready? No. Uh, right. Camelia, you're going, right? Yep. Tarquin, are you going to go? I, I have no idea what, what the plan is. Um... <laughs> plan. You can join everything. or enjoy <laughs> the music as you wish. It is up to you. Well, I got a job to do. <laughs> this is true. You know that yeah, Team yeah. Camelia is going to go heisting for the item. Um, Bifon has got a very Bifon and uh, his cohort from the sanctuary have got a very mischievous looks on their faces. Um, Ludo is incredibly excited just to see baby cheek, baby baby cheeks perform. I mm. think. Um... Yeah, accurate. <laughs> um... When does um, Umbrella hit her solo? First, second, or third part of the second? Um, half? there are. 
Um, she starts soloing immediately, and then I believe there's a small break just before it gets to the culmination part of the dun dun dun. Do the thing now. Or forever hold your peace. Okay. You guys have ten minutes. All right. Mm-hmm. So when you hear her start belting the second time, uh Yeah. I'll yeah. I'll let you know when it's like <laughs> the the uh stage of the yeah. I'll yeah. We'll figure it out. It's fine. All right. Are you ready? You see Kenta Gnastia comes back out on the stage, does a small bow, um, sits at his, I forget, I think it's an organ. <laughs> I've already forgotten. The piano. Yeah, I, was, yeah, I, well, actually, I thought, I thought a, you said it was a piano. There's been a, there's been a stage change, you guys. <gasps> what are you this for? Um, the following oh, I... sequence of events are a lot more... Um, it's not quite a full opera where it's like there's characters in full costume doing things. It's it's quite abstract, honestly. Um, so, Ludo, if you would like to, during the um, events of the story unfolding, uh, roll an investigation or an insight check to see what the fuck actually is happening in this oh. story um, of Kentagonastas, uh, you may certainly do so. But without further ado, the spotlight lands on him. Andrew on 20. Music. Begins. GG. The first note plays, you know exactly what this is. So, the orchestra begins to play. Ludo, you see this visage of the stage. There's a green grassy field at night. Some semblance of a hero running to try and go and find their love in the form of Umbalai, who is fully decked out to the nines in a much longer and more elegant version of the gown she has previously been in. Rest of the gang, what are we doing? There are... 13 minutes on the clock. Uh, Camellia is gonna motion to Tarquin and whoever else is joining her to go back to Kent, uh, Kentiganasti or Abelard's uh, dressing room. Okay, so you're All coming right. out of the theater, uh, out of the All nonchalantly. Uh, mm-hmm. just, just like you're going to the bathroom, just outside um, <laughs> down As the a group. stairs. Yeah. <laughs> You need you need guards uh, down the stairs, uh, out into the foyer area. Um, you see that there uh, is a worker in uniform outside the backstage door that you went through earlier. Mm. What would you like to do? There is no one else around. Uh, who's currently in the group? I believe you, Tarquin, and Danny, unless otherwise stated. Okay, so uh, he's he's just guarding the door? Yes, to backstage. Oh. Uh, and we have to go go backstage to get to his to get to his room. Yes. Mm-hmm. Mm. Camellia and Tarquin uh scoped it out earlier. It was unfortunately inhabited at that point. <laughs> Ew. Hey, do one of you guys want to be a distraction? So we can distract him, or we can, uh, you know, do something a little less friendly. But uh, it is your choice. <laughs> could we maybe bribe him? Um, Into like looking the other way. Eleven minutes. Well, maybe we can try that, and if it doesn't work, I might hit him in the back of the neck, uh, unfortunately by accident. <laughs> well. I tell you what, just to make this quick, I'll start to bribe him, and while he's distracted, you can go ahead and do that. Okay. Take him off the team. All right. <clears throat> Danny, what are you doing? Yeah. My, my good man, I've got a question for you. Oh, yeah, what's up, man? Yeah, um, you see, I'm a really big fan of, of, of Abadillard Abel, Canasta, and, um, I was just wondering if I could, oh. um, 
get back there and maybe uh, maybe get get a souvenir. Oh, dude, I don't I don't think I can do that. How much are, money are you flashing? Are, are, are you sure? How much money am I flashing? Well, how much money I got? Not counting the uncertain nine hundred something gold. Well, that would be approximately, I'd say, four or five hundred. I think with how much you made last week, you've got uh, hundreds. I think. Well, I gave look, inventory. Enough. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm I'm currently sitting pretty. Uh, so I just uh, casually pull out fifty gold and just kind of, you know, do some tricks, try to catch his eye with him. Are you sure? I can't, like, sneak back in there for a minute or two. Oh, bro, that's, uh... I mean, I could, but hang on, let me have a look. And uh, he opens the door, to, uh, j open slightly. Uh-huh. And, um... He looks down the corridor and then turns back to you. And is like, oh, dude, I don't know. Camellia and Tarquin, the door is open and he's looking away. If you want to go in, now's your time. Yes, I want to talk, please. Yep. Roll stealth for me, please, both of you. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Oh, Not dude. I'll, I'll just Natural kill. 20, baby. Nice. nice. <laughs> like a whisper in the middle of a storm. Oh, let's go. Unheard. <laughs> um, Camellia. Nice. Um, Camellia and Tarquin, in you go. Right back to, as you're running to Cantagonastas. Room. Can't believe Danny, you didn't knock him out. <laughs> uh, Danny, he's like, oh, I'm really sorry. I don't think I can do that. Are you sure? And then it's just like, you know, while he's doing those tricks with the coins, like ten more just oh, that's, appear. That's pretty cool how you do that. Can you teach me how to do that trick? Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, while you're doing that, <laughs> Camellia <laughs> and Tarquin, uh, you make your way to Kentaganaster's door. What are you doing? Uh, so we're, in, we're inside now. We see everything that's... Uh... Is the door uh, The door is closed. Okay. Oh, okay. I'm rolling right. perception real quick to listen in again. Um, you don't hear anything. Uh, let's go in. Right, let's try to open it. Fuck it. Okay. Just under six minutes left. Um, you open the door. Oh, sorry. What did you say? Sorry, one more time. <laughs> Brain fart. <laughs> um, yeah, We're the door. Sorry, oh, door is open. Okay, door is open. Um, you see a bed, the piano, and a box um, just underneath it, and a stool, um, a desk with a quill and other such things on it, uh, and a pile of what seems to be. Uh, Kentaganaster posters that he was giving out at the meet and greet. What are you looking for? Box. Right right now. Box. Box? Okay. Okay. Both roll uh, investigation checks for me, please. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Ludo, okay. this is a beautiful story of this couple that are overcoming all the odds to be together. Um... The only woes and difficulties that are occurring are all internal battles of worthiness. Are they worthy of each other? Is their <sighs> love worthy of survival? Beef One, you notice this as well with your um, esteemed, uh, tasteful eye. Um, Luca also entranced by this performance. Okay, what do we get? Let's go with... Uh, so we got Camellia has a 12. Uh, Camellia, you, uh, you find uh, a tin whistle and some maracas in the in the desk on the on the desk um in the desk you find some various papers um that you can spend some time looking through or you can just take them um tarquin you uh look in uh you go to look in the box but it is locked so roll a sleight of hand check for me if you would like to open it please yes that is a 16. nice it opens um you see um, what appears to be a bright silver pig globe. The first act of the show. Applause. Uh, Umberlai leaves the stage. The organ is pulled out. Kentaganaster is time. Organ time. Um, <laughs> there is still time. Uh, approximately. The, the, the maths. Five minutes or something. I don't know. I can't maths. Um, not even. 
yes, you lockpick it, you see this beautiful, um, like engraved uh, silver and gold flute. Um, you may roll an arcana check on it, or you may take it with you. I'll roll the arcana. Okay, roll an arcana check for me, please. That's uh, nine. Uh, it is a flute. It might or might not be magic. Nice, it's a flute. It <laughs> Do you think this is what we're looking for, or is there anything else around here that looks suspicious? Uh, can I roll Arcana on it? You can certainly roll Arcana on it. Uh, maybe. I also found some papers and a Moroccan something else. <laughs> Tin flute. Might as well take them all. <laughs> yeah. Tin whistle. Uh, I, I rolled a 21. Just got oh, nice. all your arms full. Uh, Dad of fucking magic ass flute, my Dale. <laughs> 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 I think that's it. Should we still take this other stuff? I mean, I always liked maracas, so let's take it. <laughs> <laughs> can I also have a poster? Okay. Um, roll, both roll for me, if you will. Um, a, ooh. Uh, investigation or a sleight of hand or a survival check to restore the room to its previous order before you entered and rummaged. Gotcha. Natural 20, yes. Oh my god, let's go. The box untouched. You you relock it. No traces. Um, no traces. Okay, um, I got a 15. 15, okay. The desk, it more or less looks the fucking same. Who's who's gonna notice? An artist? Uh ain't no way. So <laughs> you both leave the do you both leave the room? I take a poster as well. <laughs> okay. You both take a poster. You Yay. close the door. Um, do Who's you try steal to steal a poster? An artist? Sorry, go ahead. <laughs> do you try to relock it, Tarquin? Yeah, sure. The door was the door wasn't locked. That was a trick question. It wasn't. It, it didn't mean to be. <laughs> oh, um, okay. The, we've got the, the we've got three minutes left. Okay, um, I, I think we're good. Uh, Danny. Um, as you're teaching this guy tricks, um, I will need you to roll a perception check to see if you see the others coming out. All right, perception, perception, perception. Because an extra effort will need to be made because they are carrying a whole bunch of stuff and there are maracas. Actually, Camellia, roll stealth at disadvantage, please, for me. <laughs> I got a 23. Okay, um, you see them coming, so you can make an extra effort to try and distract this man at the door. Oh, you know, I was juggling, you know, with, with my hands. I, like, add, add, add a foot. I'm, like, bouncing it off my foot. Like, Ooh, you know, disadvantage. Just really... Oh, my, oh my God. One, one. Oh, shit. Nice. Yeah. Um, fuck. Uh, yeah, you're just like, <laughs> hey, look at this. And he's like, oh, my God, bro, that's so cool. And he tries to do it, and all his coins fall on the floor. And he's like, oh, hold on, let me get those. And they, like, roll under a couch that's, like, in the waiting <laughs> area. And he goes under and gets the couch and... Camellia and Tarquin come out. No fucking fuss. No noise. Um, Danny, are you joining them? What are you doing? Did you get it? Did you get it? Yeah, hey, take a look. You also got some posters. Oh, oh this no, is no, really no. stuck back here, man. All right. Y'all y'all go ahead. I'll finish up here. All right. <laughs> Okay, you heading back to your seats, you two? Amelia, I want one maraca. Okay. <laughs> Just hand them one. I'll keep the others. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Bifon, it is, um, I believe, slowly coming up to the time of reckoning. Mm -hmm. uh, just to let you know. Uh, Danny, what are you doing to end this conversation with the man who is still under this couch trying to get uh, a couple of his bronze coins? Well, you know, I'm just walking over. Well, I, I I do appreciate that your job is to keep people out, so I'm I'm gonna stop bothering you. I do have one more question, though. Oh, bro, it's mighty kind of you. What's up? Um, can you point me to the nearest bathroom? Oh, there's one right there. Uh, you see oh. a door like right next to the backstage door. I, look, I, I, I failed that perception. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, thank you, sir, and um. Thank you, bro. While he's not looking, um, you know, I start to act like I'm going into the bathroom and then I sneak backstage. Oh my god. Okay, where are you going? I want to, like, see the room. <laughs> I'm curious. Okay. Um, you go along the corridor and you see mm -hmm. Lady Crumple Wumple's room. Uh, there's no sound coming from it. You go to Kentucky room. Um, right. you open the door. The door is closed. 
door is closed. Uh, I try. I, I like check to see if it's locked. Okay, it is not locked. We will All come right. back to you. <laughs> okay. You see that um, as Tarquin and Camellia, you return back to your seats. Um, it appears the kind of climax of the show is approaching. Um, Kentakanastir on the stage with Umbrelai. Um, this very kind of romantic scene playing out with all, all the bardic just decorations and rose petals and everything y'all could imagine. Um, Ludo, this story, it's too good to not be true. You wonder if Kentagonasta himself has been through this experience before. You almost feel sorry for whoever it is about, if it is indeed about him. Um, you see Luca next to you kind of dabbing her eyes with a hanky. <laughs> <laughs> um... Who's on the uh, stage right now? Is it just Kentaganaster? It's Kentaganaster and Luke and uh, Umberlai. Oh, okay. Uh, Ludo is nearly moved to tears as he's riveted, leaning forward in his seat, clutching Luca's hand. <laughs> it's so beautiful. It really is. She looks so beautiful. What's that? She looks like a butterfly princess that you find on top of a cake. I want to be her caterpillar cocoon. <gasps> That's really cute. You should be. Uh... Um, be fun. You see, the time is approaching. Whatever, um, whatever words they are speaking, um, through dance question mark um again kentagonasi is very abstract and uh poetic to the nth degree uh, nothing is kind of clearly stated in his work um but you can tell that the climax play is coming up <laughs> but shortly uh camellia and tarquin <laughs> I'm, I'm going to ask you to roll one more stealth check for me, please, as you come back to your seats with your maracas. Shika, shika, shika. Um, yeah. <laughs> That's a 20. Dirty, but 20. Oh, damn. Nice. 20, 20. The 16. Um, nice. Uh, Targwin, you make it back to your seat. In silence, barely breaking a sweat. Um, you kind of... Uh, the rest of the group sees you come back. Oh my god, you were really fast. Did you find it? What do you think? Yes? Yeah, of course. Yes! Ludo, they found the thing. <gasps> Very good, what is it? Like some kind of whistle? I don't know, Here what is go. it? Ludo, look. Oh, very nice. Want to play? Don't Try play it. it. Don't, don't you? Oh, don't play. Don't, don't play it. No, not right now. No. Okay. Um. You guys, she looks like a butterfly princess. <laughs> uh, Danny, if you want to do something, what are we doing? Um. Uh, didn't, re didn't really have any plans. I just wanted to take to take a look. <laughs> <laughs> is there anywhere in particular you're wondering or are you just going down like the first corridor that's not a door are you going into uh, doors there well, are doors like, there are corridors like, like you know I'm just kind of peeking into rooms just kind of like because you know I've never been backstage in a play before so I'm just <laughs> just really just you know I'm not tr I'm, <laughs> I'm not trying, trying to be experience. yeah I'm just I'm not trying to be stealthy because I already have the perfect excuse if I get caught so, you know, mm -hmm. uh, if anyone walks up on me, like, they're, they're not going to have a hard time finding this very snappily dressed dwarf with a bright <laughs> green beard just meandering the, the halls, looking into doors and such. <laughs> um, okay, uh, higher or low? Uh, 
Hi. Hi. Um, you uh, find a darker corridor than the others um, and see that it is, a, it is a wing that peeks out onto the stage so you get a good view as Kentagonas do and Umberlai take center stage. Oh, hell yeah. I'm checking that out. <laughs> right in the position, Bifon, that you saw on the piece of paper. What are we doing? You can only roll advantage once, right? Can't stack them? Yeah. Okay. Oh inspiration. You can add, use inspiration. Yep. Uh-huh. And I'm just back here laughing like it's Cape Fear. <laughs> 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 and the gals are laughing and everything. And as we all laugh, I slip down into my seat. I put on the robe that we found earlier and the gloves and I move out of the aisle <laughs> to the side in the dark and I position myself, pull out my longbow, look up to the top and I roll. And that is okay. a one. So I'm going to Oh roll my God. Advantage. <laughs> oh my God. That is a four. I've rolled an 11. You all see on the stage as the music comes to a quiet stop. Kenta Gnastir goes down on one knee, as one would expect in a show called The Proposal. Oh! Umberlai. Ah! And Umberlai's like, uh, fuck, we're not gonna use real names in this, but okay. Uh, <laughs> Let us make life art. I would be yours if I could. Will you? And she looks up to the... <laughs> her head just like slowly turns to look up to the group. Um, paint a picture for me, if you will, team, of the expressions that Umbrella is currently seeing um on your faces right now we'll start with uh we'll start with uh danny in the wings who umbrella i can't see but uh i would be curious to see their reaction oh just uh, utter confusion you know <laughs> like he he like like denny <laughs> denny do doesn't entirely understand how plays work mm -hmm. but he's pretty sure that that's not how it goes yeah. you know what i mean valid uh yeah <laughs> but uh, he's just confused <laughs> Just like, huh? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> just confused retriever puppy, just like tilt head to the side. Yes, exactly. Uh, <laughs> uh, Camellia, how how would we be seeing uh, you right now? Uh, in your seat or eyes your wide. <laughs> she stood up, eyes wide, mouth uh, covered with hands, ears down, just like no, no. <laughs> Uh, Tarquin? So this is going to be a simple expression. It's going to be like, I grab the maraca from one side <laughs> to the neck to the other, like it's cutting his my own neck. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then very disapproving, like saying, oh no, you don't. Uh, I think uh, Luca would be um, pretty just tom and jerry jaw drop um just well <laughs> shock um maybe with a little princess peach gasp in there after uh ludo what's going on buddy hiding <laughs> what why why would you ask i'm fine everything's cool <laughs> Uh, Ludo is vibration. Uh, <laughs> Just <laughs> guys, there's an earthquake over her over here. <laughs> Ludo, yeah, Ludo is uh, uh upset. <laughs> Ludo's uh, oh. he's he's not he's shocked, but he's uh. Can I roll an insight on what um what uh Bifon was attempting? Um, you won't need to. 
Uh, okay. Lipon, what is your expression currently under the robe and the disguise of, of darkness? <laughs> you know how they say um, when you're in danger or attempting something um, spectacular, everything goes in slow motion? Yeah. So I'm just staring up at the arrow traveling towards the candle wax just looking at it like I've just hit a home run and I'm hoping nobody catches that. As the arrow spins, like you said, not dissimilarly to slow motion. And you see it almost, as, as arrows do when shot from a longbow, kind of bends the wrong way for a sec <laughs> and begins to curve back when you suddenly hear <laughs> ah! and Kentaganastir once kneeling in his prime, in his passion, in his ego is rained upon with purple paint and glitter. Oh. I'm glad he's smashed, but nowhere near as bad. <laughs> Um, and it's umbrella's color, so yes, queen. Um, <laughs> and... All that happened all at once? Yes. Okay. All right. Oh, no, it was like the paint, <laughs> bloosh, and then just like, as he was like, what happened? And then just the glitter just... <laughs> <laughs> just fall <laughs> falling gently from the sky <laughs> yeah no that's, you went right into comedic, it i was i wanted an opportunity to tell umbrella to move because she's always getting splashed with shit. <laughs> <laughs> um she kind cool. of brush she kind of brushes her dress uh bitch learned prestidigitation at sixth level uh, <laughs> <laughs> she knows better now she remembered um, so she just wipes herself off. She lets the glitter fall on her a little bit. Exactly. Ooh, little bit I'm glad you, yeah. Oh, I'm with you. We here. <laughs> um, and, uh, you just hear the collective gasp of the audience, the orchestra pit, the kid that's sitting, the, the family of the kid that's sitting behind the pillar, the kid just going, what happened? Why did the music go? Uh, <laughs> um, just Still not confusion at their seats. and shock. Yeah. Umbali just looks up and looks down at uh, Kentagnaste. <laughs> no. I... No. No. I don't think that's appropriate. Because not only... And you hear... And she, she looks at the band and they're like, Oh, are we... Are we... Uh, yeah okay okay yeah yeah we'll keep playing uh okay we'll keep playing <laughs> and uh she she looks to kenta ganaste just kind of still on his knees and dripping here's the thing i'm already engaged well um no i didn't mean i didn't Don't mean me, you idiot I... I didn't mean engage. We're not like engaged, engage. I am otherwise indisposed. First of all, and second of all, do you know the shade of this color purple? It's karmic purple. So you know that time in Bard College, and you know you stole my work and then got more famous, and then used my work, and then got, almost got me completely kicked out of college for submitting my work, which they then thought was your work. <laughs> do you remember all of that, Kent Ganaste? But you wanted to, you know, make amends. Mm -hmm. Make a wife. <laughs> she turns to the audience. The man you see before you is a sham. He composed one good piano concerto once, which is why he plays it at every fucking concert. As for everything else you've heard... Whose was that, Kentucky? Was that yours? Or was that not yours? 
No, he's being very quiet. I composed it. And he stole it. And then I had the audacity to invite me to be in it. Well, although that was partly my responsibility. Label cr Lady Crumplewumple is making a phenomenal recovery. <laughs> um... But there are some other people, I think, that should be celebrated at this event. Come down! Come down, everyone! And she beckons to all of you guys. Come down! Uh, okay. Come down. It's going to be really awkward if you don't. This whole thing get... is just going to fall apart if you don't come Try down. Try to get the, <laughs> the maraca ready. Yes, yes. The girls are just <laughs> giggling their asses off. Yeah, they're totally just... down with this shit. Dude. We're like, we're like a bunch of school kids. We're just going down in a straight line. Yeah. Finally, some recognition. <laughs> I can involve special uh, friends to get there first as we catch up. Just a little backflip on stage. <laughs> Almost bumps into a curtain. Now. These people might steal, might lie sometimes, and, you know, so sometimes screw over bad people, but only bad people. Like Dea Kentaganastia here. So, you all can make your mind up about where you stand with this man. I don't care if you go and see all of his future concerts. I just want you to remember that he's nothing to me. Sorry, darling. But this man right here points to Ludo and pokes, pokes you in the side. This guy's where it's at. Trust me, far better in bed. Her eyes widen slightly. I'll explain later. <laughs> um, uh, everyone make a perception check. Why not? <laughs> Danny, you are also welcome on stage, by the way, but you can stay uh -oh. in the wing if you want. Yeah, no, I'm, 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 I'm just up there chilling. I'm just up there chilling. You said a perception, right? <laughs> yes. Well, oh, yeah, you get advantage, Danny. For sure. Oh, how do I do advantage? Uh, roll twice and take the higher one. Roll twice? Okay. That's good, <laughs> because my first roll was terrible. Oh, no. My oh, no. my second roll was worse. Oh, no. <laughs> so, I... First I, roll it is. <laughs> I've, I've got an eight. <laughs> oh, amazing. Um, What have we got? What have we got? K Five. 16, five, no. Nine. Nine, nine. Seventeen. 17, okay. Ludo and Tarquin, you do see... Um, you do see some guards beginning to approach. Um, Ludo, you... <laughs> sorry, Bifon, you see one guard, and it's the guard that would be up on the uh, catwalks with uh, black robes. Uh, but somehow there was just one uh, black pair of robes and outfit missing. Uh, so he's, his armor is like reflecting off of the lights and you can see him clearly. Um, but you do see as some guards are beginning to, you know, find their ways around the stage and to block the exits. Um, thank you for your performance uh, today, my friends. Uh, not you, Kenta Knesset. And uh, we'll just be leaving now. Yeah, tell your friends. This was all part of the show, by the way. It's a modern art thing. Yeah, something like that. Right. Uh, shall we go? Mm-hmm. Okay, cool. Uh, and you go to, like, get off the stage. I want and... to wave at the crowd. <laughs> <laughs> um, Like, a couple of people applause. Uh, most people are kind of confused about what happened, um, and they're they don't pulling really know. A, they're pulling my face right now. Yeah, they're like, what? <laughs> what's happening? Like, people begin talking, and they're like, what's, what's going on? Is this really part? I'm not sure about this. 
what? Like, there's no specific booing or anything. They're just really confused. Um, My mom and, isn't uh, dead. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> you just hear, you just hear from one end. What? <laughs> <laughs> I trusted you. We all trusted you. Boo. So just Cosmo <laughs> is booing now. Um, <laughs> uh, yes. As you do, you begin to get off the stage. Do you go backstage? Do you, I mean, I'm like probably two things. Probably run, off, right? Yeah, probably. Yeah, what's up, people? Um, I'm going to take out a bit of modify memory cupcake that I have left. <gasps> yeah. I'm going to shove it in Ken to get Aster's mouth, and I'm going to whisper to him, I am such a piece of shit. And then I'm going to Misty step out. <laughs> So he's gonna think I that he's was... eating shit or something like that. <laughs> he's gonna. He's <laughs> always gonna think he's a piece of shit as long as that spell lasts. Mm -hmm. I am gonna ask you to roll us a, a uh, athletics check because okay. he's not just gonna let you put a cake in his mouth after all of this. <laughs> Nineteen. I'm I'm nice. Beef on the stairs. <laughs> Okay, I, I come on. grab strong ass gnomes. <laughs> hey, come on now. Kentaganastir, as a bard, has a whole plus one to his athletics, okay? <laughs> Leave him alone. Fuck! Now let me misty <laughs> step out of here. You put that cake in. You tell him he's a piece of shit. I mean, hidden. And uh, you misty step out of there. All he right. stands. He stands before you can all go too much further. Wait! Get them. And uh, we're going to roll for initiative, I think. Oh, yeah. dang! Let's Stage roll. five! Let's, um, <laughs> let's roll for initiative, shall we? I think we'll roll for initiative. going to um, paper Mario this shit. <laughs> <laughs> I know you want this, but I'm here to fight you, DM. Oh, yeah? <laughs> Oh yeah? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. oh yeah? Oh mm -hmm. yeah? <laughs> so let me know if we're overriding the fact that I just disappeared, and I'll get in the fight. Oh no, you're 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 invisible. Um, okay, cool. But you know we can roll. Uh, we can roll. Uh, blah, 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 blah. uh fucking what's it called? Initiative. 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 Um, we can roll initiative just to see where you would go in the order, even though you are technically last. Invisible. <laughs> I rolled the one. I have a five. Oh no! <laughs> okay. Well. Actually, hang on. Uh... Uh, what I'm asking, DM, is we fighting? Oh. Or do we have options? Yeah, the guards are gonna. The guards are gonna try and oh. um incapacitate you they're not gonna necessarily try and kill you but i'm not i'm, then I'm not gonna, gonna try and that. arrest you i, ha I had i um, had plans i have a question my my apologies everyone please roll initiative again i fucked up the order thing okay my bad i'm sorry What's that's up? cool while, while while we're rolling uh i'm still in the alcove or whatever right yes so in they the don't wings. know where so they don't know where i am like i'm not clearly visible you are, yeah, you're um, partly behind cover and not clearly visible. They have okay. got ranged people up on up on pl up on places and stuff. <laughs> okay. So, yeah. If you don't mind, since we're doing a fight, because I had a plan. Yeah, of I, even for the escape. So if we're doing fight, oh, no, I'm gonna yeah. take my uh, hidden step back. No, um, you can. As... Uh, <laughs> It's initiative. It doesn't mean you're fighting. It can just be you guys trying to escape while these fuckers are coming after you. Oh, um, okay, sure. So, um, yeah, I just I, what I was what I was trying yeah. to say is I wanted to know if this was a guaranteed fight. No, like if that was just your intention. No, initiative initiative doesn't ever have to be. Um, a I'm fight. It totally can fine be... if you had a particular plan in mind. Is what I'm saying. Yeah, it yeah. can be like uh, if um, a temple is falling apart and. Um, you're running away from it or something's collapsing and you're running away from it you might still roll initiative um okay even if it is not a traditional 
fight. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I didn't want to ruin your plans. I rolled no, the first all, for you're all, you're all good. Um, you all <laughs> Isn't that part of a player's job, though? <laughs> uh, I understand if some people have a particular intention in mind, like if they have a set piece. Of, yeah, you know. yeah, no, I, I get what the, you're saying. The lady, the lady composed three fucking opera pieces. I'm not gonna stand in her way to for the rest of the stream. Thank you. <laughs> fair, fair. <laughs> um, okay, and that's sixteen. Okay, thank you, friends, because that just helps fill in my initiative tracker easier. Um, and of course, Kent's gonna steer. Eh. <laughs> eh. Uh, okay. Uh, let me get all of this. Uh, worth noting that in my playlist, um, this song is called Tense Bardic Battle. Nice. <laughs> um, <This is> good. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's remake, okay. which I didn't realize. I, it, it's it's by the same person that did oh, thirteen really? Final Fantasy thirteen's music, so that's why it smells of I'm, Final Fantasy thirteen. I'm still musicless, by the way. Oh no! Um, <laughs> I'm sharing my screen, so you should be able to hear it, or you can uh, join the Watch Together link. It's yeah, that's what I that's what I've been looking for is the Watch Together link. Oh, I can post it again. I'm just blind. You're, you're silly Billy! You just let me know I'll put it back in there for you, yeah? Eh. There we go. It's in oh, the it's general in... chat for oh, you. Oh, it's in general. Yeah, it's always the... the same Always the same link. Before time. Oh, I need to bookmark it then. Yeah. Okay! Mm -hmm. Let's -a go! So we have the order is... Ooh, we got some high initiatives, goddamn. We have Tarquin, Bandit A, Bandit B, uh, Umbrella and Ludo. Umbrella and Ludo next to each other. Uh, and then two more bandits. Bandits are all grouped together, which is handy. Uh, Camellia, Wait, they Pete hired Vaughn. bandits? <laughs> well, they're just guards, but they didn't have... Oh, it's not like a gotcha. class of guard. They're, they're just named bandits in my thing. Uh... Then we've got Danny, then we've got Kentaganastir, and then Range, 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 and then Luca, who is also here. <laughs> Tr <laughs> trying to roll higher than a five for initiative at any point, bless her heart. Okay. Uh... So, Tarquin, you are up first. What are we doing? So, uh, we have most of you on the stage, pretty much, I believe. Um if not in that kind of area. Um, just having gotten off the stage or just going into the wings. Um, Bifon is invisible. And Danny is definitely in the wings. And my computer is having a tantrum. But hopefully y'all can still hear me. Yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, what are you, what are you doing, Tarquin? All right, so um, let's see. Uh, which one is my closest target? Um, you would see um, for the for the sake of the fight, uh, Bandit Captain A <laughs> is closest oh. to you, as they are at the. Um, there are kind of the two doors. Oh no, that's not true. Um, there are kind of four equidistant apart in a square around you so there's two up on the uh on the catwalks uh behind you and like 30 feet up and then there are two blocking the exits on this level on the ground floor um who are approaching um i'll take those two yeah okay um yeah go for it but I'm going to focus on one, because I I think that's yeah. a better approach to this. So, let's start with uh, a couple of words that's, that are going to be, you know, I love musicals, but uh, action is better. So, hey. you <laughs> are first, and I'm going to point at one of the guys. Okay. And I'm going to run and kick his ass. Okay. While wearing my suit, of course. Because I'm gonna look good. Of course. So I'm gonna roll for attack. 
Yep. Yep, yep. That is a 24 to hit. Oh, 24. That is a definitely 22. Hits. 22 definitely hits. And now I'm going to use two unarmed strikes. As which one is would expect. 19. Hits. And uh, 27, so everything hits. <laughs> God damn! Christ. You don't this is man gonna survive! <laughs> is this I'm man going damage. to survive? Let us find out. 7 plus 6, 15 plus 9 <laughs> is 24, plus 7 is 33 damage. Jesus! You are no, close enough. 31. Um... 31. <laughs> Alright, yeah, you fucking beat the shit out of him uh just just punches to the face body just like a massage gone wrong um <laughs> just front back sides just all clobbered um what you're saying is he, he got a sad ending <laughs> he certainly did he certainly did he certainly did that he did all right <laughs> he is still up and standing is there anything else you would like to do? Just provoke him. Okay. He's certainly provoked. On account <laughs> yeah, of you. but with a little shake of the maraca, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Shaking the maraca is a free action. Um... <laughs> Bring it on, bitch. Go <laughs> <laughs> you! Um, oh, uh, is that your turn? Yep. Uh, well, funnily enough, it is his turn. Uh, <laughs> nice. Uh, he... He... Is going to... This uh, this song isn't long enough. Uh, He's he good. is going to... Thank you. Uh, He's going to multi-attack your ass. Ha boom Does a... 15 hit. Nope. No. Fucking monks. monks. Um. Does a 16 hit? No, it does not. Oh my god. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, does, does a 7 hit? <laughs> no. It makes me laugh, but it doesn't hit. <laughs> oh, he, he desperate, like, he slices twice with his scimitar and then just gets just fucking enraged and tries to shank you with a dagger and you just, you just, just weave around all of them. And, uh, he's very, he's very angry about this. Um, <laughs> bandit captain number two sees this happening. Um... And is still going to stick to the left-hand side of the uh, ground floor and head up to you guys. Um, I guess... Who have we got? We've got Ludo Cam and Camellia and Umberly and Luca. Um, let's have a look. Who's feeling lucky today? Uh, not Ludo. He's gonna aim for Ludo. <laughs> um, all right. He's gonna he's gonna try to attack you, Ludo. Bring he, it. He. <gasps> that is a natural twenty. Oh, man! I feel bad. I feel like a lot of my nat twenties have been against you. It's nothing personal. <laughs> I promise. It is. It is. It's fine. The dice now. Oh God! Um, like a that is. I'm trying to kill our healer. <laughs> Yeah, so that's a natural 20. Um, a, does a 25 hit? It super does. It hella does, yeah. Okay, and does a 17 hit? Uh, 17 does not. Oh, nice. Okay, so he, the dagger misses. Um, can Luca and Umbali do anything? Uh, <laughs> checking for you. Uh, hopefully, nope, they can't do shit. Uh, oh, uh, shit. Okay, um, that's unfortunate. Okay, so that is gonna be... Uh, 1d6 plus 3 doubled. Well, 1d6 plus 3 is 9. 
add another six is... 12? <laughs> nope. 15. <laughs> I got there. Uh, 15 damage. Uh, add another 7 damage, which is 22. Dang. <laughs> and then the dagger missed. So he is going to slice at you twice uh, with his scimitar and just... I was enjoying that concert, you wank! And <laughs> just slice... Oh! Slice at you for 22 points of slashing damage. Um, it is Umberlai's turn, who is standing right next to you and sees this happening. Uh, what can she do? Can she do anything? Uh, she's gonna boop your ass and give you a healing word at, uh, at third level. All right. So that will give you one. I'll have to roll another one again. Oh, that's a one and a three, which is four. Uh, and another three, which is seven. And four is 11 points of healing damage. Nice. And she is then... Uh... Yeah, I think. I th I think she'd stab the shit out of that fucking guy. Um, <laughs> <laughs> she's she's gonna take out the parasol. Um, she kind of clicks the button for the parasol to go up. It shoots off of her rapier, and as the guy is looking at the umbrella part going up into the sky, she just fucking shanks him in the ribs. Um, <laughs> with a. 16 to hit which just hits and nice. because bard i guess she can do multiple attacks now per action i didn't know that was a thing bards could do but okay Fancy. um that is a miss though but she gets one good stab in and that will be four Ooh. seven ten points of damage as she and as she stabs him to the hilt, leave my boy alone, Ugh! and rips the rapier out the the wrong way to do as much damage as she can on the way out. Good day. Um, worth noting that um, how many points did I say? Ten. Ten. Thank you. Um. Worth mentioning as well, Kentakinaster is still on the stage. Totally forgot he is also technically an enemy, I guess. Uh, yeah, is he doing anything? Uh, he Not currently. It's not his turn. Okay. Uh, he is stood up and paint, painty still. And <laughs> it is your turn, Ludo. What are we doing? Okay, uh, I am uh, protecting the lady. So let's see. Let's... Uh, Ludo is going to do a combo hit. He's going to summon a giant tenderizer and then also bust out his giant tenderizer. He's hey, going to do like a sandwich awesome. smash hit with a hey with uh, <laughs> against this uh, guard in front of us, this <gasps> bandit. You're doing, this, you're doing the panini press on him? Oh, yeah. <laughs> doing the old paninis. Oh, my God. We need to get heat metal and then we can heat your meat tenderizers and then panini press it fucker <laughs> that would be amazing all right panini press is fuck all right what is the attack roll on this okay here is the spiritual meat tenderizer Ooh, that's a 23 that fucking hits for hey, who are you are oh, you attacking the dude who attacked you yeah Cool. So that is nine damage. Nice noise. And if he's still up, I will attack him as well yep. with my actual tenderizer. Yeah, this is not the one that Tarquin is attacking. This is Ooh. the other one. That is only a 12. A 12 does not hit, unfortunately. Um, okay. It does land, but it just 
gets eat the damage gets eaten by his armor. Okie dokie. Okay, is that your turn? It is, it is. Okie dokie. Is this also a good song? We'll find out. Um, Rubes, you are almost on deck, followed by Bifong, just as and followed by Danny, just as a warning. Oh, fuck yeah. Um, fuck yeah. Uh, Do we have so... uh, Luca on the initiative? Yeah, she's last. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it would just be um, nice to have some backup heels just in case things, uh, in case uh, yes. uh, your boy gets crit anymore. <laughs> <laughs> it's very fair. Um, you see from the balcony layer that you were previously on uh, are a couple more dudes. Are they the dudes? Yes. Um, and they um, are going to try and shoot you. Who are they going to try and shoot? Who we feel? Who's feeling lucky? Oh, one, two, three, four is Camellia. Gonna try and shoot you with. Oh, I'm vibing with this. Oh, Jesus. Guess everyone is rolling good today. Uh, does a... Nineteen hit, maths. <laughs> yeah, I am sorry. Uh, <laughs> it is only one hit though, so that's okay. Um, except he does have a friend, but we'll worry about that on his turn, which is next. Um, oh shit, that is uh, six points of damage, Camellia. As you hear an arrow just <laughs> as it hits into your beautiful gowned shoulder. Um, oh no. And his friend is gonna follow suit. And Camille. Oh right, you are we on don't deck. we don't have our usual armor and stuff, right? That's fine. Um oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> she ain't too worried about that. <laughs> it's a pit. Look, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna be like, oh you have to you, you can wear pretty clothes, but you're not allowed to be armored anymore. Nah, fuck that! Power and pretty! Power and pretty! <laughs> <laughs> um, that's the three, so his friend misses, and you just hear the boom of the arrow just completely fucking fart. Uh, Camellia, it is your turn. What are you doing? You have Kenta Ganastir on the stage just behind you. We have two bandits on the balconies, uh, kind of at either edge. Um, you have people up on the catwalks that you probably haven't seen, uh, unless you've turned around. And then there are the two um, big melee boys that are ripping into Ludo and Tarquin is uh yeah Ludo and Tarquin are ripping into more than they are being ripped into by them mm -hmm. uh yeah. I'll use my longbow on the one that shot me nice. Ooh, let's go ow such a good song mm -hmm. nope what did what what did get? Is an eight hit? No. Oh, wait. Okay. No. <laughs> I was reading okay. the wrong number, but it was still not quite. It's it's close Is it though. Fair for just... me to cut in. <laughs> oh, I don't know if it'll make a difference though. Never mind. What what were you going to do? Can you do anything? She's blessed. She is. All right. Blessed. You're fucking right. Good call. Uh, so add, is that add a d4 to mm -hmm. the, yeah, so roll a d4, okay. Camellia, and add that to your eight. Okay. You will, you will need a four. No pressure. <laughs> <laughs> That's a two, so for a ten. Oh. Good try. It, it gets yeah. slightly closer. <laughs> <laughs> Lands in a post just behind him. Um, safe to say at this point, the audience is like, oh, fuck, and is trying to run for the doors and <laughs> pile out. Um, except for the kid at the very back who's like, Well, this is a, this is a show. I like this. <laughs> <laughs> um, is that your turn, Camellia? I have, uh, two attacks per action. Oh, Ooh. let's fucking go. Uh, beef on you are on deck, followed by Danny. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so excited for this. Shoot that fucker again. Get on. The orchestra is actually <laughs> canonically playing this. <laughs> oh, <give a> fuck. <laughs> Hell yeah. Who, Man, I used, who plays I used the flute? My, <laughs> I used up all yeah. my good rolls. I got an 11. 
No! Plus Do you have four? inspiration? Plus no. yeah, plus four. Plus four. Oh yeah, plus four. Uh, plus four. You need a one or higher. <laughs> I somehow got a zero. <laughs> <laughs> Just forever <laughs> cocked dice. It's cocked. Cocked. Four. Cocked. 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 Nice. <laughs> Uh, cocked! Fuck! Um, yes, you absolutely hit roll for damage. Mm -hmm. And where are you, where are you aiming for? Shoulder for shoulder. Hey, I like when Jesus said that. <laughs> <laughs> That's a 10. <laughs> oh! Oh, nice. How would you like to do this? Motherfucker, you ruined my dress! She'll <laughs> pull her... <laughs> <laughs> Run her hand through her hair, grab some leaves, make it look all pretty, and aim for the shoulder. Um, you uh, you get him in the shoulder and also the heart. Um, and he just oh. fucking dies. Oh dang! <laughs> um, okay. get like a beautiful magical curve on the arrow as like the plants and vines grow along it, and just <laughs> just. Oh. He's in the process of dying. It'll take him a couple of turns, but he's dead. Um, all right. Is that your touring? Are you moving? Are you shaking? Are you grooving? Are you baking? <laughs> I am good. Sweet. All right. Before it is your turn, Danny, you are up next. So think about what you would like to do. DM? What's up? How far is Angus? Angus. <laughs> I completely I forgot about Angus. <laughs> Your answer is currently loading. Please wait <laughs> two minutes. Did you make? Did you go down to the stage with the rest of the gang? Uh, yeah. Me and the girls were at the front of the stage. <laughs> they were not on. One like we're minute. like. Down one. That makes any difference. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you're kind of in between the two um, bro fights right now. Yeah. I would say I'm terrible at distances, so take with a grain of salt. I'd say approximately 100 feet away. Somewhere. 100 feet away? Wherever the. Okay. 100, yeah, 100 or so feet away, wherever the valet parked. <laughs> I would like to dash towards the door. 60 feet. Okay. Are you and going over chairs? Action search. Uh, the straightest line I can make to the double doors. All right. Uh, roll, roll an acrobatics or an athletics check for me, please. Oh, really? Just for a okay. shit's sake. Okay. Okay. I'm, I'm gonna let well, you do it. Well, there you I'm go. Not gonna slow I you rolled down. a six. Oh no! <laughs> you get super close to the end and you just trip up on a stair. You manage to uh, on a not on a stair. Beef on the stairs on the mind. Um, you do trip up <laughs> slightly, but um, well, now I'm veg on the floor. <laughs> a... It technically and... wouldn't make any difference though, because you're still basically invisible. So. It just it just no makes you slightly that. slower. Yeah, no one saw it, and you're no just women were slower. looking. Was... No one, yeah, no one saw. So what would? Please continue. It was just okay. just a you thing, just something that you know. So... <laughs> I'm conscious of. I totally forgot. I'm gonna use action surge. <laughs> okay. Uh, for one additional action, and I'm gonna dash again till I reach Angus. Okay. So your movement is. It's 30, so I'm 60. 30, so 60 That's two 60s. is 120. Um, you see, just kind of pulled over to the side is a little stables area. Um, and indeed, there attached to the carriage is Ingo, uh, Angus. <laughs> um, <laughs> just kind of looking very bored and like he should be in a better stable establishment. I slap the peanuts in his mouth and I get in the seat. Hell yeah! <laughs> just invisible peanuts from somewhere. He's just like, <laughs> 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 um. Okay. I I think for for six seconds of invisible action, that is that is valid. I think you are. We are good to go. You are still invisible. Uh, Danny the Dapper Dwarf. 
All right. It is your turn. You're in the wings. I'm in the wings. Uh, how high, like how high up above am I from all this that's going on right now? So you are on the stage. So you're at the same level as um, kind of uh, Kenta Ganastia is. Okay. Um, there's two sets of catwalks above you. Uh, the higher up one is kind of where the backdrop for the stage is, and approximately 30 feet up. You are no longer under movement restrictions. Your cupcake has worn off. Um, yeah. <laughs> worth noting. Thank God. Um, <laughs> and uh, yeah, so you're approximately uh, 30 feet away from Kentigan Astir, um, and you are 30 foot and kind of 10 foot to the side uh, below uh, two archers on um, the catwalks. You can see that Ludo and Tarquin are also currently in fights and that Camellia just nailed it so on the balcony. So, how, how far away were the archers from me? Uh, they're can you, about can you repeat that? 30, they're foot, 30 foot higher than you are, uh -huh. and then about like 10 foot to the side. So, so basically 30 40 feet. Foot. Okay, yeah. 40 feet. Okay, um... Well, I, I, I well, there is daggers. a ladder. No, I, I have daggers. I'm going yeah. to throw one at, oh to, at, at one of the archers. Okay. Uh, yeah, the closest one to you would be uh, 40 feet. So yeah, that's entirely doable. Uh, roll. <laughs> uh, uh -huh. Let me check how that is done. Um, I think I think you just roll a um roll roll to hit 60 foot yeah roll roll to hit okay yeah as you ordinarily would well that's a 12 a 12 hang on i've lost all my pages <laughs> a 12 does not hit i'm afraid um but the archer does see you down below or just start to look for you you don't you can't tell if they see you or not is there anything else yeah, you'd like to do? My my next question was going to be like, um, can I still remain undetected after doing this? Well, you can move He's further into the, you can move further into the wings, so he physically can like there's a physical barrier, um, and there is like the wings have black curtains, so you can definitely use that to your advantage oh, to yeah. hide yourself. Yeah, I, I, <laughs> I, I just. I just <laughs> I just scoot behind the uh, the uh, curtain. I'm just gonna pop out and throw, pop out and throw. Okay, <laughs> sounds great. Awesome. Is that your turn, my friend? Uh, actually, what do, do I have any bonus actions? Give me one second. No worries. Uh, actions. Oh. Uh, probably. <laughs> If I start start v v vicious mockery, I know they're gonna know where I am, so we're not gonna do that. <laughs> uh, oh, uh, w would it be permissible for me to mm -hmm. cast a third level armor of Agathis? Uh, does that cost an action or a bonus action? Uh, that's probably an action. I'm not sure. If so, you can cast it on your next turn. For sure. Yeah, it's I believe my it's spell. My, my spells are okay. So it's listed under under reaction. It's listed under. It's just listed under other. So I'm going to assume it's a normal action. Oh, is it so a I, reaction? Uh, not that spell specifically. Oh, oh, there, there's another spell that is, but. Okay. That that isn't one of them. So yeah, that that that's my turn. Cool. No worries. Um, it is now Kentaganaster's turn. Uh oh. Um. Ooh. Ooh. Better not. Ooh. <laughs> 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 I, I'm not doing anything. <laughs> what do you mean? I'm not doing a single thing. Not me. Not at all. 
I'm not doing yeah, anything. Roll a con save. <laughs> I would never. I would. At uh, me? Get you to roll a con save? <laughs> Could never. Couldn't be me. Um. Dime brings, brings up a good point. He does currently think he's a piece of shit. <laughs> he does think he's a piece of shit. But that doesn't mean you can't also be a piece of shit. <laughs> um, <laughs> objection! <laughs> okay. Um, I'm gonna. He's gonna use his bonus action to use uh, unsettling words, which is Ooh. the opposite of a um, bardic inspiration die. It is a bardic fuck you, get wrecked die. Um,. So that is a six. Um, JC, you are going to subtract uh, six from the number rolled from your next saving throw. Okay. Um, which will be a quickened spell uh, version of uh, Dissonant Whispers. Uh, and so you begin to hear in your head. Oh, no, she's done. She hates you. Oh. And you must make a wisdom saving throw and detract that six from it for me, please. My, per my armor class on my insecurities is very low. <laughs> <laughs> is a wisdom save? Oh, I love meta magic. Yes. Wisdom save minus six. Uh, oh, uh, neg negative. <laughs> 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 no, oh, it's a, no, it's it's a two. It's a two. Okay, but that would have. I mean, it could have <laughs> easily been a negative. Um, okay, my friend, I'm afraid this shit is poisonous. You are oh. going to take at fourth level because he's not happy. Um, three d six psychic damage. Oof. I do. I do. I do. I do. I do have a third. It's my time. Oh, you lucky fuck. I got two ones. You yeah. lucky fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I would have done it if it wasn't me and meddling kids. Um, <laughs> no, wait. Oh, that's at first level. Oh, it's 66. So oh, that's good. a total of seven for the first three dice. Slightly better. Um, seven, ten, fourteen, eighteen points of psychic damage. Um, and you must immediately you must immediately use your reaction to move as far away uh, from Kentaganasta as you can. Okay. Um, uh, can I? Uh pick up Umberlai on the way. I am afraid not. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> the voices are telling you that she is horrible and mean and... Okay. It is a, it is a fucked up melody version of the opera you just witnessed. Ludo um, slams his hands over his ears and he just uh, doesn't want to hear it. He can't hear those words, those things that he's already saying to himself. And he just finds himself running. And before he knows it, he's 30 feet away. Um, and that means that you will run towards the uh, doors into the foyer area, which means that you will run past the guy you were fighting and he gets an attack of opportunity. Oh, Ludo gonna die. Oh, that is an 18 to hit. That's oh, what you needed. I'm sorry, my friend. <laughs> First character death. That is a broken heart. <laughs> Aww. Uh, he died it's thinking only, you it, hated him. It's six oh. additional damage. Are you still up? Are I you, am. Are just you doing okay, son? I'm, I'm down to four. Okay, you're alive, though. That was, that was brutal. Good job fucking surviving that shit, man. Just barely. Ooh. Whoa! Damn! I, that, that's maybe one of the most brutal things I've ever done, I'm not gonna lie! <laughs> uh, real or imagined. Um, 
Okay, so that was... No, wait, that was a bonus action, so I didn't need to use Quicken Spell. But I can use Quicken Spell now if I want to. <laughs> Oof. Um, should I? Can I? Would I? Mm. Mm. Um. I mean, I guess I could. That would be very fucked, but it would be very helpful. Um. No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna save it for now. Okay, and with that, um, <laughs> I accidentally clicked on Twitter and just saw your all caps tweet. <laughs> <laughs> Did my D D girlfriend cheat on me with the prettiest man alive? I don't know. Let's find out. Hooray! Great. This is fine. We. Um. Okay, with that, uh, from various uh, levels up on the balcony, uh, you see. Uh, various other planted audience members um, stand up and begin to prepare to attack. Um, they can't fucking do much, but they're gonna try. Um, let's see who they're gonna go for. Technically, I think Ludo would be out of sight. Um, so they are gonna go for Umberlai, and they are going to cast... Firebolt! Like a little fucking baby. Um. <laughs> Range. Hang on. Don't open the whole fucking spell. Just need to know. Fucking. Stop. Okay. Uh. Ba 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 ba. Uh. 17 hits, unfortunately. So that does. 1d10. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Shit. I got a five. Umberlai takes five points of damage. <sighs> little motor fire just... <sighs> lands into her. Now it's personal. Well, um, even more so, because the other three... He says three right before he dies. <laughs> <laughs> the other three mages are going to do the exact fucking same. Uh, the other two mages, sorry, are going to do the exact fucking same. That's two 18s to hit. That absolutely does hit. Oh, no. Um, that is a four and a ten. <laughs> um, she died before we got the trianal. 14. She has more health than you. Oh, my God. Uh, even when your health oh pools are full. <laughs> He's I'm just, just gonna... glossing over that. <laughs> Nothing happened. Um... Priorities. Priorities. <laughs> <laughs> um, the archers on the catwalk are now going to go. It is their turn, but it beep boop boop, and they have indeed had anal before. Um... <laughs> <laughs> That's canon. <laughs> That's DM, canon. Hey, DM said it. Oh, oh, archers totally fucking. Anyway. Um... All this deep lore. We're just learning so much. <laughs> <laughs> Very deep. Yeah. High or low? Low. Ooh. You saved yourself, but at what cost? Um. Tarquin! Yep. The two archers on the catwalk are going to aim for you. It's gonna be fun. They're gonna try their best. Uh, does a. <gasps> does a 24 hit? Yep. Sweet. Does a <laughs> 23 hit? Yes. I'm rolling better. Yay. Uh, ciao. How That's wonderful. Weak ass fucking hit. That's six. Oh, six. Uh, but it, uh, 13 piercing damage as two archers. Um, okay. I want to try something. Yes. I want to try deflect missiles. And I have to roll 1d10 plus 11, and if I overcome the damage they make, I can return it to them. Hell yeah. Okay, so I will roll the other two arrows that they'll shoot, and we'll see if you get all four of them. Sound good? All right. Hell yeah. Let's fucking go. Uh, well, that's a miss. Uh, does a... <laughs> brah, 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 uh, 21 hit. Yep. Yeah. 
Uh, that is an additional nine points. I forgot what I said before, but add nine. <laughs> I, um, I don't remember it. I'm sorry. <laughs> Th that's all good. Uh, we'll call it 15. Even it 15? out. 15? Okay. Yeah. 15 damage okay. total. Let's see. I forgot. Oh, I got I got 15, <gasps> so... You motherfucker! Barely. All right. So that's going to spring back and do the 15 points of damage to them? Mm-hmm. Okay. Do you want to direct it all at one or a bit at both? No, all at one. All at one? Okay. Yeah. Ka-chow! Bing! Fucking got him. All right. Nice. Woo! Tarquin, you are on deck. It is Luca's turn, and then we're going to resume our next <laughs> fucking thing of me. What's yeah. it? Okay. Uh, Luca, what are you doing? I'm gonna fucking do something. Uh, awesome. Sounds great. Um. Luca gets drunk. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds freaking great. Um, she is going to do something cool because I hope she has cool stuff. Um, she is also going to cast healing word on you, Ludo. Uh, Appreciate it. No problem. There's one. Hey. There's another. Okay. There's so many dice. Hit ya. Oh, Jesus. Okay. <laughs> Come on, Luca. Please get higher than a two on the third roll. No. Okay. That's <laughs> fucking third level healing word for 3d4 plus two. You get five hit points back. All right. Um, <laughs> so fucking pointless. We Jesus ain't dying Christ. today. Uh, you might. Um, we try. I'm gonna live forever. <laughs> um, she is then. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, exactly. <laughs> In range, 30 <laughs> feet. Um, she... Yeah! 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 Wait, no. Yeah! Fuck! Um, <laughs> Alright, fuck it. Uh, she's gonna... <laughs> yeah. yeah, let's go. Uh, deadass? Ooh, no. Um, she... <laughs> 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 This has been quite hard. the emotional roller coaster. I'm just going to throw that out there. <laughs> uh, ooh. Sick. Ooh! Yeah, let's go, bitch! Oh, five foot? Within range, and the range is five foot? Why bother? Why bother? All right, moonbeam, motherfuckers. <laughs> She's going to cast moonbeam. Oh, dang. Deadass on Kentaganaster. Uh, you just see this, like, the most intense spotlight ever. It makes him look phenomenal, unfortunately, but it also <laughs> burns his skin. It's just... <laughs> um... In the name of the moon, I'll punish you. Nice. Yeah. Constitution saving throw. Where the fuck are my dice? He, uh, he got a four! Take it! Um, <laughs> okay, he takes 2d10 radiant damage. Oh, that's a two. Come on, Luca! I need you to roll damage higher, baby girl. That is another two. <gasps> that's four damage. Oh. The music knows I just had a realization. As Kentaganaster takes four whole points of damage from a fucking second level moonbeam, you see Fun. his body kind of 
<sighs> jolt. As if, and his neck just kind of cranes and he looks directly up into the moonlight. Oh. oh I didn't want to have to do this. <sighs> and the power of the moon dispels his glamoured form as you see these two glowing feather wings erupt from his back. Oh shit, one winged angel plays! He's a fucking Asimor, bitches! That's not what I thought was gonna happen. <laughs> <laughs> I know he's even more spectacular now! Um, <laughs> fuck! <laughs> I was hoping the paint on him would catch on fire or something. <laughs> I mean, it kind of is bubbling. Like, it, it, it's, it's a bit of both. Um, he straight up okay. said, I'm sorry, Master. I must use the forbidden arts. Just this <laughs> once. <sighs> the shirt comes a little bit undone. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's, a, it's a good look. He's rocking it. Um, okay, with that, Tarquin, it is your turn as we begin round two. Ding, ding, ding. What are nice. we doing? Let's finish this. Oh, oh shit. I mean, he's still alive, right? Yes. So, currently the Not situation long. is just behind you on stage, we have Kentaganaster, who now has wings. Uh, up on the catwalks behind him, we have two archers. Uh, up on the balcony, we have uh, one archer, one's been killed by Camellia, and three little baby mages. And then uh, the guy that was attacking you and that you're attacking him and the guy that Ludo was attacking, but Ludo is somehow just being confused and running away. Uh, and that is it. That's a that, lot is, of that is it, quote unquote. Mm. Yeah. And there are some okay. squishies in there. Yeah, I was going to finish off the guy that was fighting me, but I think that maybe I should take out the flying asshole that's hovering <laughs> over there. Shit. So maybe I can use one of my cool moves and jump and bring him down. Okay. Roll to attack. Let's take this guy down. That's a I was going to open his wings at an appropriate time. That was more uh, interesting. However, it seems that there's no hope. Uh, 19 hits. 23. Thanks, Luca. Three hits. <laughs> Twenty dirty. Nice. And fourteen. Thirty twenty hits. Fourteen. Yeah. Uh, fourteen does 20. not hit. All right. Start so three attacks. Okay. Let's start. Thirteen. And if remember, there is a moonbeam on him. So if you're able to stay out of the range for the most part, well, you may indeed take some of the spicy moon damage. I'll take some damage, I don't care. Fuck, okay. let's go. <laughs> Let me check. Oh, 34 um, damage. Holy shit. All right. Um, okay, and roll a constitution saving throw for me, please. Yes, of course. Thank you so much. That is a nine. Uh, that is a failure. Um, you will take... Hopefully Luca rolls shit again. She did not. Uh, oh, you take 12 points of radiant damage as Got the it. moon sears your fists as you just pummel into him regardless. Um, <laughs> fucking cool as shit, though. Um... <laughs> Oh, it's absolutely cool as shit. It's just like, this guy grows wings, Tarquin's like, nope, and <laughs> just punches oh, through the, the power of the moon. <laughs> just his fists sizzling, like just in the sizzled knuckles, fancy yeah, wraps. Yeah, yeah. yeah just. <laughs> <laughs> but doing fucking damage. Can his How much fist... damage was that again? Uh, it was uh, 33, I think. 33, nice. Can, can his fists now do additional fire damage? <laughs> Actually, no, not... it's magical damage, but it's not <laughs> elemental. Mm. Oh, sorry, sorry. That's true. That's yeah. true. I just, I, I just thought since they were so hot now. <laughs> oh, he was <laughs> always hot. Hello. Hello. <laughs> he is. He is very. He's very tired um, And I'm doing all of this in a suit. So. Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> Classy. 
<laughs> all right, everything else we do in Tarquin. No, that's all. Yeah, so just casually, you know, punching the winged man in the unadulterated power of the moonlight, searing yes, your fists like and punching his person. ass. Yeah, real hard. Yeah, sick. Um, the guy that, um, oh, I, I should have rolled that, but that's my bad, so it won't happen. The guy that you ran, uh, away from should have had an attack of opportunity, but I forgot it, so that's my bad, so that's my fault. I'll eat it. Uh, he's gonna chase after you anyway and try and bash your fucking head in, so <laughs> there's no problem. Uh, it is, and then it'll be Umberlight and Ludo on deck. Uh, yeah. Does a 16 hit Tarquin? No. Nope. <laughs> oh, does a 25 hit? Yep. Yay! I hit Tarquin one time. <laughs> you guys! <laughs> Achievement unlocked. <laughs> you guys, it feels so good! <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, I rolled the wrong dice, which is a shame because I rolled full damage. Um, oh you hit okay. who? Dark Queen! I'm gonna make all the guards roll a history check and then we're gonna run out of here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm killing everyone. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, you take uh, 10 points of slashing damage as he manages to get a slash in. My suit. <laughs> with his scimitar. Oh, that's not the only thing you need to worry about. Oh, I'm gonna rip your head off. <laughs> fucking mind to see, fucking try. Um, Bandit Captain B is gonna go after a um, ailing Gludo. <laughs> it's like, what the fuck's this guy doing? Come back, I'm was fighting you. <laughs> um, <laughs> and he is going to. Oh, Jesus. That's a 24 to hit. <laughs> Hits. Uh, that doesn't hit. Uh, 14. 14 doesn't hit. Correct. Does a 19? It does. Oh, no! Um, oh, no, that's such a bummer. Uh, oh, yeah, it's so sad. I fucking hate it. <laughs> fucking hate that shivers. Fucking worse. I'm so sorry. Ah, oh, shit, I rolled a 2 for damage. That's 5 slashing plus... Eh. Plus five piercing! Uh, so that's ten. Sorry, uh -huh. I just saw your health. That's yeah. ten. Yeah. That's ten damage. Is this the first time this happened, or...? No, I don't think so. Who did it happen to before? You, oh, I feel like... You. Also me? <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> oh, no. Like I said, I don't know what it is. I just I just do better when I'm attacking you. I'm sorry. The last thing I heard was the um, dissonant whispers. No, no. no the last no. thing you hear is, No! <laughs> and Umberlai just <laughs> fucking... Yeah. Uh, once Umberlai, Umberlai turns around and is like, Is it too late to change my mind? <laughs> oh, kidding. absolutely not. Um, uh, yeah, Ludo falls. Gonna... Not for long, she's gonna healing word your ass, and this time she's gonna roll higher than a fucking two! <laughs> she rolls a three. I mean, out of a four, that's pretty good. <laughs> hey! We got a four and a two! Hey! Which is six, and then another two, which is okay, which is eight! Plus four is twelve! You're back up, baby! Oh, damn, I'm hella back up. Get the fuck up, Lito! I need you right now! And, um... <laughs> I, I think Valentine's Day. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Hey. Nice. oh, you ain't, you well ain't seen nothing yet. Mm. Hey, you're a willing creature, right? Yeah, yeah. sure. I'm down. I'm always going to cast Unlarge on you. <laughs> oh, dear. The target size doubles in all dimensions. Yeah. And we have sex in front of them. By... <laughs> 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 and its weight is multiplied by eight. Uh, you are now large. Um, With some refractory period. You have advantage. <laughs> you have advantage on strength checks. Strength checks. Strength? Strength, strength checks. And... <laughs> 
that strengths him. That's a oh. strength stat. <laughs> when you're so strong, you just yeet the person who saw you really far so they can't see you anymore. Uh, you have advantage on strength checks and strength saving throws. The target's weapons also grow to match its size and deal 1d4 extra damage. Oh my god! Oh, I've been sitting on... Well, Umbrella's been sitting on... Hey -ho. Oh, Happy Valentine's Day! While these weapons are... In... <laughs> Nailed it. Let me get the last little bit because that is actually important. Tenderize this fucker. <laughs> okay. Ludo, big boy. Um, I mean, I was going to heal, but I feel like I kind of have to smash and bash now. Hulk Maybe. smash, man. Just, yeah. just go for it. All right. Um, yeah, Umbra, I can't do shit else, um, but she, uh, she is, yeah, that's, that's all she's going to do. Uh, so it is your turn, Ludo. What would you like to do? I'm going to go rush over to Kentikanaster and try and bash his head in, I guess. That's, that um, seems like the best thing to do right now. For the sake of lols and because you're fucking huge now, um, roll a strength check for me to stomp on the guy that was attacking you before. So I get advantage on this? Because of my uh, the thing? What is it? Why not? <laughs> sure, yeah. <laughs> why not? Didn't you say it's I get something can... happened to my strength checks? There you go. Advantage on strength checks, what it says. Yes. So yeah, you get advantage on strength, and if you if you uh, beat his strength check, he doesn't get the opportunity to do an attack of opportunity because um, you are really chunky, and he is stomped. All right, that's a twenty-two <laughs> for chunk. He got a two for chunk. Um, oh, okay. He is very de-chunked. He is steamrolled by Ludo. Um, <laughs> exactly. Gonna have to clean that boot later. <laughs> yeah. Just, oh, oh. <laughs> okay. You are now like <laughs> almost three times the height of Kentucky. <laughs> that is a 17 to hit. <laughs> oh shit, that hits. Or 12 plus the D4, because I'm big. 16 points of sorry 14 points of smash nice let's go all right let's go amazing times amazing footage here at the jinwa playhouse this evening i hope you're all having a wonderful time <laughs> all right dang fucking wrecked his ass Anything else you would like to do, dear Ludo? Ah, uh, no, dear Ludo is just full on stay away from Mumbai. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Incredible. Um, right, it is. Uh, that guy's dead. Uh, Camellia, Bifon, and Danny. The the Triforce, uh, you are on deck after this singular bandit because Camellia killed his friend. Um, he's gonna say, No, Barry! <laughs> and just <laughs> fire another arrow at Camellia. Oh, shit! Uh, it inspired him enough! Does a dirty 20 hit? <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. Oof. Oof. Uh, that is eight points of piercing damage as uh, an arrow goes into your other shoulder. <laughs> Ooh. Damn it. <laughs> How's everybody looking oh, hit points you wise? Do that? Uh, you're looking a bit rough. Umberlai and Tarquin are a bit rough. I'm at 17. Everyone else is doing all right. Okay. Yeah. Uh, is anybody below half other than me? Uh, Umberlight is almost. Okay. Almost. Uh, all right. Uh, well, 17 is we... below my half, just as first. Oh, okay. Mm, yeah, yeah. Uh, Camellia, it is your turn, followed by Bifon, followed by Danny. What are we doing? I would like to cast Cure Wounds on myself. Nice. Uh, 
just some yeah, epic good. heal. I got nice. six hit points back. Good old kill wounds. <clears throat> then Longbow has asked. Let's go! Oh, the, the second bandit? Mm -hmm. The second archer? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Bandito. Blech. Does a 12 hit? <gasps> it perfectly hits. Ooh, good. Good, good. Let's go! Let's go! You got this! Damage! Man, I wish Volantis could see this. Eight damage. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he is so close to dead. He is so close to dead. He's <laughs> just takes an arrow to the shoulder. Just oh, god damn it! Ow. <laughs> um, yeah, how did that just... feel? It didn't feel good. <laughs> <laughs> Um, what are you doing with the rest of your turn? Uh, is there anyone close to me? Uh, yeah, Kentaganaster, behind you. <laughs> Not far. <laughs> Not far behind. There's also the guy Tarquin is fighting, and there is the guy Ludo just squished. <laughs> just a pancake. <laughs> still somebody up in the catwalks? Whoop, 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 whoop. Yeah, there's two people still up on the catwalks. And cool. a few more uh, little mages in the balcony. Okay. I will... I'll longbow Kenta Ganathir. <gasps> Do it. Ooh, 21. Nice. 21 hits. Yes. Let's go, let's go. Woo. Alright. <laughs> uh three damage. Three damage? Yeah. Oh. Damage is damage. I will do the fucking TED talk again. <laughs> Swear to God. Every All point right, counts. Nice. It fucking you know what it so does? Um <laughs> it really genuinely does. Um oh. Okay. Uh, is that your turn, my lovely? Yes. Fuck yeah. Bifon, it is your turn. And Danny, you are on deck. Do I need to roll an animal handling for this? <laughs> oh, right. I forgot your horse. Do you need to roll animal handling if it's a ghost? Um. If it's a ghost? What? <laughs> well, the horse can't horse? see you. <laughs> oh. Um. Mm point i mean the horse is bored as fuck so it depends what you're trying to do i'm trying to ram through the front door with the carriage right, that, that'll, yeah that'll be an animal handling role okay. yeah. a great walk going in there oh, oh no sweet so that's a four all right so you kind of like <laughs> jolt the reins like ha and the horse just looks around Angus just looks around like What is it? What? Where is it? Like <laughs> genuinely like like a metal gear solid guard just like Huh? Whose oh. footprints are these? Who's <laughs> exact thank you <laughs> Like Where where what? Uh, I will let you roll again because you are invisible and time is slightly more on your side because you are invisible. <laughs> nice. There 14 we go. for 17. And then it's like, oh, peanuts. Yeah, the ghost gave... When gods give you peanuts, you crash through the front of an opera house. <laughs> and just whip the reins. And... Uh... Oh. Question, DM. Is that yes. the horse's movement or mine? That would be the horse's movement. Okay, cool. And it just charges through the front doors um, of the opera house, of, of which people are currently fleeing through. Um, so some people make it out in time, just, oh my! <laughs> just, <laughs> um, 
I will roll um, a sort of uh, just a just a damage check for the uh, carriage. High or low, Bifon? Low. Mm, okay, it takes some damage, but it is still mostly together. But one of the wheels is a bit fucked. <laughs> Pardon mm. me. I have a feeling my team is not trying to escape. <laughs> <laughs> um, what would you like to do now? The horse and carriage is inside the opera house. Is there anyone near me right now? Uh, yeah, a lot of crowd. Um, some panicked workers trying to an enemy <laughs> evacuate people out. Um. Ah, uh, that's a good question. Um, no, they're Emmett. all inside. What do you mean all inside? Aren't we they're inside? They're all inside the the actual theater area, rather than the fo out in. Are we not in the, in the theater area? You're in the foyer. <sighs> all right, at my turn, Ben. Okay. <laughs> this is the foyer, and then it's the the the, the theater itself. Um. You are fucking close to the theater, though. Um, okay. Danny, what are we doing? Uh, just more the same. I'm going to pop out from behind the, the curtain <laughs> and throw another dagger at the same archer. All right, go for him. And here comes Camellia with a steel chair. <laughs> That's a 17 to hit. 17 hits. Roll for damage. And it's piercing damage. I don't know if that makes a difference. Uh, not in this occasion. Uh, it's a four. Four points of damage it is. Yeet another. <laughs> Yeet another dagger. Uh, roll a, stre a stealth check for me, please. It was almost uh, another cause... stealth check. <laughs> if you're hiding back behind the curtain. Yeah, I am. I'm... It's a natural 20. <sighs> You believe so I, yourself to be it, unseen. <laughs> <laughs> the archer's yeah. like, wait, come out with... Wait, what? Where'd that come from? Huh? <laughs> Whose dagger and, is this? And the other archer's like, oh, you seeing shit again? He's like, don't gas like me, I saw something. <laughs> well, no, the uh, guy literally has a dagger sticking out of him, I imagine. <laughs> <laughs> um, he, yeah, he's gonna, he's gonna come down the ladder and uh, have a look around. So he's going to see if he can beat your nat 20 stealth check, which he could only really do by rolling a natural 20, which he does not do. Um, so he's going to waste his turn looking for you. His friend is not going to do the same, however. Uh, his friend is going to aim for... Who's the lucky guy today? You know what? Ludo's fucking huge. Uh, he's going to aim for Ludo. I'm good. What the fuck? <laughs> Uh, ka-chow! Does a... nope. Ka-chow! Does a... nope. <laughs> uh, pew, pew. No He's arrows 20 hit anybody. feet tall! How could you miss him? <laughs> I was scared! <laughs> I'm very far. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, it is Lucas... No, it's not! I forgot! I forgot Kent's turn! Oh... Oh, y'all thought I wouldn't notice. I almost didn't. Um, he is going to have to roll another constitution save because he's still in the moonlight. Um, he succeeds, thankfully. So he's going to take half damage, which is just as well because that's a lot of fucking damage. Five hit points from the moonlight. So happy um, for him. <laughs> And he is going to, um, ooh, but if he tries to fly away, then everyone's going to try and hit him. That's not very nice. Hmm. Wait. He has resistance to radiance damage when he's in his form. Oh, mm. no. Oh, whoopsie poopsie. Get fucked, I guess. Um, sorry, Luca. Uh... He is going to... Can I do that every turn? Oh, shit. I guess he can. 
That's awful. Um. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. JC, big yeah. boy. He's mm -hmm. a big boy. Um, we're gonna do the little thing again for our bonus action, which is anti bardic inspiration. Oh, it's only a two. Fuck. I'll take it. So you are going to detract two from uh, him casting. <laughs> I feel so evil with this music. <laughs> uh, he's going to cast Enemies Abound on you. Oh, what's that? Oh, it's this wonderful ability. Uh -huh. uh, you reach into the mind of a creature you can see and force it to make an intelligent saving throw. Um, a creature automatically succeeds if it's immune to being frightened. On a failed save, the target loses the ability to distinguish friend from foe regarding uh, all creatures it can see as enemies until the spell ends. Each time the target takes damage, it can repeat the saving throw. Ooh. I think. So I'm going to need you to roll a intelligence save. Minus two. Ooh, not as strong, Sue. And you will need a 16 or higher to succeed. Okay. So I need an 18 or higher. You need an 18 uh, or higher. What about an 8? What about just an 8? Is an 8 good enough? I wish it was. Me too. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I really, really wish it was. Um, Ludo... You, your giant fucking eyeballs blink. Um, everyone looks like Kenta can ask, do you? Oh, enemies oh, abound. Enemies abound. Uh, I am so happy I'm stealthed right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that'll, that'll happen. Because he, he was already a big boy to me. <laughs> now... <laughs> Yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, he's pretty he's pretty big. Um uh, and with that he is going to is enemies abound concentration it is. Uh he'll also cast uh kill wounds on himself with a quicken spell. Beep beep two five Two, seven, nine. Man, I'm rolling shit for healing at the minute. All right. He is healed. It is now actually Luca's turn. Uh, Luca is going to move Moonbeam over to the guy that was slapping Tarquin. <laughs> uh, that's going to be 2d10. Ooh. Oh, let's go, Luca! Let's go! Um, oh shit. She <laughs> you see she moves the moonbeam over to the guy that was beating up on Tarquin. And he just goes, what the fuck? Ah! <sighs> and just fucking disintegrates God into dang. this moonbeam. Uh, and he is Audi. He is Audi, Audi. Um... Okay. Uh, can you do anything much else, Luca? Bless your heart. Uh, <laughs> bonus action. Hey, what? As a bonus? What? Okay, that is good to know. Uh, oh, and she's gonna cast uh, healing uh, healing word on uh, Tarquin at Thoid level. Where are my fucking dice? One, three, three, four. Ooh, that was a good roll. 
Uh, ten. Twelve points of healing, Tarquin. Oh, nice. That's the best I've fucking rolled for healing all day. All right. And we return back to the top of the list. And Tarquin, it is indeed your turn. What would you like to do? I'm going to continue beating this guy up. Go for it. That is 13. I don't think that hits. That is a miss, unfortunately. Oh my god. That's the one. That is a miss. Oof. And I guess that's it. I failed both attacks. Oh, fuck. He just, he just whoosh, whoosh, whooshes his wings out of the way. Um, I will say, roll for me a part of check, please. Ludo is, is pulling a, a big funny face. Yeah, Ludo's not alright. Ludo looks like he is surrounded by... <laughs> he, 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 don't, he can't discern faces right now. Uh, he looks slightly out of it. Confused and frightened. So, is there a way to help him regain his concentration or something? Uh, everybody bad? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, um, we can do some flavor talking if you have anything that uh, might bring him back. Hey, Luto. Hey, big guy. Come on. It's us. Don't slap at me, Camp to Gunnasty. Oh wow, he got the name right. <laughs> uh, the chaos Tarquin crystallizes roll. him. Roll a persuasion check for me, Tarquin. If it's if it's less than if it's less than a twelve, he will be making a concerted effort to fight you. It's a thirteen. Ooh. Oh. Uh, it's not quite getting through to him, unfortunately. He's like, these are just words. <laughs> I'm okay. gonna have sex <laughs> with your ex-girlfriend. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, anything else you'd like to do, Tarquin, on your turn? Uh, no, no, that's all. Okie dokie. Uh, the ba flattened bandit is is my new band name. Uh, he's gonna stand up <laughs> and try and smack Ludo. Oh my god, how do you fucking miss? <laughs> wow. Oh my god. Nice. <laughs> oh, there we go. Not twenty on the dagger. <laughs> Uh, so, JC, you can make another uh, intelligent saving throw for me, please. Okay. This guy gives you a little stibby stab with a dagger. And that would be a five. Okay, that's worse than last time. We need to go up. Oh, right? okay, okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, good try, though. Appreciate it. Um, he stabs you. Oh, shit. Uh, max damage, uh, which is... 11 points of piercing damage. Oh my god, I'm down to one hit point. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Um, grand opening, grand closing. Shit. Uh, Umberlai looks up at you. Are you okay, darling? Shut up, get a canister. Okay, that's entirely inappropriate. Um... <laughs> <laughs> You're next. I'm gonna have sex with your ex girlfriend. Oh my god. <laughs> Hang on, I might need to check. I might need to check something. It's such a. Would that work? That's crazy. But would it work? A creature automatically uh, distinguish friend from foe regarding all creatures it can see as enemies. 
Now I'm thinking as a as a as a lawyer, would that count as alive enemies or alive enemies and dead enemies? Huh? Alive and dead people. I feel mm. like it would only be alive people. Nah, that's too that's too crazy. What's, I'm going to what's the one that benefits me the most? <laughs> just alive people. Um I mean she can just smack your leg though. Like she can she can just punch you. <laughs> Which she's gonna, she's gonna do. Blah. Uh, does eighteen? Does an eighteen hit? Uh, on the nose. Uh, you take two. Oh no, wait, that's gonna kill me. Oh, yeah, I'm dead. <laughs> no, it's too no, late. No, she no! killed Ludo. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that would that would end the spell though. Better than uh, cheating, I guess. <laughs> she fucking killed. Me. Oh fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck. Ah, oh, shit. Fuck. Luto! <laughs> Get back up! <laughs> um, she's going to... <laughs> and I crash into the stage. And reduces in size at the same time. Oh. Oh, no. oh I'm dead. Uh, she's going to cast another healing word on you. <laughs> Daisy. Nobody tell him that happened. It wasn't perfectly all according <laughs> to plan. <laughs> hey, yo, that's more like it. That is 12 hit points. Dang. <laughs> okay. What happened? Nothing. <laughs> and she's going to stab the guy <laughs> behind <laughs> you again. <laughs> ah! Um, That is a just enough to hit. Come on, come on. How much is damage? 1d8. Ha! That is a 6. Plus 3. Oh, I'm so close to being dead. God damn it. Ugh. Okay. Uh, Ludo, it's your turn. What would you like to do? Okay. Uh, <laughs> Ludo for his turn. Uh, <laughs> tired of going up and going down is going to... Uh, water bend some chicken soup around the room. Hey, yo. So, is there anybody besides him who is below half? Because you can heal back up to half. Uh, I think everyone's just above half now. All right. Point. Well, uh, well, if that's the case, then I'll just heal myself normally. <laughs> I'll just <laughs> use uh, cure wounds. Nice. Chicken soup. Fire, earth, chicken soup, <laughs> air. Take a big old swig of the chicken soup for seven points of healing. Everything was peaceful until the veggie nation attacked. <laughs> All right. He takes a swig of the soup, kind of shakes his head, and then like charges back into action. He'll like move towards Kentiganaster. Oh shit, let's go. Oh, that's it. I, I, can't, I don't have any more actions. Oh, but I just, okay. I just start rushing over just, there. Just want to talk to his manager. All right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's the Troublesome Three on deck next. Camellia Beef on Danny. Um, meanwhile, the beef, the beef with the uh, archer on the balcony continues. I'm going to fucking shoot you again. You don't understand. <laughs> oh, shit. And he is. Um, that is a 17... Plus, uh, five to hit. That's a lie. 17 plus three to hit. Dirty 20. Does a dirty 20 hit, Camellia? Yeah. Oh, it's okay. The second attack didn't <laughs> hit. Hiya. Oh, it did a really strong five points of damage. Right. <laughs> There's now an arrow in your third shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> the My elbow. favorite shoulder. The elbow is the shoulder of the wrist. Um, <laughs> don't question it. Um, <laughs> Makes sense. <laughs> Thank you. Um, Camellia, it is now your turn. What would you like to do? I would like to cure wounds again. <laughs> okay. This motherfucker keep does not stop. I'm gonna kill you eventually! <laughs> 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 Get him. 
I just, heal for two just, or for three. Just fight mm -hmm. like I do. Just hide behind the curtain. <laughs> <laughs> Danny, have you have you fought yet? I, I mean I've... this respectfully. Rome <laughs> <laughs> <thrown> daggers. <laughs> not not that's fair. Not not well, fighting is a valid option, but uh... well, no. Well, look, look, remember, I pun I punched a kid. <laughs> oh, true, true. <laughs> we did figure out earlier that maybe that punch saved his life as well. So you know, um, oh, arguably. <laughs> Well, you didn't punch two kids, and they got fucking decimated by a mind flare, so... <laughs> oh my god. Alright, anything else you can do, Camellia? Longbow. Boop. Mom. <laughs> I'm gonna do a little dance. Dancing is a free action. Alright. <laughs> uh, we cut back to the foyer with Bifon and the carriage and the horse. Oh, wait, no! Oh, I thought Sorry, she said longbow. 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 I, I misheard. <laughs> I thought you. No, I, I heard Mambo you said as well. Mambo, Mambo. yeah. <laughs> hey, Mambo. Uh, does Mambo a 22 hit? Italia. Yes. Boop. Okay. Roll for damage. How? Do. <laughs> There's a five. You want to do this? <laughs> oh! <laughs> she grabs one of the arrows from her shoulder, rips it out. <gasps> And uses yes. that to aim yes. for his chest. Badass. Oh. Oh. Fuck you. <laughs> Just <laughs> flips the bird and dies. <laughs> flips the bird back. <gasps> Camellia. <laughs> Don't tell my mom. Oh, fuck Camellia. <laughs> Don't tell my mom. Danny, Danny from behind the curtain. <laughs> I did not think this of her. Already calling <laughs> HQ. <laughs> <laughs> Points in Danny's dire general direction. Don't tell my mom. You can't see him. He's fucking just pointing everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Accurate. <laughs> All right, Bifon, it is your turn. Unless Camille so can I guess do I'll ride to the stage. <laughs> okay. Nice. All right, just <laughs> crashing through the back doors. Happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> <laughs> You just see this explosion of carriage and Angus <laughs> coming through the charging through the chairs. Uh, a horseless, a riderless horse and carriage. Magic. Oh, enters. I should have I should have kept the cloak on and got myself like a little jack o' lantern I could have put on my head. We can we can allow it. We can allow it. <laughs> Uh, other than Kent, who else is on the stage? Squish guy dead? Uh, Squish guy is dead. Uh, Tarquin is on the stage. I believe Camellia is someone on the stage. Danny's on the stage, but you don't know that. Um, Ludo is on the stage, and Umberlai is kind of just off of the stage. So it's just Kent at this point. Yeah. Okay. In terms of enemies on the stage. For my first move, uh, I'd like to use the horse. Is okay. that cool? Okay, so I'd like to. <laughs> I just imagine you picking it up and just no, hitting no, no, no. stare with it. <laughs> no, uh, hold on. What is it? Where's the. <laughs> no, I'm going to use hooves. Okay. Hooves. Uh, which is 2d4. Uh, that's 8. Plus three. Oh, plus you want the horse to attack? Yes. Oh, fuck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Get him, um, Angus. <laughs> yeah, what, the, what's the roll to hit? Kent's going to ask you. It's 11. 2d4 plus three. <clears throat> uh, what's it to hit? Because it still needs we to need roll to, to hit. Oh, we need the it's... hit. Oh, how do you yeah. fucking. Yeah, no, you're right. Um, how does, how does a horse punch a guy? Um, uh, what kind of horse is it? it? Is it just a normal say. horse? Um, is it a war yeah, horse? It's a riding horse. Um, yeah, it would just be a riding horse. I do not see that. Stats here. on a plus five to hit. Okay, What's yeah. So roll, so roll a d20 <laughs> and add five. Yeah. Okay, gotcha. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Scorpio. Oh, <laughs> Angus by um, peanuts. 
If Kentigan oh, has ever it's two written... two plus five, seven. Oh. If you, if you played, like, te uh... I'm just gonna go home. Tales oh. of the Torn... I'll meet you guys back at the inn if you survive. Tales of the Torn Vale version of Scrabble for the character names. Angus is a winner. Um... <laughs> um well, if you're charging the stage with the horse, um... It's fair to say that the carriage is still attached, right? Mm-hmm. I need to do maths. Um, because even if the- what I'm saying is, with Ice Knife, if the knife misses, the ice still hits regardless, right? Because mm -hmm. it's surrounded by ice. What I'm saying is, in this situation, the Ice Knife is a horse, and the mm. ice is the carriage. Of course. And that's going to be a well, lot harder to miss. <laughs> if we need to escape, I'm not going to crash this thing into there. Gotcha. Okay. I have my so attacks. Just kind of <laughs> drift, drift, drift the uh, horse and carriage onto the stage and leap yeah, off the attack. Yeah, and I just kick out his chest. And, okay. Fuck yeah. Do <laughs> and it. Jump, and then I'm going to jump <laughs> right into his face. Uh, oh, wait. Oh. Wait, I'm still invisible, right? He has an attack. You, you are still invisible. Uh, I would say you get. Yeah, you would get a sneak attack on this. Um, how the fuck does sneak attack so work? Advantage um, on the attack roll. Yeah. Yeah, I'd oh, say, man, yeah, thing? you get advantage on the attack roll. Um, and then roll a stealth check for me. <laughs> for okay, shits sure. and giggles. Uh, this, this is a lot going through my mind right now. <laughs> yet another dirty 20 for the day. Okay, is that for the to hit or that the stealth? stealth? That was the stealth. Wait, to hit dirty, what? What are you talking about? Dirty 20 for the stealth. Yeah. What hit? Did I, did I swing? I thought you were about to attack. No, I just want to know if I was still invisible because you said before. Oh. And I realized so, that it only lasts three turns. <laughs> so I was checking. Yeah. I think this would be your third turn. This yeah. is the third this turn. Yeah, third so you're turn, still yeah. fine. Um, So I was doing fun maths. So... What I picture um. is that you came in on the carriage, the horse missed. Uh, he's just like, what the fuck is a horse and carriage doing in here? Depending on your stealth <laughs> would be how much his guard is down for anyone other than the horse attacking him in this current moment. Mm. You just rolled a dirty 20. Mm -hmm. His full focus is on that horse. So I want you to roll a... I want you to roll a critical hit for me, please. Nice. Wait, yeah, your first, roll to your, hit? First your first attack is automatically a critical hit. So you can oh. just roll for um, damage, add it to full damage, and then <laughs> smack him. Gotcha. I, fig I figure that makes so sense. So I'm just rolling like, damage. Yeah. I, I was <laughs> fine with whatever. <laughs> yeah, and then you can attack and... as usual from there. So what was it again? It was uh, it was so I roll just, an eight. Yeah. So oh, add max, that to right? your max damage. Yep. Which is ten. Eighteen points of. Wouldn't it be ten? Damage? Dang. Two. Ten plus two. Yeah, that's what it's saying on the screen. Oh no, because the way we do crit damage is you do max damage plus whatever you roll. Okay. So it's 20 damage, right? Because it's 12 plus 8. Yeah. Yeah, max would, max would be 10. Yeah. And then uh, I'll hold an 8, so that's 18. Oh, max on the dice. Okay. Gotcha. Yeah. Oh, no, oh okay. I got yeah, you. Yeah, I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> Matt! <laughs> Welcome, DM. Okay. Hi! Um, yeah, sick. Um, how'd you, how'd you deal that blow? And what do you do next? Uh, pretty much, if you're going to describe it that way, then we roll in, stop short of the stage. Angus lifts his hooves up, making him back <clears throat> off. I 
do a front flip off of the carriage behind him. And, uh, yeah. surprise. Mm. Uh. <laughs> uh, for some reason, I can't find my, uh, my ability here. Which ability are you looking for? Well, I've just, uh, I've just done a cool thing. So oh, I'm yeah, it's pretty cool. It should be in uh, features and traits and feats. I believe. Oh, there's no description here. Okay. Uh, if you click on it, it why. should come up at the side. Yeah, I don't know. It's feats. Homebrewing feats is weird. Um, yeah, it's missing the one thing that I need to know. What did we decide on for the entire team? It was Give 1d4, right? So, yes. Yay, 1d4 okay. inspiration for the whole team. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Wait, what? Okay. Hell yeah. So that's three. Inspirational pose to read everybody. Okay, everybody gets uh, three points of three three points that they can add to an attack roll, saving throw, everything but damage, yada yada yada, um, to boost their shit because Beefon pulled a sick pose and fucking kicked Kent Ganasta in the face. <laughs> and it was super cool. <laughs> and then I'm gonna roll my second attack. Sweet, let's go! Attention theatre patrons, tonight's exciting show is brought to you by Kentaganesta, Abelard and Company. <laughs> Thank you for enjoying yourselves. Merchandise and snacks are available for purchase on your way out, and performers will not be available for meet and greets at this time. <laughs> Just an 18 hit. Roger, you're so cool. <laughs> 18 hits, absolutely. Damage is 10. All right, he's starting to look a little bit shaky, shaky. A little bit shaky, wakey, wakey, wakey. Make some minky, wakey. All right, anything else? That's my toying. Fuck yeah! All right, Danny. Danny. Okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> so that guard was looking for me last turn. Uh, the one yes. I keep throwing knives they at. They are still down here, and they are looking for you, and you are fully concealed, and yes, that is a sneak attack. Okay. How do sneak <laughs> attacks work again? Um. I just drew a complete blank. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just say fuck it, and we'll just roll with this at least for today. Uh, roll a stealth check for me. Oh, you rolled a natural 20, didn't you, for your yeah. stealth? Yeah. I did. Yeah, that carries over. Um, okay. So roll. My next question is, how far away is he from me? Um, like five feet. So you can just. From okay, where you so are, he is in. He point, is in bang. range. He is in range of my abacus then. Yes, he is. So okay. you can get your abacus out and hit him for max damage. So, uh, let me find where that would be. Danny the Dapper. I, I I roll a D eight for uh Yeah, roll a D eight and then we'll maths the rest. Okay. So I rolled a six plus the eight. Uh hang on, hang on. Let's see. Uh Sparkly Abacus. Uh so you rolled you rolled a six. Yeah, it's a four plus two, and then the eight gets added to that. If I'm if I'm understanding this right. For the abacus? Yeah. So you rolled a four on the dice and then added two. So it's yeah. six. Okay. And then uh yeah, you'd add one D eight plus two, which is ten. So that would be sixteen total damage that you do on this archer. Okay. With your first with yeah, with your hit, because one hit. <laughs> Ah, so what's what what's special about Umberlie? I don't know why Umberlie is special, but I'll take it. Um, all right, yeah. So you do ten damage. No, sixteen damage. Pardon me. Um, where have they gone? Where's he gone? How do you want to do this? All right, so uh, like he's just walked past me, looking for me. Somehow he missed the brightly purple dress dwarf <laughs> um and so i just step out behind him and 
bonk him in the back of the head with the <gasps> abacus, just straight up in the dome. Damn. Just head just cracks as it hits the stage, and you're like, ooh. Nice. But there's just like a little glimmer of glitter and magical colors as you bonk him with the abacus. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah you your wee little punk. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yeah, it turns out the archer was a child. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> well, then triple damage. <laughs> oh, right. Uh, anything else you would like to do, Danny and Uh, I sneak back into the shadow of the um, the curtain, and I eye my next uh, my next victim, which okay. I'm assuming is the other archer, unless Camellia's... Unless Camellia's already killed him? Uh, no, the d different archer. Different, different archer. Oh, how many archers are there? There were three archers, there were weren't four. there? There yeah, were four? There were four. She, okay. She's killed two of them now, and you've killed one. There was five of them! There were five of them! There were seven! Um, they were multiplying on stage. <laughs> The, uh, all of the, uh, mages on the balcony are gonna fucking leg it. They were not paid enough for this. Um, they are removing Aww. themselves from the equation. Uh, they're like, no, no, not doing it. Not, can no, I, not today. Can, can I attack of opportunity with my dagger? Um, they are almost they're 80 probably feet away like, from yeah, you. Yeah, that's yeah, they are very far away. away. That's some bathing shit. He's just gonna wait at the bottom of the ladder as they come down. Just... <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness I'm like that um, terrible enemy in an old school platformer I'm just in the worst place <laughs> this, is, this is true okay it's now Kentagonastus turn You could have had so much more than this. I'm sure we'll see each other again someday soon. Kisses. And uh, he will vanish. No kisses. <laughs> Your regular size and you just No reactions like against I still talk teleportation, like I take it. <laughs> uh, you don't know what he did. Um, if you have any reactions that could potentially work, now is the time to... Well, I don't, like you said, I don't know what he did. Because if that was a spell... He, he did cast a spell. I don't got no counter spells. He, he did cast a spell. If he's though. not there, can I attack him? Is the question. <laughs> <sighs> Roll. You know what? Let's do straight lurkies. Lurkies? Sorry, I saw Diane's <laughs> message. Hi, Diane. Um, <laughs> mm -hmm. um, straight rollies. Just a d20. Whoever gets highest does the thing faster. Sound good? Okay, sure. Straight rollies. Ready? Yep. I got an 18. Ooh, a that's a nat 20, <gasps> though. You got a nat 20? Mm -hmm. Fuck. King, what do I need to roll? What do I need to roll? What what is what is? Please describe Mage Slayer I, when to a us. Creature, when a creature within five feet of you casts a spell, you can use your reaction to make a melee weapon attack against the creature. Okay, make a melee weapon a attack against him. Uh, oh my fucking god! I gotta roll god. for the hit as well, right? Yeah. Oh. Add advantage because you just nat twenty it. Nice. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! My plan! <laughs> it's going up in flames! Uh, yeah. I rolled a five. An advantage? What do you mean? Oh, the roll. damage? The damage roll. is a five. I rolled a 19. Oh, fuck, okay. The hit. Um, roll for me. <laughs> no, I'm gonna roll a concentration saving throw. God damn, he's got plus eight! <laughs> um what did you uh yeah this has got to be a 19 or it breaks his concentration let's say 
I'm giving you a fair fucking chance here. Let's go. Wait, uh, when you, uh, that's part of Mage Slayer. When I damage a creature that is concentrating. Oh, you're, oh, you're doing the thing. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you see that the invisibility, he cast crackles and drops, and he looks at you and stares daggers. Hi! <laughs> Hi. And he's going to quicken spell? He's made! Made him waste a fucking spell slot! Ah! I, I wanted an autograph. <laughs> no, that was fucking sick. Um, ooh, ooh. Uh, he's gonna do quick and spell. God, he could just do invisibility again, but that would be no fun. Um, I'm just gonna hit him again. Maybe you'll win this right. time. Uh, quick and spell. Blindness on you, Bifon. So I need you to make a constitution saving throw for me, please. I need a 16 or higher. Good luck. 17. <gasps> oh, he's so mad at you right now. <laughs> Gee, fuck it. I am also, but I'm also very proud. Um, yeah. Yeah. Fuck. Um, Fuck. Oh, he can target multiple people at third level. Sweet. Uh, he's also going to target Umberly. Um. <laughs> she got an 18. <laughs> nice. <laughs> and can I react against that spell he just cast? No, you only get one reaction per turn. Ah, uh, gotcha. Yeah. That's, that's one area I always forget. Uh, hey. and Fortunately slash unfortunately, Baldur's Gate taught me that the hard way. I was like, I can reaction every- What do you mean I can only count as spell once? It's fine. Oh, I, t I told you yesterday, I always have to remember because D&D &D sucks. Nah, you're doing- you, It's no was... fun. It's it's trying too hard to be fair sometimes. Yeah, <laughs> I just want to cool. stack shit. <laughs> that was a phenomenal fucking turn, Bifon. He was, yeah, Jesus Christ. He was, he was gonna well, do some He's still shit. here. Yeah. He wasn't gonna be! <laughs> until you meddling kids! <laughs> Alright, it's Luca's turn. And that's the light, it's the second archer's turn. Um, and they're gonna... They're gonna see the boss is in danger and they're gonna shoot for... Bifon! Just appearing up here with a fucking... Horse and cart. Uh, does a... 18 hit. Does a twenty-four hit? No. <laughs> <laughs> Let me think about that real quick. Oh man, that's fucking shit damage. All right, six. Oh, that's better. Uh, fuck maths. Fourteen for eighteen points of piercing damage as two arrows come from the um, guy whose robes you stole, technically. <laughs> As you hear the <laughs> phew, phew, <laughs> As two arrows okay. in quick succession pierce into you. Ow, I poked myself too what hard. That? I just brushed my shoulder <laughs> off. Hey. <laughs> I poked myself too hard in reenacting that. Alright, it is... <laughs> Be careful. Ow, I'm too into it. Uh, it is Luca's turn. Uh, Luca's Come on, Luca. What? How much does this cost? An action? Fuck! God! Bonus actions, actions, death of me, fucking magic casters, who would choose it? <laughs> ah! <laughs> I can't do it. Oh, I can do heals, I guess. Nah, okay. Luca's gonna take out 
her secret beer. No, I'm kidding. Um, <laughs> Luca's gonna take out her holy symbol of Actilanath. She's gonna hold it out somewhat slightly underwhelmingly towards uh, Kentigan Astir. And she's gonna back up towards uh, you, Luto. Oh. Leave us alone! <laughs> and you see this dark radiant orb emanates from the uh, symbol and surrounds you like a like a dark oily bubble. Um, it, it doesn't do anything to you right now, but next turn it'll be fucking cool, I promise. <laughs> Unless you move, but you might. So you better we'll not. Hey, you better not. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but she ends her turn in there, and so she's going to get 1d6 plus 6 temporary hit points, which is 1. She rolled 1 for herself, which is pants, but that's 7 temporary hit points at least. Oh, it's looking... um, not that anyone's particularly attacking her, bless her. Uh, okay. That is her turn. We are back on deck with the longest fight we've ever had, I believe. Tarpin, yeah. it is your turn. Longest session we've ever had. Oh no, I'm so sorry. No, it's all good. Don't worry, it's I'm so... gonna finish it right now. Don't worry. No, nice. just, just, it, it doesn't oh. feel like it to me. It kind of feels like <laughs> <it's right> here. <laughs> okay, so let's keep it simple. I'm gonna attack again. Let's see if I can, I can end this guy. Dun dun dun. Keep oh him alive. God. I think we can still get more out of him. You sure about that? She nods, just staring daggers into his eyes. All right, then I'm gonna roll like shit and I'm not gonna do anything. He's alive. <laughs> well, you can still incapacitate him. Just don't kill him. Just knock his ass out. Well, I failed both attacks, so... Okay, um, oh. Unless there's <laughs> another action or something else, I, I don't think I can do much. Shoot. Uh, I don't know. Wait, what did you roll? Else? I rolled 10 and 12. Yeah, it's not Ooh. quite enough. Even Sadly. even with the bonus. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, the do bonus, you have the... Right? Oh, the bonus! Um, yeah. 12, Before. the 12 would hit. The 12 would hit. Oh, nice. Oh, damn. So me because now I can use Flurry of Blows. Nice. Oh. Let's go. And that would be a, a dirty 20 and uh, a That's 21. So Hell it's yeah. Yeah. Team. That changed everything. Fucking work. That's 13 plus a 21. That is... 28 damage. If it's over the top, I would like to kind of control it a little bit. It's not quite, not quite a uh, downing blow, but it's, it's getting him real low on health. All right. It's, it's real fucking low. All right. Ooh, ooh, that guy's dead. That guy is squished, but he's still gonna try fucking something. Um, <laughs> he's. I don't know what he's gonna run. I don't think he's gonna deal with this shit. Like that guy was huge, and then his boss has got wings, and yeah, nah, he's <laughs> out. Um, Pace, squish guy's running away. It's Umbrella's turn, and Ludo is on deck. Who's all still standing? Uh, there is one archer. On There's the a catwalk. whole other boss fight going on, <laughs> on the other side of the theater between Camellia and this guy. There's one. There's one archer on the catwalk. Camellia got both of the balcony archers and Kentaganaster, and that's it. Okie dokie. Everyone else has either run or died. Umberlight is gonna touch your shoulder and heal you. Oh. Thank you. Can you do me a favor? Yeah, baby. Do you want to knock him out for me? I'll be happy to. Sweet. Only because um, you are so nice. Thank 
you so much, darling. I'll make it worth your while. Uh, she will heal you for seven hit points. And, um, she is going to... Uh... <laughs> she is going to... Oh, she can't really do much. Yeah, she's gonna go for some daggy yeets and try and get the other archer. <laughs> Let's go! Daggy yeet time! Nope! <gasps> Natural 20! Natural 20! <laughs> Natural 20 dagger yeet! Okay, so that's seven points automatically. This could potentially kill him. It's so nice to have a nice, clean, wholesome 20 for once. Right? <laughs> that's a three. So that's seven. And six is 13. That is just enough. Just enough to down the other catwalk archer. You just hear the ding ding ding. Someone just throw a fucking dagger at me. <laughs> <laughs> as the other do dagger makes its way and hits its target. Nice. And the mango down, and she'll pat your ass and go, all yours, honey. Ludo, it's your go. All this right. This here is flaking real bad. It's a good thing I've never rolled a one when it really counted right. Here we go. <laughs> you had to say something. <laughs> You've just got to knock him unconscious. There's a 17 hit. How you kind of do a 17 hits? Okay. Oh, oh shit. Gasp. <laughs> okay. So Ludo thinks of everything that's happened and everything that, that Umberlai has said and everything Katakanasus did, and he mushes it all together into one emotional outburst. And he gathers some pepper and some fucking spice and some cumin and some really hot cayenne, and he fucking shoots it into Katakanasus' <laughs> eyes and he says, "Hey, come and go faster! Ah! Eat shit!" And he fucking <laughs> shoots it in his face. <laughs> he is a poet. Happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> Eat my shit! <laughs> you shit in his face? Yeah, it's a little spice blast shit blast in his oh face. Oh my god. <laughs> um, what kind of D&D campaign have I joined? <laughs> the best I'd one. Say, yeah. I'd say how would you want to do this, but please uh, tell us more as you deal the final blow. Ah, uh, the spice blast of uh, one part spiritual energy, <laughs> one part different delicious spices. Uh, sand blasts him in the face, scarring his beautiful, his beautiful uh, appearance forever. <gasps> oh shit! Giving Not him <laughs> a bright red <laughs> pepper scar across the face that he'll always remember me by. Damn. The I last thing that. he hears before he goes, he gets knocked out is, it my shit. <laughs> <laughs> what better words to hear than that? As the room becomes oddly quiet. <laughs> now that most of the audience has evacuated. Most of the enemies have been downed. And... Aiden, your shit. Um, <laughs> a large exhale. <laughs> even oh. even Angus is just. <clears throat> Turn to Umberlai, see if she's okay, and then everybody else. See if anybody needs some chicken soup. Yeah, I'm here as well, Ludo. Everybody okay? Anyway. Luca, you okay? Oh yeah, I'm yeah, I'm I'm good. I thought you were gonna shit in his face for a second. I was kind of worried. Oh, there's still time. But you guys need the healing. Uh, she'll cast Prayer of Healing to heal everyone. Oh nice. Thank you. That's right. I just had to. The power of Christ compels you. 
Luca's the opposite. Oh, you don't know about Luca. That's right. Oh, I do not. that's a fucking eight out of eight. Let's do another eight. That's a five. Close enough. And a six. That is um fucking mess. Sixteen and five is twenty-one. Add two is twenty-three. Everybody heals twenty-three hit points. Thank nice. You. Good thing. Except for the bad guys. It's it's really a shame I didn't take any damage that whole fight. <laughs> <laughs> That's common to your stealth abilities, man. <sighs> Reminds me of that dude from Conan the Destroyer. <laughs> kind of stays out of the way and just gets some nice bonks in. Yeah, mm -hmm. <laughs> I helped. <sighs> well, uh, I would say that certainly counted as uh, the plan going off without a hitch. <laughs> Mostly. You all, you all right? That was a uh, very... That was a lot, huh? Yeah. Uh, thank you, Bifon, by the way. That what? certainly worked. <laughs> I didn't do anything. The well, purple paint and the glitter was pretty geez. cool. Anyway. Ladies? Yeah. Hold on a second, I gotta find my friend. Hey, hey! Cool. We were just watching from the, the boxes up here. You enjoy? Show. Hell oh. yeah! They all giggle amongst themselves. Shall we head back and rest for the evening? I think, maybe? I think it's a really, really, really good idea. Yes. Um, what do we do about Kent, Sigmaster? Actually... There is a trunk. I got a couple ideas. We'll... <sighs> we'll lock him in the trunk for now. We can get him in the morning. Um, <laughs> you're kind of hop down quickly to his dressing room and lock him in <laughs> costume trunk. <laughs> oh, I meant just... the carriage. <laughs> oh, that's true. And we don't want to... We don't want to get suspicion on us, you know? Oh, I don't thought you, we... she wanted to, like... I thought she had further plans. Yeah, no, yeah, leave him... Yeah, leave him. I, I, I do, but I just... I need to figure them out first. Okay. See what to do with him. Just... He's too good to just kill and forget about, I think. Yeah, shall we um, head back to home base? Please. Now? Yeah. Okay. You okay? And, uh, yeah, yeah, it's just you, uh, eventful. You mean everything you said on there, on the stage? We'll talk about it. Not bad, Miss Bayani, not bad. Well, there hasn't been a... Well, there, I suppose there has been an official proposal, but there hasn't been a proposal yet, so... There's still plenty of time for that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. Okay. <laughs> oh, bless. So, you all heading back to home base? Mm -hmm. Very stealthfully. <laughs> yeah, are we in we're gonna park trouble the with carriage the law? in the back. <laughs> like, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. <laughs> are we criminals now? Just I think we just um, killed you know? multiple people. Umberlie, <laughs> um, Umberlai just like uh, goes out the one of the wings and is like, uh, the props department has a a larger door we can sneak out the back of. So we should probably take the carriage that way. Um, yeah, and just <laughs> you all kind of escape out the back on on the on the horse and carriage. Most of the kerfuffle is out front, so uh, you're able to avoid that area fairly easily and ride back towards uh, the sanctuary for respite <laughs> for the evening. 
Um, as you get back and unload your stuff and get cleaned up, get back into your regular clothes, enjoy the rest of your night with your uh, new friends or entertainments. Um, uh, Umberlai will be waiting for you. Umberlai will be waiting for you. Uh, on one of the kind of um, food tables uh, just out in one of the back yards of the of the uh, Bothel Ludo. Uh, on? on? You said she said she'll be waiting for me on one of the tables. I <laughs> I pictured it like a picnic oh bench. Oh, okay, so, oh, okay. <laughs> is, yeah, we're not. Yeah, we're just go back there, and she's standing on a table, hands on hips. <laughs> no, just just tea posing. <laughs> <laughs> she hasn't rendered in yet. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Um, take a seat. Okay. Please. I, uh, whisper something to friends and he flies away. <laughs> so, um, was quite a show. Yeah, that was not what I was expecting. You're full of surprises. Ah, it's not just you. Um, you make for a pretty good criminal. I didn't think you'd be so okay with breaking the law. Oh, I've been breaking the law for a while now, Luta. <laughs> This is not my first rodeo, nor will it be my last, I expect. Well, I'm glad there are some laws you don't break. What do you mean? I... I was... 99.9% .9 sure that... Of course you would never, you know, but also I I kind of don't know, you know, we only known each other for just a couple of weeks and you just keep surprising me. Did you think I did? Not really, but, uh, you know, you don't get to as far as I get without having some worries and experiencing some bad things with other people I'm glad you're not like them no and trust me the reciprocating his flirtations was all just an act so that we could enact revenge um beef on caught me speaking to Kentaganaste romantically. Uh, I'm rather glad he did, in a way. Um, it's not his fault. I did ask him to keep my plans from you, because you are so lovely, Luto, but you're very excitable, and you're not very good at keeping secrets. I have my strengths, and uh, yeah, secrets isn't one of them. Yeah, um, so know that it was not done to confuse you or to disillusion you in any way. You know, when I was uh, in the bar drinking, oh, I had so many worries, so many concerns. But when I saw you again, I don't know. I, I knew it's going to be okay, no matter what. And for full transparency, are you? Not the music doing so. I was. <laughs> that's really suspicious. Um, <laughs> that wasn't me. That was, <laughs> Another fucking <laughs> mind player. Um, cool. Thanks. I didn't hear anything in the music. It just Thanks, kept playing the normal stuff. Oh no, on my end it refreshed. So oh. anyone I was sharing the screen with is probably like, where did the music go? 
Um, for full transparency, Luto, I haven't cheated on you with Kentokanasta. But right. Bard College is Bard College, and it was a long time ago, and I thoroughly regret every second of it. Hmm. But I mean, everyone just got with everyone in Bard College, that's just kind of like tradition. Um, sure. I mean, yeah. what's the name of the islands I'm from? Uh, Disguise. Oh, the um, the little islands. Oh shoot, I always forget the little. The little it's called oh. dis dis disguise. Disguise is the big island. Okay. You know, the Cheney Isles. I remembered. You know, Cheney I Isles? I originally come from the Cheney Isles, and disguise is very far away from here. Uh, lots of brothels between here and there, but. Uh, oh yeah. I guess. Uh, I always thought it was just for fun, just kind of a distraction. It wasn't until now that I realized there's a, a real partnership to be found, you know? Something something lasts longer than just fun times. Yeah. Roll an insight check for me, please, Ludo. Natural 20. She's about to break. Oh, it is a natural 20. Okay. It's a natural 20. Yeah, it's a 26. Okay. Um, You see her eyes well up a bit. Um, She's not being dishonest. Okay. Um, there is something recently that has happened unrelated to Kentaganastir that is affecting her. You okay, baby cheeks? So... You know, well, everything I said on stage was true. I genuinely do care a lot about you, even if I don't know what the fuck to do with those feelings. <laughs> and you are genuinely better than Kenton Nasa in every department, even back when I did like him. I already knew that. <laughs> <laughs> You know how I said that he'd stolen my work before, in the past? Yeah. Somehow, um, he found access to my darkest secret and made a play out of it. the show you watch tonight. I'll try and recall what the story of the show was. Uh, she, 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 she's about to. Oh, okay. <laughs> like, uh, there's a guy and a girl. And I they really fell asleep like so many other. times. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, many years ago, after college, um, was in love with a guy, um, another elven man, um, all our parents approved, my mother approved, his parents approved, he also brought a great deal of wealth to the family, um, which my mother approved of greatly, but he also put up with me, which was more than a lot of people would do, uh, safe to say, maybe because of Kentaganaste or maybe for some other reason. I changed after college, and everyone made sure to remind me of that fact. Um, this man, he taught me to defend myself. I taught him some sleight of hand tricks and fraud. I've, I've done crimes before. Um, I even stole his uh, little 
boot knife without him knowing. Mm -hmm. But unlike Pentagonaste and somewhat like you, he never looked at a soul with even an ounce of judgment beyond, you know, empathy and understanding and other difficult emotions like that. Some days I couldn't really stand it, truth be told. <laughs> kind of envious. And then, one day, just while we were out walking and vacationing along the coastline, we were attacked. There was no sign of it, and we didn't stand a chance. Well, it's just my luck, but it turned out he'd been lying. He wasn't from an elvish family. He was human. Which wouldn't have been a problem with me, honestly, uh, if not for the fact that we'd made plans for the next 300 years to come, and for the fact someone in our family said figured it out and wouldn't let it stand. And it makes more sense for it to be someone in my family because we had a lot riding on the income. And suddenly, I had never wished that my ears were smaller and that my life was shorter more. But the I like your been... ears. <laughs> Thank you. I like yours. <laughs> but the attackers eventually ran and we were both alive, if not injured. The strange thing was, though, that we didn't get very far before he proposed. To me. He put a ring onto his own hand and held one out for me in the other. I hesitated, as you would after being attacked, and he, he grabbed me. His eyes turned dark, and he grabbed my arm, and he wouldn't let go. We were gonna go together, so I wouldn't have to be alone, he said. I should go first, because I shouldn't have to see him die. <laughs> we lied again. I took out his little knife boot from my pouch, and before I knew it, he was... Bleeding out. I'd never seen the red sands of Yabath before, but if they're anything the colour of blood seeping into shoreline sand, then maybe it's best we didn't get to fulfil our vacation list. I've not been home since. How Kentaganaster even found that out, I don't know, but it's not the first time he's taken my life and etched it on a god's damned page with a hand that's never felt the warm trickles of blood or opened wounds from clenching your fists so hard out of anger. He claims to be an escape from reality because who could ever live such a life as dear Umberlai Thornsworth, whose life is long and means so fucking little. And I can't even tell the person I like that I like them because I'm scared. And she looks at you briefly as she says that. Me? Yep. Okay. And so, I attack and attack until the warm blood feels at home on my fists and seeps into my wounds in the hopes that I can be someone, anyone else. <sighs> God, I really don't open up very often. I fucking hate it. I don't feel anything but pity for Kentaganaste. I mean, truth be told, he'd be a sincerely useful ally. <sighs> in the big picture of holes in the fucking sky, he'd be a greater asset than his story theft. <sighs> but... 
what I'm trying to say is that I'm desperately trying to tell you how I feel and I'm sorry that I can't yet it's not it's cliche but it's not for you and it's not me it's fucking Kentaganasa and his stupid fucking opera reminding me of that time I had to murder the one person I loved in the world but if nothing else you have reminded me that love is honest and open and I suppose that I'm worthy of it even though I can be a bit of a snob and a bitch and I can't cook carrots for shit <laughs> and I accidentally punched you earlier and you went down and then I had to heal you because you were fucking is that what happened? and I thought you were going to die <laughs> yeah it was really bad um <laughs> oh. You are very bad at the carrots. <laughs> but, I mean... I don't know, I have not lived a hundred years like you. I don't know that I feel emotions quite as complexly as you do. But, uh... I, I know I like you. I know I want to changed my whole life for you especially after everything you say today and I, I I never felt that before but it reminds me of my mom and my dad Isn't I think your mom dead? oh no no she's alive very alive oh wait so you did that just to get the plaque on the chair for me yeah of course um, she is, <laughs> she's kind of that ugly crying gif where she's doing everything in her power to not openly cry, <laughs> but it's just like, just a, the worst, just full, like lips mouth. fully extended as, yeah, just, as low as possible. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she's trying really hard. I'm sucking it in. You know, I always thought my life would be all about cooking this and finding that and eating this and writing the book, you know, writing a big cookbook about everything I ever cooked and ate. But I think about my parents and uh, I think maybe at one time my dad was like that. He's also a very good cook. And then he changed his life to be about my mom because the way she make him feel and uh, I don't know if maybe I'm just saying things because everything was so exciting today but I I feel that for you Amberlai I'm not an elf and you're not uh, you know thick brown little island lady but I think this could work I want this to work I want it to too we've just got to make sure there's a world left to live in <laughs> at the end of the day well, that's what the breakfast club's for that's what the breakfast club's for to pour paint on your exes in the middle of their performances <laughs> it's a real piece of shit that one yeah it's, it's just it's just so pathetic it's not even it's just a wanker you know like it's, it's not even a giant problem he's just a dick yeah you know <sighs> you, you said earlier he, he could maybe be a good ally to us I, I don't think so he hurt you, and that's all I need to know that I don't want him around. We don't need allies. We need well, people we, we can need trust. To have him around, but he's certainly a powerful magician, and now we have shit on him, so. Yeah. I don't know, maybe when you're asleep, I kill him, probably. I wouldn't stop you. 
I might. No, I'd see. I don't know. We'll see. I'll ask Tarquin. It'd be fun. Dear lady, see what they think. Maybe the dwarf. Luca. Luca will say, no, don't do it, but I don't know. Luca could be there killing him right now. Good. She's drunk. Is she? Is she drunk again? Might be. Did you put something in her drink, Luca? I was planning to after this. I got a better plan, don't worry. There's a cider that's really strong, but it just it smells and tastes like fruit juice. She'll have no idea. What time of the day is it? Oh, it's late evening now. Almost midnight. Okay. Ludo stands up and kind of dusts off his lap and everything and says, Hey. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. What? You serious about everything you said? Uh, yes. You're really, really serious, cause. Kill a guy one time. Yep. Since okay. Just found out, made an opera about it. Yep, that all happened. And then. Thing to confess if it wasn't true. <laughs> yeah, about your past, I, I don't care about so much. Uh, only so much that Thank it matters you. to you. But everything you said about <laughs> the future, you and me, you serious about that? I want to give it a shot. Okay. I got some stuff I got to do tomorrow then. Oh. Okay. That you have to save the world first. Like that that's priority. No, sure, sure, sure. Along for that. Actually, first, I pick her up, scoop ah! her up. <laughs> first, this on the way ah intoxicate Luca and then this and then tomorrow I'll do the thing sounds like a plan hey you still got any more of that enlarged spell or mm. oh we can probably wrangle something all right <laughs> <laughs> And in they go. <laughs> hey, Luca, order the um, order the fuzzy cider. It's really good. Is it alcoholic? Oh, oh barely. It's just because they have to like ferment the fruit and stuff. It's basically apple juice. It's basically apple juice. Yeah. Oh, okay. I have a good night. <laughs> we will. <laughs> We will. Uh, would anyone else like to do anything to wrap up the evening? Other than get cozy, get PJs. And step on all that. <laughs> <laughs> well, there, being stepped on is an option in the, in this establishment. <laughs> it's just in this session with a, hey, do you have, I was thinking about changing out one of my spells. Um, I just... <laughs> and with that we will call it there for the evening as all is calm all is quiet and the bed frame is really put through its paces broken for sure it, <laughs> it will roll I don't know May it must say, maybe he should roll for that <laughs> <laughs> Fucking GG, you guys. GG, everybody. I don't think I need to roll for that. There's four people in the bed. Four people. <laughs> no, no. You know. Oh, you were talking about... Oh. Both. We do a through the wall high five. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what the doggy door is for. That's what oh the doggy door is for. <laughs> Where's the other side of the doggy door? <laughs> <laughs> GG everybody! GG Yuki! She wasn't cheating! That was an she amazing 
Q, you did so amazing this session. God damn. <laughs> Just remember the like the scream was at the end of last session. <laughs> <laughs> I am gonna miss those screams. That's the problem. Those are very good anguish screams. Um <laughs> gonna add a plot there. twist to the plot twist to bring the yeah. screen back <laughs> well that's what i love it was like yeah i haven't i haven't fucked him today back in the day though like bard college man what the fuck yeah. <laughs> everybody fucked at bard college what else are you gonna write songs about <laughs> it's like literally anything go outside um but yes holy moly I will uh, try and get the full uh, opera instrumental together um, and in its also separate parts and post it somewhere. Um, I will also try and get the vocal version that was not played today. There's a fucking vocal version. <laughs> I was like, no, we'll reel it back for today. Because um, I was like, what if what if things don't happen? What if things do happen? Oh, no. Um, so I'll get those posted as well, if that is of interest to you guys. Um, yeah. I mean, there's a theater. We had to do a theater heist. Oh, come hell or high water. Um, that was awesome. Good job, guys. Yeah. <laughs> absolutely fucking awesome job. Everybody did fucking incredible. Danny with the stealth daggers, Camellia killing the archers, Beefon just entirely fuck youing uh, Kentiganastia's plans to peace out of there in beautiful fashion not only is like no no you don't cast invisibility and if you do cast invisibility you don't because you broke concentration on it and also you're in pain now bitch um stole his own carriage that was already stolen in order to do it fucking came in with an entrance it was amazing tarquin continually just beating the shit out of everyone and doing a big big high stealth with camellia <laughs> and Ludo survived the session without breaking up with Umberlie or hey. in half himself, which is um, which not is expected. Wonderful. Yeah, not, not necessarily expected. And Luca only got accidentally forgotten one time, <laughs> but she did get very drunk. I fully agree with everything you said. Everybody really had a moment to shine today, but I got to say, mm -hmm. key A++. This was a superb ah! session. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Storytelling you was top notch. Oh, I was I was concerned about the uh, kind of fifteen ish minutes of, of real time heist, but I was like, fuck it. That was so fun. Oh, that yeah. was beautiful. I I've not I've only ever done like one session where there was a real life timer on something, and it was like, it was mainly just because we were being un indecisive, and the DM got sick of us. <laughs> so like, okay, we're on real time. Bad things happen in 10 minutes, and we were like, ah! But I was like, what better way to have something timed out than, like, to the music? And it's like, oh, what is this going on in the background? So I'm glad you guys liked it. Yay! Loved it. Yay! I look glad. forward to hitting on all the campaigns that decide to do a real time heist because <laughs> they listen to our uh, little. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, someone's gonna come in and be like, "Well, actually, Brendan Lee Mulligan." Uh... <laughs> no, we didn't. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> we love you, Brendan, but that's. I haven't watched enough of your sh shit to find out if you've actually done that. So. Um... Matthew Mercer's sure like somebody that's cute. has, but. <laughs> Did they do it with operatic music? And I whip my hair back because it's also as long as Matt's is. Hey, yo! <laughs> Did they then burst into that theater with a horse and carriage? <laughs> I like that you cut out for me so it sounded like you said a whore and carriage. And I'm like, <laughs> you know what? They probably have one of those at the brothel. <laughs> You want to get strapped up to the horror and carriage? <laughs> if you hadn't mentioned, if you hadn't mentioned that um, that everybody was like finally starting to pour out of the theater, I was gonna burst in and say, "Bitches, leave!" <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Um, in good news, though, um, for the for the post credits uh, text, uh, Cosmo's alive and confused and betrayed. Um, <laughs> he's still really like eating possum. He does really like his crisps, though. Uh, they're, they're his only comfort, and now he's addicted he to possum might, meat and has no idea. He might be my new favorite NPC. 
<laughs> Yay! That, that's big. We got a lot of. Hey, that's it. That's big, huh? We got a lot of NPCs. <laughs> a lot of NPCs to choose from, man. Eh? You killed my favorite one. I like dudes. Oh. I like dudes who work for rich folks, but they like a lot of the shit. Like they genuinely like it. Yeah. yeah. Like coming up in the city, like I've met a lot of people who work at theaters and stuff like that, and they genuinely love it. Like they, yeah. it's not just a job. It's like I get to be next to this. Mm -hmm. Every it's day like, is the Super Bowl. Good? No, you my played that well. Shit, but. <laughs> Man, we did Othello the other week and it was fucking lit. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. Oh my goodness. But thank you as well to all of you guys for coming along and continually supporting. Um, and <laughs> for joining our public server, which has been kicking off, which I'm mm -hmm. super glad, super, super proud of. Um, yeah, I've been like... Up reading I, i've been looking at the memes and the live discussion as this has been going on oh. <laughs> there's some really good stuff in there oh yes i i purely put i i said that the other week i was like i purely put in a live session discussion just so i can read it back and and just laugh um in in glee <laughs> everyone being like wait um it was very hard genuinely not to say anything about umbra lie um uh, it was not meant to be the cliffhanger that it was <laughs> um didn't cheat. Yes. Didn't cheat. Didn't cheat. No. I knew no, you didn't um, cheat. Yeah. And I felt bad because it was like immediately after that session, I was like, all right, Dan, this is exactly what Umbrella is telling you. Uh, she's not actually. <laughs> it's like all had that information immediately after. I was like, she can't, she can't tell nobody. Um, and this is our Discord in case you've missed it. You can come and join us. Wee. A whole bunch of stuff in there. The memes, unhinged. The art, unhinged. <laughs> Hashtag thumb. <laughs> <laughs> I, I literally cannot make noises anymore. Um, yeah, y'all, y'all support genuinely. I can't play things with this music. I'm getting emotional. Uh, <laughs> Um, yeah, y'all support genuinely means the world. We would love to see this carry on and keep growing and get more friends, but but even if we don't, you guys are amazing. And even having stuff like your fan art and and just commentary and theories and and you know fighting over if Danny's a suspicious fellow that we should keep an eye on. <laughs> the episode episode summaries, of... like the four picture episode summaries. Yeah! V just posted one. It is A++. Plus plus. Oh, I'm so excited to see. So excited to see. And yeah, there's still more to do in Jinwa. Uh, whether we'll have to start being slightly more conscious of where the gods are posted, we will see. <laughs> yeah, we came here but to do is... two quests and we haven't done any of them. Like, we haven't done any of them even a little. <laughs> and that's okay! Look, this, this story is all about me enabling you guys, you guys enabling me. And what is enabling if we don't just go, hey, let's do a fun thing. We're not just going to go to a place and be like, wow, what a lovely big theater. Would be so cool to do a heist there. Go and meet the lion. Like, we're going <laughs> to do that. We're going to do that. This is just a chill guy. This is business. you got to have some pleasure. A lot of pleasure. I and yes, like make the drama all the sweeter. True. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've just got to sweep your legs out from under you when you're least expecting it. Um, <laughs> shit, I don't like it when my voice does that. It's scary. Um, thank you as well to Scorpio for holding down the fort. Yes. Doing all the shout outs. Mod love. Mod love. Yeah, check out Avia. It was her, it was their birthday the other day. Um, there's loads more of Isafray. This is freaking. Uh, you got, you got uh, Val over to Ralphius, Twitch.tv slash Ralphius, playing games. Um, got Whoops making stuff and playing games. Got Dime playing games and playing games, <laughs> making stuff. <laughs> Targwin and Darian is doing ASMRs, making stuff. Uh, and JC is hey. screaming 
screaming because <laughs> his girlfriend almost cheated on him in D&D. &D. Uh, um, <laughs> it's such a good scream. <laughs> <laughs> genuinely going to miss it. Just, uh, <laughs> just, uh, <laughs> and um, we hope that until next week, you all have a wonderful week. Uh, catch up on the adventures if you if you're missing out on them if you want if you miss them just go and say hi to the gang from the past um and uh is there anything else you guys can think of thank you everyone yeah mm. thank you for the biddies earlier as well Check thanks out for hanging out everybody more yeah if you want more gifts and stuff and thank you for being you and thank you for being here. And my voice is about to die. Oh. Um, which is a lot, because my voice has got stamina as fuck, so was, I'm like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Um, thank you guys ever so Don't much. wear it out. <laughs> I, I, too late. Um, and until next time, lots of love. Stay safe. Stay happy. Stay magical. Oh, I like that. Um, I will see you next week but you care guys you later guys bye 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 boy boy, boy. boy. She died before we got to try anal <laughs> <laughs> god <laughs>